great fucking start today. Should have been on time. I just couldn't fucking sleep. I just couldn't sleep, dude. Uh, maybe Big T tomorrow. The new PD uniforms are out, so people are going to be pretty excited about that. And I and I honestly want to see them in action. I haven't I haven't checked any streams yet. I had a lot of fun yesterday, though. <laughs> shut the fuck up! You guys watched a character for two days. You never shut the fuck up. It's so fucking annoying. Oh my god. I can see why nobody plays more than one fucking character. Ugh. Coming in hot? Yeah, I haven't packed a lip in like fucking 14 hours. But I do got my matcha. This day's VOD get published? I don't know why it isn't, because I did publish it. Which is weird. Um, publish. Publish now. That's so weird. <coughs> Excuse me. Mm. What the hell happened to it? I don't know what caused that. Yo, Bad Hyper, thanks for the gift sub. War Helmet, thanks for the three months. And Raku, thanks for the 14 months. Nathan with the 100 bits. Publish this. What have you guys been up to today? Fucking, I streamed forever yesterday, I feel like. Dude, that game wasn't scary. I'm gonna say this, Demonologist is nowhere near as good as Phasmophobia. Or Devour. Nowhere near. Zombre, thanks for the 43 months. Like, it was like a fun game with that group, but that game is kind of dog shit. Like, fun, fun, I mean, any game would be fun with that group, you know? But, that game, dog shit. That, that game, utter dog shit. Utter dog shit. No VOD for It should be published now if you refresh. I don't know what the fuck happened to it, so. Should be good now. Should be good to fucking go. Play with McConnell. I do miss my McConnell. Can't wait for D4 to come out. What's going on with Dark and Darker, by the way? Does anybody know? Any ideas what's going on on the, on the Dark and Darker Warfront right now? I haven't seen any information about shit. No clue? Jory, thanks for the six months. It's coming soon! Dead game. I mean, they could probably circumvent any lawsuits by saying, hey, you guys can donate towards our game and then just torrenting it and fucking keeping servers up. I mean, who's going to do anything about that? It's not like a multi-billion dollar company will come after them for that. Discord announcement this morning. I never checked that shit, dude. I don't even check my own announcements. Aimless, thanks for the three months. Check Discord. Today's message. Okay, let me take a look. Uh, dark and Darker Discord. Announcements. Oh. Wait, where, I don't see any uh, latest announcements. It's under development? I fucking hate discords, dude. They have too many fucking topics, dude. Their discord is just too massive to be functional. I don't even know where I'm looking. I looked under announcements. Last announcement was in April. The middle of April. So I don't know what you guys are talking about because I can't find the shit. Oh, 
Yeah, yesterday's stream was good, man. Uh, yesterday's stream was a lot of fucking fun. I want to play more games with the uh, with that group of people. The Warriors. That shit was kind of funny. That shit was pretty fucking funny, dude. Ah. It was funny. The stream was good. Man, I'm just trying to... Does jail time pass while you're offline? I don't know. Bro. So those nerd statues I ordered got here and they're fucking massive and I'm actually super pissed off about it. Dude, I didn't think they would be that big. I did not think it would be. I can't, first off, in a way so much, I can't even put it on my goddamn bookshelf without worrying about it collapsing my bookshelf and landing on me and fucking killing me. Things are like fucking weapons. I'm probably gonna just leave... Dude, what I'm probably gonna do is just leave the... Dude, the Gara, the sand one, weighs more than when my sofa got here. There ain't no way. I'm just gonna leave that bitch in my fucking garage, and I'll take it over to my next house and leave it in that garage, too. The box is heavy as shit. How big is it? Bitch, the box is literally as big as my L desk. Like... Not like both parts, but like the biggest part that I use right here. It's literally as big as my fucking L desk. Weighs the same too, dude. Dude, I looked at the me dude. I thought they would be small and cool. Now instead, in the corner of my room, I got this fucking 20 inch tall Ninja Turtle. I mean, it looks badass. Don't get me wrong, but at the same time, I need what type of shelf do I buy? This thing's fucking massive. It's wide as shit. It doesn't... Like, I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do over here. But the detail's pretty cool. <laughs> I mean, the detail's all right, I guess. Fuck. Return it? Bruh. What am I going to do? Return it? Keep it in my fucking garage. I'll find something to do with it. Literally fucking took $2,500 and just set it on fucking fire. Set the shit on fire. Just took it. Phew, burned it. Burned it in my fucking hands. Ah. Gift to someone? My, my stream, I think my stream PC is dying. I'm gonna be real. I think my stream PC is fucking dying, boys. I think the stream PC is on its last fucking legs. It's been a good run. I know I haven't turned you off in four months, but you'll be fine. Just keep on fucking trucking. Yeah, this thing. I don't know what the fuck's going on right now with it. Just need a Windows update? Fuck that Windows update. <laughs> fuck, can you load? It's not loading my fucking Chrome. Load! Load! All right, there we go. Fucking finally, Jesus, dude. Fucking finally. Oh, Trav's not here, man. Trav ain't here, brother. I remembered, I gotta fix the way my character looks and shit. Completely fucked up my character's swag. 
as all you fucking zoomer dumb fucks would say. Yo, Ash, thanks for the two years. I appreciate that. Doesn't seem like a lot of people are on, though. They gotta hurry up and fucking get a bunch of people whitelisted, man. You gotta hit that iron while it's fucking hot. Like, just get people onto this whitelist, everybody. Get them onto the server and then just have fucking in-game moderators and admins just going around taking care of business. Why am I? Okay, I was about to say. It's a NA server. Why is everything just a fucking NA server? I really fucked up my life by fucking trying, by saying, hey, I want to have a normal life, dude. Did they add some? Did they add something? The color seems a little different. The color seems more 80s. Takes three to four weeks to get approved. Yeah, that's why they just need to fucking approve people. Oh, they wiped sprays? No, it looks like they added like a filter. <coughs> Doesn't it? Like, it looks like the world is kind of like you're looking at it through an 80s tele. Maybe this is my head. I don't fucking know. Damn, all right, that's cool. They said on stream earlier they're approving 200 apps this week. That's not enough, though. That's not enough when there's thousands. Approving 200 ain't gonna get the server filled. You gotta hit the iron while it's hot. Where's the fucking... They don't have people to do it. That's why you just whitelist. That's why you just whitelist, my man. The only thing that can be done. Like, I'm not trying to tell anybody how to run their shit, but... Hold on. Overshirt variant. Nice. Arms. Hold on, we need to get rid of this fucking undershirt. Uh, 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 uh. You're missing the meeting? That's fine. I'm fine with that. Let me get my arms sorted out. And then my pantaloons. Not those pants. Wait, was it those pants? Hold on, I think it. Hold on, I think it. I think it was those pants. I think it was these ones. I mean, the color just looks a little different though, because they put that filter on. Yo, this mask and this hat just ain't the vibe. Oh my god. Forgot to get the fucking money out, dude! Oh, today's a day. Oh, it's gonna be a day. I can already t I need- I'm trying not to dip. I'm literally trying, but I'm about to put it in. I'm about to double up. Yo, OG Smoke, thanks for the 26 months. Wait, they, they only approve 200 apps a week? Is that actually true, or are you fucking just saying that? 
That, is that actually true? They're only approving 200 apps a week. Isn't that a lot? No, that's not a lot. That's a lot of people. It's not! All right, listen, I, you guys are literally trying to tell me. Selective whitelist doesn't equal good when your server isn't filled, you fucking retard! Oh my god! I haven't read one app. I've read a couple. I've read quite a few. Guys are just wrong. I tell you, but you're just so wrong, chat. Hey, what's up, hog? I can read. Just because you can read in two languages doesn't mean shit, bitch. All right. We get it. We get it. You, f you, you can speak multiple languages. All right. We get it, hog. Uh, let's see undergarments. I need to get my undergarment. I don't like how they call it an undergarment. <laughs> Sounds dirty. Did I pass them again? I did. I think these are more 80s, right? Yeah, these are the more 80s ones, like the little... Or is it the ones that are kind of like to the ankle? These ones, right? To the ankle is kind of more like new, newer fashion, right? Something like that. New character, no, it's the same character. I'm not trying to be rude, chat, but I wish more people would listen to me. See, no matter what, this is always going to clip. Is it? I mean, is it 80s to have, like, it's 80s to have your chest out, right? Like every dude in the 80s had it buttoned, uh, uh, like unbuttoned down to the fucking nipple. No nicotine? Bro, I'm getting my nicotine now. I'm good. Alright, so I mean, it's like I just have to live with the fucking clipping unless I want to walk around with fucking gloves. I mean, we can try and take a look, but there's going to be no way of fixing this shit. Because it bothers me too. Trust me. Alright. You put the arms up. As you can see, you got your clipping. So it's like... And then... Ugh, the camera's just so fucked. Alright. Let's see if this one did it. See? Still clipping. Still fucking clipping. Arms 15. 
See, and then you start getting into fucking gloves. The only way you can make it work is if you put like a low cut t-shirt under it. Put a low cut t-shirt under it, you fucking cover up the goddamn opening in your chest. And then you can have like the sleeves, uh, then your arms start naturally at the fucking sleeves. I guess this is as good as it gets though. Is there a v-neck? I mean, what type? I mean, dude, people wear v-necks underneath button-ups in the fucking 80s, though. Another shirt? I don't want another shirt. I really like this shirt. This shirt's great. I don't think anybody wore tank tops underneath. Maybe they kind of did. People wore jerseys, too. Just put a white a wife beater underneath. That is kind of Max Payne. Be like that. See if we cover that up. Then if we go to arms, we have so many more options. See? Literally solved then. I guess we'll just have a wife beater underneath of it. Wait, is that a shirt underneath or is that just an open space? No, it's not. Not, I see the open space. I'm fucking stupid. Holes. Hopefully this fixes it. Nope. Doesn't fix it. And then we start moving into gloves immediately. Ah, fuck it. It's literally all we can do. That's not a hole. That's not. I don't think it is. Yeah, it's not. It's a shirt. You had me worried there for a second, boss. Are you still allowed to call them what? Wife beaters? Thought that's what they were called. Not like it's not like you're encouraging people to go beat their fucking wife. Say the name of a fucking shirt. I mean, well, all right. So I uh, listen. My entire life, I haven't known exactly what to call them. All right, are they white beaters or are they wife beaters? That's what everybody used to call them. I didn't know. Tank top. I guess we should just call it a tank top, huh? <laughs> I'm scared to play music because the, the VOD won't get published again. Thor Master, thanks for the 14 months. Delirious Beast, thanks for the 26 months. Waffle, thanks for the two years. Delaware, thanks for the 18 months. You know what, chat? I'm gonna stop being concerned about anything and just focus on what I do, all right? I think my problem is is that my mind just like races on so many fucking things simultaneously. Maybe I should take a drug for that. Maybe I should just start taking a fucking drug that I can work my way into abusing. Maybe that'll, maybe that's the gateway to finding happiness. Yo, Pigeon, thanks for the six months. Adderall. Bro, I don't want to take that shit. I like the way that shit makes me feel. Took Adderall one time. Well, to be fair, I did blast it. <laughs> I mean, the one time I took Adderall, I crushed it and sniffed it up my fucking nose. But you know something? I really didn't care for the way it made me feel. <laughs> I told that to my doctor. <laughs> my doctor was like, have you ever tried Adderall before? I was like, yeah, one time I tried it, but I sniffed it up my fucking nose. Didn't like it that much. <laughs> I've never done coke. All right, I've never done, I haven't, I'm not a druggie. I don't even like taking anything. All right, I fucking took, uh, let me turn on some 80s music real quick. 
only thing I've the, I've smoked weed for years of my life, and then I did acid once. And I'll never do acid again. Holy fuck! Never do any. Never do any hallucinogen ever again. Some drugs are fun. Spoken like a true fucking degenerate. Yeah. The new uniforms look pretty cool, huh? Raise your hand if you snorted a little meth. Who the fuck is snorting meth? Weed is fine. I don't give a fuck if people smoke weed. But when I have a kid, I don't want him smoking that shit. He'll just be a lazy degenerate like everybody else I know in life that just smokes weed. Give me a second, chat. Uno segundo. Enjoy the music. Where's my phone? I will be right the fuck back. I'm back. Sorry about that. Go check out these new uniforms and shit. Twisted Rivers, thanks for the fucking year. 
New uniforms? Yeah, I kind of want to check them out, and then I might play Big T before ch someone before one guy in chat pissed me the fuck off. Mm -mm -mm. You know how those one guys get me. Those one guys get to me, man. They really fucking do. But I got my lip packed now, so I feel great. Oh, you're right. They did wipe all the graffiti. Does this stuff actually work? Lock gates. Hey! Didn't mean to ding your car up, but the good thing is it's such a piece of shit that nobody will notice, am I right? Hey, how you doing, pussy? Good morning, my name is Allison. Oh. My bad, I thought you were pussy. Sorry about that. Oh, that that's alright, sir. H how are you? Captain? I'm doing good. I'm doing great. I'm gonna go park Good. my car in the lot, all right, so it doesn't get stolen outside. I don't right. trust that guy in that that's tornado. That's a beautiful. That's a beautiful vehicle. Yep, it's a Pontiac thing? Trans Am Firebird. Oh my god. Hey, uh, watch where you're going. Hey, hey, you you don't got any guns on you, do you? What? What'd you say? Don't know. You don't know? I do not have any guns on me. You don't know if you have any guns on you, stupid or something, son? Are you stupid? Do you, do you not understand the English language? I do not have any guns uh, on me. All right, listen, I can't tell if you're from across the pond or a fucking hillbilly, all right? You have a fan. Go in there and talk to the receptionist, all right? Maybe a bit of both. Are you, are you, are you a lawman? Am I a lawman? Yeah, I'm the boss. I'm in charge of the lawman. I'm the captain. Is this your car here? Yep, sure is. It's my baby. Terrible, 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 terrible. terrible choice? Look at what you're driving, you piece of shit. Hold on! Go in there. I gotta remember, I can't be corrupt. I, I gotta remember, I can't, I can't be corrupt! I mean, I guess you guys are right about quality. I mean, one good person is better than ten shitlords. But I kind of feel like the pacing needs to be... There needs to be a little bit more chaos. That's just my personal opinion, though. Because police need to police, but also be able to investigate. Like, more civs, and then... Like, letting in, like, more slit civs and, like, more chaos just kind of creates more roleplay in general. Because it gives people more stuff to do than stand around an office all day. Me, I can stand... It's not no pixel rot. Not no pixel rot. Oh, there's a rule against serial killers. Can't do any character without corruption. I can do characters without corruption. It's just that what they consider corruption, I don't consider corruption. I just consider being the villain in, in a criminal story. I mean, but I am not afraid to lie in court, but not just like make something up and arrest someone on false charges. Now, I'd never lie about, like, procedure to get somebody stuck with serious charges, but when it comes to attacking people, that's a little different. All right, so let's see what we got here. LSPD, LS... So where's the new... The new uniform? Saying it. Okay, there we go. Oh, wow, that looks good. Now, do they have decals and stuff added? <laughs> All right, let's see the... Wait, where's the short sleeve one?
Hey, where's the where's the short sleeve one? Is it only long sleeve right now? Is there only long sleeve? Is there no short sleeve one? Short sleeve is scuffed. All right. I like it. I like it a lot. I just wish I had the. Sh I just wish it didn't clip my watch. I think it looks great. <laughs> Campaign hat? Fuck no. I hate wearing the hats. I'm not a hat guy. I don't like the hats, man. Let's grab a hat just in case. Uh, LSPD campaign hat. I don't like the campaign hat. Is there like a, another hat? LSPD hat. <laughs> this ain't it. <laughs> All right, how's everything going there, Allison? How's the day treating you, Allie? Oh, you know, pretty good. All right, you staying out of trouble. You're not doing drugs at the front desk, are you? Oh, never. I've never done a drug in my life. One time, I had a beer at the Yellow Jack, and that was it. You only had a beer one time. Yes, sir. All right, I got you. Must be a good Christian woman with good Christian morals imbued into her southern skin. Exactly. Yes, I'm a good girl. See, when you say it like that, okay, well, you should don't tell people you're a good girl. <laughs> Just say you're a nice lady. <laughs> oh, all right. Well, my There's daddy always of... told me I was a good girl. Okay, well, yeah, you should. Let's not tell people that. Let's just tell people that. Uh, my my father uh, told me that I was a very respectable young woman. <laughs> oh, all right. Well, I always want to make my daddy proud. All right, I'm going to go hit the patrols. I mean, you should be fine here. All right, if you need anything, I'll be on radio. Name's Captain Lionel Riggs. All right, thank you. Myself and another dispatcher, one's upstairs on his lunch break. Thank you so much, sir. All right, thank you. Hey, how you looking good there, the hot Marino? Thank you, thank you. What do you think of the new uniforms? Like them better than that ugly tan shit? Yeah, I like them a lot. I really like the cars as well. Oh, yeah, yeah. So what's uh, what's the car that, you know, what, what car should I be driving now? What do you think? Well, I don't think anything changed mechanically. I'm just talking about deliveries and them change stuff. <laughs> oh, but, all right. Uh, I still drive the Charger. Definitely still drive the, the Charger. I mean, I really like that Plymouth. Really? Yeah, I like that Plymouth. That Plymouth, that Plymouth pools, man. I don't know. I'll I felt like it, look. it turns weird. <clears throat> All right, have a good one there, Hot Marino. <laughs> Thank you. The fuck you doing here? What are you doing here? What are you doing here? That's a more appropriate fucking question. Okay. This is all right. This is nice. Two ten, Captain Lionel Riggs, ten eight. We got any actives? Uh, me and me and uh, White are out here on a possible drug call on uh, what is this West Vinewood and Gentry Lane, but other than that. All right, A firm, I'll be in route to assist. 
sort of just staking it out at the moment. Nothing big. All right, A-Firm, I'll keep my distance. That's an FYI, Captain. We got the binoculars and armor. Do they weigh 20 fucking pounds? They don't. Thank God. Dun 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 <laughs> Hey, how's the medical staff of this city doing? Oh, we're all right here. Gotcha, gotcha. You guys feeling okay? Yeah, we're feeling good. Uh, you guys ain't sick, are you? No, we're not sick. Uh, you might want to cough, though. I might want to cough? Yeah, yeah, you, you sound you like you have a really rough voice. Yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah it sounds like you had a so, long nice. day of uh, screaming <laughs> at people. What the fuck happened? How did this? How did that change? Maybe some water. Uh, sorry about that. Sometimes I wake up with a morning voice. Ah, yeah. Uh, no, I got that. Much yep. better. But yeah, I just wanted to check in with you guys, see how things are going. Uh, you guys have a lot of in and out here. Uh, well, right it's now it depends, it's, yeah. Yeah, it, it comes and goes in ways. Mm, all right, all right. Well, just uh, if you guys come across anybody who's has like uh, gunshot wounds or anything, if you could please make us aware so we could uh, question them as to how it happened, that'd be great. Mm -hmm. right. What about stabbings? Stab yeah, I was just about well, to say. Oh, yeah, stabbings too. Yes, if they're yeah, stabbed or beaten. If you guys suspect any foul play whatsoever from the medical, you know, proceed, you know. I mean, you guys are trained professionals. If you guys suspect any type of foul play, you guys should just make us aware while they're getting treatment. All right, well, we'll do our best. And that's just, uh, is that like specifically when you are, you guys are here, or is that? No, uh... just you can just make us known on radio, or you can even call okay. down to the precinct while someone's getting some shit done. You know, then you could advise them. I know that you guys won't detain people. We could advise them to stay in the room until an officer arrives, but that might scare them. So just tell them. Hey, hey, just wait in here a little bit. We're going to get a, another doctor to come in to give you a look over. <laughs> and then, bam, mm -hmm. I come through. Hey, guess what? <laughs> Joke's on you. There's no other look over. It's just me trying to find out who stabbed you or shot you or who'd you shoot and stab or what'd you do to get shot and stabbed. It's a lot of questions. <laughs> I got you. No, you I, I like that idea because I had a guy yesterday tell me uh, he wasn't stabbed, but he was. Oh, yeah, he's a fucking liar. I mean, yeah, that's when you guys just uh, put them in the room, and then we'll come down and take care of it for you, all right? All righty, sounds good. All right, hey, so what's your guys' names? Jennifer Morrison. Oh, Jennifer, uh, what Joe. a beautiful name. Yeah. Joe, that's an all right name. You're like a cup of Joe. It's okay. Yeah, 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 it's all right. Got a great Nothing mustache, special. though. Thank you, thank you. Got that Tom Selleck look going on. Tom Selleck, that's yeah. Keep, yeah. Yeah, that's what I keep telling him. Yeah, yeah. He's got that young Tom Selleck look going on. Young Tom Selleck. Isn't he pretty young? Younger Tom Selleck. I get that. I, I can see it. <laughs> all right, guys. Well, I'm Captain Lionel Riggs. If you need me, just go ahead and hail me on frequency, all right? Channel one. Captain, let me 76 to you. Uh, 14376 uh Beach for 47. <laughs> there we go. We get the call from you. <laughs> nice stream. Can you raid my channel, please? Buddy, what's the, what's the matter if I raid you or not? If you're not if you're a fucking boring <laughs> fuckhead, no one's going to watch you anyway. 20376. Plenty of interesting people get raided every day. Not everybody can be like me and get raids and <laughs> Retain a fuck ton of viewers just because I literally am the greatest streamer on this fucking platform. I mean, let's just be honest. One of these days, I'm going to be where I fucking deserve to be. 
one of these fucking days, I will be at the top where I belong. One of these days, it's gonna fucking happen. And I'm gonna tell all you guys I fucking told you so. On Facebook? Just on Kick? Disregard that 38. Chat, listen. All right. But you know what? Hold on, hold on. You guys need a wake-up call real quick. All right? No, 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 no. I'm not going to be treated like this. Listen here, you fucking pieces of shit. All right? I had my opportunity. All right? And I chose to stay here because I'd rather stream for my fucking community than be filthy fucking rich. All right? You guys better fucking learn that. All right? You better learn that and appreciate it. Okay, you better learn that and fucking appreciate it. Wrong choice? I don't think it was the wrong choice. I mean, dude, being rich sounds boring as shit. All right, camps a lot with the five bomb. I'm just letting you guys know. I, I think, uh, what the fuck, chat, what the fuck else would I do if I wasn't streaming? Honestly, what do you think? Do you think I have any other aspirations in this fucking life? None. None whatso fucking ever. All right. I just want to play fucking video games, dude. All right. That's that's literally all I desire. I already got what I want. <laughs> Forgot about traveling. I mean, I want to travel a bit, but I don't want to travel all the fucking time. I mean, traveling would be... Traveling is going to be something I definitely plan on doing, but... Right now, I don't really want to. I just want to play video games. Have I, I paid my rent? Yeah, I paid my rent. I paid my rent, but I also purposely shorted $100. I do need to go back to Maryland at some point. Yo, lopsided. Thanks for the 13 months, dude. I really appreciate that. How much is my rent? Bro, you want to know how much I have to pay for rent? I mean, I have no problem telling. I'm not going to tell you the exact number, but it's close to $4,000 a month. Just for rent. Crazy. But to be fair, I do rent a pretty big place. Yeah, I know. Yeah, I know. I know. I know. I know. I know. That's a house payment? Yes, that's why I'm buying a house. Why I'm buying a house, chat, okay? I'm buy I'm buying a house. Relax. What change. you doing, you got... No, no, I don't got any change for you, you homeless bum. Better change there, mister. No, 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 no. I don't have any change for you, you homeless bum. That's not really nice. I didn't choose this life. No, I don't got any... I don't got any... Is there, is there like a homeless epidemic going on down here? Uh, I, I'm not homeless. I was just wondering. I mean, you didn't want to give me to this guy. I thought maybe you'd give some to me, you know? I'm not giving you... You got a gold chain around your neck and you got some nice-ass sunglasses and a fucking blazer. Yeah, so you know I'm good for it, right? No, 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 no. You're well, so definitely you not good change, for it. Right? I'm not I'm not giving anybody involved at this at this stop right now at anything. All right? Not a, not Wait, a fucking thing. No, you're not detained. I'm My vehicle is at a stop. stop. My, are my lights on? Did I say you're detained? That's what I was asking. I was trying to clarify. You're not detained. You literally were across okay. the street. You came over here asking me for a fucking dollar. All right. I just said change technically, but okay, fine. I'm not All right. I'm not know. giving you any of my change. I'm not giving you any change. All right. None of you. Yeah, get your goddamn rollerblades on. No, I'm not giving you any food, food either. You're not getting any food. Why don't you go get a fucking job? I need you to arrest me. I have some information. Hmm. Sir, yeah, back give me some change. 
Hey, hold on. I'm getting this bu homeless bum piece of change? shit. Hold on. I'm getting this homeless bum piece of shit out of here. Sir, face away oh, from me. You're under arrest for being homeless. You're under arrest for being homeless. Being homeless is against uh, the law. Face away from me at this time. You're going uh, in. Sending you into jail. You're going into jail. Oh, oh, look at this. Oh. Hey, hey, hey. No. Looks like it's $5 for me. <laughs> All right. Oh, you have the right eat. to remain silent. Anything you do or say can will be used against you in the court of law. You have the right to have an attorney present during pledge. You cannot afford one. One will be provided for you by the state. Do you understand uh, your rights, sir? Yeah, yeah. All right. Watch your head, you homeless bum piece of shit. Uh, not too much. Just arresting this guy for being homeless. Oh, well. You, you get uh, spare, that. spare change. Getting these bums off the street. 210 76, Davis Police Department, 195. Thank so God. You got, you Thank got, you. you. Hey, hey, no problem. So you got some. Hold on. Oh, oh shit. my neck. Oh. Jesus Christ, Enzo. All right. You're not getting promoted. My bad. All right, go on patrol okay. with your goddamn clown car. All right. <laughs> Captain. What? What do you want? Enzo's looking to get promoted. He's not getting promoted. He's driving around in a fucking clown car right now. I'm training. I'm... Nobody's I'm training getting promoted. Body. Oh, well, you know what? It's fine. All right. I'll, I'll wait till Harper's around. You know what? Nobody's getting promoted. Yeah, yeah. You know what? Wait for Harper. You know, Harper, Harper and Ace will give everybody everything they want. That's why I'm going to be chief. Dispatch to P PD Captain, can you mark yourself um, on the MDT on duty? That's a thing? Okay. <laughs> That's probably why it was showing your activity was so low even though you were working. Good work, Captain. 2938 on Meteor Street. Uh, dark blue in color, one time occupied. It might be Mr. Guy Cole again. I'm gonna need some backup here. Pussy, you have my Order permission to go punch in my time card. Give me one second. Can you turn on your 20? My name's Allie. Yeah. So I'm gonna make contact. All right, all right. So you said you got information uh, for me. Dispatch. To I do. I do. So um, I'm working Hold with Howie and Tex. Oh, oh, okay. I got you. Let me turn my radio off. All right. So what's going on, boss man? First off, what's your name? All right. I'm Larry Farva, and Tex is uh, calling me Philly. Uh, on the all streets, right, I'm going by uh, out, uh, Harry though. All right. So this all happened because uh, I called a couple stuff in. You know, I'm waiting uh, for the interviews to open up. I told them I would keep my ear to the ground. Um, but they told me I looked too much like a cop. So I went with the look of a homeless guy. And I cannot begin to tell you how many people have been telling me stuff. It's, 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 you guys got a lot of shit on your hands. So you got to be that. careful now. Listen, I'm going to tell you something that needs to stay secret. All right. Yeah. Yeah. The last guy that was ordered to go undercover turned into a murderer. Oh, what the? No, 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 no. I'm, I'm not doing that. I've been having people give me le jobs left and right. That's why. I, that's why I need to talk to somebody. Like I don't want to go down that road. All right. You know? All right. So, uh, so you wanna? Where do you want to start at? All right. Take as much time as you need. I'm gonna get my notepad out. All right. All right. All right. You just let me know when you're ready. All right. All right. All right, I'm ready when you are, Philly. All right, um, so I've been doing this for about a week now. I got some stuff. Um, so there's this gang, they're all dressed in green. Uh, there's about four of them that usually hang out together in Southside. Um, the leader, his name is Fourth, I believe. Um, a lot of the guys were going up to him and asking like him stuff. Uh, getting permission from him, so I'm gonna be assuming that he's the leader. His name's Fourth. He's dressed in uh, black shirt, green with green on it, uh, green zipper up hoodie, with like a 
green bandana. So he actually um, pulled out a knife and um, told me to buy meth off of him. So he's selling it on the street for fourteen dollars, and he gave it to me for ten. So I had to, I did give this information to a few of the um, cadets because I didn't want to have any drugs on me. Um, so I don't have any drugs on me at the moment. Um, but yeah, he basically told me that uh, I needed to buy it off of him or he was going to kill me. Um, so that was one of the instances with the meth. Um, if you need more descriptions of who he hangs with, I can give you that as well. Oh, I got my uh, I got my notepad up here. You just keep telling me stuff. I'm getting everything down. All right. Um, the next thing, his um, his buddies. There's usually three of them that hang out with him a lot. Uh, two of them kind of dress the same. They have white shirts with green like trash pants, and they both have like the American flag as a bandana around their head. And then the last guy, um, he's got a green trench coat with a gold chain and tra 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 trash pants as well. And like a gray, uh, gray fro. So they were pretty hostile at first. Um, and then once I bought that off of them, they were pretty cool. And they said I can beg and south side from there. So they... Um, they will sell it on the streets and they also sell it underneath the bridge on Elgin as well. That's like their hangout spot right next to uh, ammunition there. Gotcha. You got any more information for me? Yeah, this, um, another instance with meth, uh, let's see, I'm trying to remember. Oh, there's this guy, right? I don't know what his actual name is, okay? But on the streets, he's going by the name Jizz, right? He walked up to me, and he handed me some meth. He said, here you go, have some fun. Didn't even have to pay for it or anything. He's just handing it out like candy to people. I think um, I've seen him, like, dancing with a group of people outside the post office. Um, and they wanted him to, like, listen to his um, music or something. So I don't know if he, like, makes music or if he's a rapper or what. Um, but he usually has, like, white shades on, you know. Um, he's usually all dressed in white or black. He's got some tattoos on his face as well. But yeah, that guy is just handing out meth like it's candy out there. All right, what else you got for me? Yeah, this fucking psycho by the name of uh, Meth Michael. I don't know if he's addicted to meth or not. He's got like big blonde hair, black leather jacket. He pointed a gun and put it in my mouth and forced me to tell him where you can find meth. So um, you might have a you know situation on your hands regarding this guy in the future. Just keep your uh, keep your eyes peeled for that. All right, all right, that's good information. Is that all you want to give me at this time, or do you got more? And then I got uh, I think I got some more here. Um, so weed is another thing as well. Um, people give me a lot of joints. And I was asking this one guy in particular, his name is Billy. Uh, I was trying to get a little bit more out of him without pushing him. And uh, I was like, you know, man, I'm trying to, I'm trying to get some, uh, trying to make this myself. I know you go to, you know, to the, the market and get some long papers. Where can I actually get some weed? And uh, he, he didn't really tell me too much, but he gave me a lead that the loss are apparently distribu distributing it. Um, now I did play dumb and went to them about it and asked them if I could you know, possibly if they knew anything about that and they got really hostile towards me and the one was going to, the one of the members was going to tell me about it and they all like streamed at him and then stormed off. So I think that's definitely something to uh, look into as well. Now, I don't know any other information that you guys know already, but this is what I've been gathering out there. But it's gotten to the point where people are actually offering me like, you know, 
illegal things to do that I don't want to do. So I just don't want to get too deep where, you know, you're, you're saying that this other guy's doing. All right, look, keep your, uh, keep your chin up. All right, I'm going to go drop you off down the road. Actually, I'm just going to drop you off here, all right? Yeah, yeah, that's fine, that's fine. Let me get you out of these cuffs. Appreciate it. I don't think I got your name. Captain Lionel Riggs, all right? If you can't get a okay. hold of text, right. whoever you're working with, just go ahead and get a hold of me, all right? I'm taking detailed right, notes on everything. That. All right. Awesome. I would stay here for Sounds a minute good. or two before I'm long gone, and then I would take the stairs and cut through the alleyway there at the side of this building. All right. If anyone asks, you were just fined $50 and given community service. All right, we got like uh, decent information. I mean, here's the thing. We have a lot of information on the Lost MC and the Pink Cage. I mean, the Lost MC seem to be the group that's involved in every drug possible. Like we got leads of them being involved in meth, pushing meth through the Pink Cage. Uh, we got uh, leads uh, of them, uh, of this Jizz guy pushing not only weed, but also meth. He pushes it for the Lost too. Or at least that's the information that we got. I mean, I'd have to pull up all the fucking notes I've been taking, but... What a nickname. Yeah, it's quite the nickname. I feel like my car gets banged up so easy. Tex, you still on stakeout up in Vinewood? No, fuck no. All right, you want to meet me down in the captain's office real quick? I got some stuff I got to talk to you about. Yeah, we can do that. I'm, uh, I'm here. All right, A-Firm, I'll be upstairs shortly. Shit, I bugged my radio by having it in my hand. I bugged my radio by having it in my hand. I like the light blue. It's really 80s. Hey, keep up the good work there, dumbass. Uh, thank you, sir. I can't wait to get suspended. I'm not going to get suspended. Hey, Captain. Hey, how you doing? Looking good, Steel. Good. It's, yep, yeah, thanks, sir. A little change up, grew out the beard. Why are, we we why are you wearing blue? Uniforms. Do we not have new uniforms for women? Uh, no, we don't. All right, so, uh, uh, yeah, he is. I actually, uh, I'm not sure if you want to talk here, but, uh, oh, name Philly ring a bell. Oh, yeah. What's going on with Philip? Got a bunch of stuff from him. Hey, I don't want me to have to turn this fucking radio off. Yeah, I got a uh, bunch of notes from Philip? him. Uh, yeah, yeah. Let me yeah. come over there. Yeah. Um, got a bunch of notes from him on some of the stuff. I... You all right? All right. That's an old move from Vietnam. Good one. That was a... Uh, uh, all right. Uh, let me grab my notes here out of my pocket. All right, so, okay, it's a lot. Sorry, I'll take your time. Uh, you don't got to bother writing anything down. What I can do is just slap it into an investigative report for you, or I can just uh, write it on a note and hand it off to you. Yeah, that's fine. All right, so Philly goes by Harry on the street, been doing this for about a week or now, has information. Gang dressed in green, about four of them. They hang out on the south side. The leader is Fourth. That's his, That's the name that they call him, Fourth. Um, 
a lot of the guys are going up to him to ask him stuff and get permission. It's assumed that he is the shot caller. Black shirt, green hoodie, green bandana. Force pulled out a knife and forced Philly to buy meth from him for ten dollars. Normally the uh he normally sells meth for fourteen dollars. Philly handed it off to the cadets. Philly does not have drugs on him currently, uh, or does drugs. Uh, was made to buy drugs or would be killed by fourth, essentially. He was forced to buy those drugs under the implication if he didn't buy them, he would be killed. His buddies, there's three of them. Uh, they all dress similar. Green track pants, American flag bandana. Last guy wears uh, a green trench coat and green track pants and a gray afro. Uh, group's pretty hostile after Philly was forced to buy meth. Uh, uh, was was less hostile after they forced him to buy meth. After he did this, he was allowed to panhandle. So it's kind of like they gave him like a street pass. All right. Uh, they sell meth on the streets and underneath the bridge off Elgin, right across from the ammunition. Uh, that homeless colony. I think that's like Maurice, Maurice Washington. I think that's who he's talking about. Because those are the people who I see there. Uh, meth related. Uh, there is a guy, unsure what his name is, but he goes by the street name of Jizz. Uh, he walked up to Philly and handed him some meth. Uh, here you go, have fun. Uh, he didn't even have to pay for the meth. He's just handing it out like candy. Was seen dancing with a group of people outside of the post office. Might be a rapper and might make music. Uh, normally has white shades and will either dress in all black or white. Has some tattoos on his face. Meth Michael is another person. Meth Michael is uh, big, uh, big blonde hair, uh, big leather jacket, and he put a gun in Philly's mouth and forced him to tell him. Do you I'll just walk into case. a fucking office when you get the fuck out, idiot? The door's locked I'll for a fucking reason. Philly's mouth forced him to tell him where to find meth. Uh, might have a violent man on our hands with this uh, Meth Michael fellow, unsure of what his actual name is. We. Uh, people give Philly a bunch of joints. This one guy, Billy, provides weed. Uh, Philly asked Billy how to get weed, and that led to finding out that the Lost are distributing it. Philly approached the Lost, and they were very hostile towards him. Uh, and then ton plenty of people are uh, offering him illegal things to do. Right. So he's, he's worried he's getting in too deep at this point. Yeah, I think we're about to have another fucking situation, all right? Yeah, Sounds we're like. about to have another situation where another can guy we that's... Fucking, can, can we hire this guy before he fucking becomes a kingpin? I mean, here's the thing. If you want him to if you want to pull him out now and get him hired and get him to change his look and all that shit, by all means, be my fucking guest. I'll hire him for you. Yeah, because we're going to end up with another fucking situation where... Yeah, we are going to end up with another situation yeah. that we shouldn't talk about because of how fucked up it is. Yeah, I agree. Can we fucking get him in here as like, soon as possible and just make him a detective or some shit? I don't know if we'll make him a detective, but we'll probably make him a right. cadet. Yeah, that's, well, whatever. That's fine. I don't give a fuck. Just so, he's, he's, he, just so he's off the streets he's doing this stupid shit. All right. All right. Sounds that's like he's, he's got a lot of information that coordinates with a lot of the stuff that I have right now. Apparently, the yeah. pink cage is used... The Lost MC pushes... Uh, meth and other drugs through the pink cage through jizz. Yeah, he's a uh, you know, he's he's got a lot of or well, it it would appear that he's got plenty of experience. He's a good fella and you know he's easy to talk to. So you know, I I, I would recommend him to be hired on. He's definitely like I think his real name. Here's like the thing: I'll hire about. him, but he's he's just going to be your responsibility. You know what I mean? That's fine. If he fucks up, I'll fire him or kill Perfect. him. Whatever. Perfect. I, I mean, there's. Too. What'd you say, Polly? Uh, Poppy, sir. I I have I know him too. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah he's a he's a good fellow. You know, he uh, he got his he changed his whole look after talking to me and Howie for a while. All right. Anyway. So, I mean, listen. He's probably down by the post office, still pretending to be homeless. If you want to go pick him up on being homeless that's what i did he told me he had information so i said publicly i'm arresting this man for being homeless nobody questioned it all right well i can go down there and then scoop him up do you know if he's down there uh i mean i don't know if he's no i i do not know if he's down there all right, I'll, I'll go figure it out all okay. right if you want to get him hired just go ahead and hail me on radio all right i will do
I have one question, sir. Hi, what's uh -huh. up, Bali? Poppy, sir. Uh, what was it about Maurice in your notes? Um, I mean, I've arrested him on several charges. Mm, but in the connection to all of this. Uh, in the connection to all of this, that he might be working mm -hmm. with the, uh, the, the guys that wear green that are occupying the south side. Okay. That's it. That's all they wanted to know. Oh, uh, yep. and as far as them notes go, can you fucking slap them over to me somewhere? Uh, yeah, yeah, I can put it on a note and hand it off to you. Yeah, it's fine. This is just all the shit that, the shit that he had sent you. Yeah, yeah, I picked him up. He gave me all this information. Fair enough. Right, but if uh, you need help with anything, let me know if you need any information. I mean, some of it I kind of miswrote a little bit, so I might just touch it up and then I'll give it to you by the end of the shift. All right, that's fine. I'll go scoop them up then. Come on, that Polly. Poppy. Poppy. Polly. Hey, yeah. Poppy. Oh, what's going on, Allison? Oh, um, we had a duplicate call sign. So, uh, Julian Hart changed her call sign to 265. Is there anything that you need to do on your end? Or as long as we get her to change it in the MDT, then she can do it herself? You don't have to do anything on your side? I don't think I have to do anything on my okay. side. Okay. All right, then. You're good to go, then. Never mind. All right, perfect. All right, thank you so much, Allie. You're welcome. You're on thin ice, Becker! You're on thin ice! I live every day with this. <laughs> Cleveland, you all right? You look a little slouch. Yeah, sir. Um, yesterday I was uh responding to a robbery and um I was going up a hill and a car t-boned me and I flew out the windshield and when I flew out the windshield my ribs cracked on the steering wheel, sir. So I got two two broken ribs, but I'm still here. I'm still here. I'm fighting on. You know the city right, needs yeah, the you, protection. Hey, hey, listen. You keep fighting on. I right, keep fighting the good fight there, Cleveland. Absolutely, sir. Don't let don't let the man get you down. Even though we are the man. No. Well, they did they did limit my aspirin to take today so i kind of need to be aware of that because i said if i take more than that i could die apparently but it's aspirin i think yeah i know that's why i think they're i think it was a myth that's why that's why i don't believe in seatbelts either sir i see seatbelts hey I that's believe... your god-given american right if you don't want to wear a seatbelt then don't wear a fucking seatbelt yeah Cleveland. well because see sir they, they said if i was in that car crash with the seatbelt i probably would have broken a lot of ribs instead of just two so I feel like that's them telling me seatbelts are meant to just design, trap, and suffocate people. Good God. You might be on to something. I'm going to bring this up. You know, once the city finally has a mayor, I'm going to bring it up with them that we should be getting rid of all seatbelts. I think that's a brilliant idea, sir. We need to save lives. And apparently seatbelts I mean, just ain't it. We're here to, exactly. We're here to protect and serve. And the only thing that I've seen is um, these seatbelts are harming people more than doing good. Oh. Hey, hey, Hippie. Hey, can, how are you can, doing? Can somebody unlock uh, this for me? Hey, sir, sorry for distracting in between the conversation. Hey, can somebody take me to the clothing store? Apparently, this is now my uh, regular clothing. What's wrong with it? You look great. Yeah, oh, that's I can't your regular clothing? The... You're fucked. Yeah, yeah, that's not good. Fucked yourself. You lost your goddamn Watch clothing bag. New you ready for traffic uh, stuff? I don't know what happened. I just changed, and now this is where this is where I'm at. I don't want to uh, walk around like this. Without uh, being all right, duty. Steel. I'll drop you off at a clothing store. Uh, appreciate it, Cap. What was that now? Adam, are you still talking about the seatbelts? Yeah, well, yeah. Cap asked why I'm walking the way I'm walking. I'd explain my ribs, and then I explain why oh. they broke. Is because I thankfully did not wear a seatbelt in the vehicle. Please wear it next time, Adam. I don't no. want you to die. Well, Let's I have broken steal. ribs now, so if I wear a seatbelt and crash, I'm going to break more ribs. All right. I mean, you like the new uniform? They're absolutely fantastic. Proud. Yeah, I'm a bit. I'm a big, big fan of all the changes right now. Great. Keep up the good work, Steel. I'm not good. hearing anything negative about you. Oh, it's good to hear, sir. Thank you. Watching Becker like a hawk, though, I can tell you that. Please do. Please do. If you get anything on him, you let me know. I'll shit can his ass. 
did I tell you yesterday? I know I told Marino, but I don't know if he w did anything further with it. I had a little bit of a conversation. I don't know if with I should Becker. take you to. I don't know if I should take you to this store. You know what? I'm gonna take. Okay. You know, I'm gonna take you to another one. All right. All right. You might. It might be a little bit of a walk, but you're. I think you're gonna be a lot safer. <laughs> okay. Yeah, that might make some sense there. Yeah, we had a pretty big arrest yesterday, and uh, the suspect kept telling me that Becker was taking him out back and beating him up. <laughs> so I uh, had a conversation with Becker about <laughs> it, and we kind of got into it. And then I talked to Marino about it, so I don't know if he's going to do anything about it. <laughs> hmm. You know what? Everything. You know what? Everything's going to be fine. All right. I just, uh, I don't, we already you know, fired one suspect guy. is a suspect, but we fired I don't Vincent want them Hanna, and then he up. shotgunned Becker. Holy shit. Uh, allegedly. I mean, I, I don't know what I heard. I'm, I'm pretty sure he did it. Uh, how, how is this happening already, man? Uh, you know how it goes. Yeah, I right, go ahead. It's going to probably take you. I'm worried about your uh, belt, though, so good luck getting your clothes fixed. Oh, uh, yeah. All right. Thank you, sir. I appreciate the hey, drive. No problem, boss. Have a good one. Ooh. I think it's time for some foot patrols with our nightstick out. Turn some music on. Chat, make sure you're telling all your friends to watch the stream. I know you guys always say you don't have friends. Did a Discord notification go out? Mm -hmm. traffic southbound popular street uh black color and five beamer uh unknown occupants legal ten that's the power of love yo wesley crusher thanks for the six months and loan shark thanks for the two years as well i really appreciate that guys okay well they hooed me all right fuck them all right they're uh they're not your friends. Can't hang out with them anymore. Sorry about that. Yeah, yeah, you can't uh, you can't hang out with those guys anymore. Hey, no problem, Bacon. Don't need money. Don't need fame. There we go. Open those cigarettes. God damn it, I bugged myself. I bugged myself. I hate when I get this bug when you have these props in your hand. I'm from 242. 210, I'm gonna be on foot patrol on the south side. Are you by yourself? I'll be fine. Can I get some people to stage jobs on the south side just in case? Yeah, we're <laughs> down here. But up, but up, but up. <laughs> hey, Allison cares. Yo, Corbin Dallas, thanks for the twenty two months. Then shysty flashbacks. I do miss Den. You know, Den was Den was not a terrible cop. He was just too uh, he was too progressive. Wanted to accomplish too much. 
To be fair, I never saw a, dep a department turn on someone that quick since Bass was chief. Bass's entire depart. Yeah, I'm good. I'm just uh, doing some foot patrols, Becker. What'd you say? I can't hear you. I'm just hanging out in my cruiser with my snitch. Hi. Perfect. All right. Well, I hope that that I hope that it's going well with your things are going well with your snitch. That's flipping me off. Are you flipping off the captain? No, didn't mean to. Okay. Well, let's I'm get you down to the interrogation room. You can tell me all about that sale you got. <laughs> Hey, I don't want to see no horsing around in here. <laughs> the run? Hey, listen. My run is... That is a... That's a solid run. That's a good fucking run right there. That's a good run. No horsing. How's Darkest Dungeon 2, by the way? Are people liking it, or... Good? Not great. I, I, it's hard. Not good. Same shit. So good. Worse than one. Looks good. Same. Hey, let's keep the horsing around to a minimum. Whose bus is this? Gotcha, gotcha. Who's, does anybody know whose bus this is? Oh, hey, how's it hey, going, hey, man? You want any um, lotion? No, I don't want any lotion. Are you sure? Yes. Hey, man, it's real good. No, yeah, I don't I'm want pretty any sure lotion. it's lotions, guys. Uh, mm -hmm. uh, bus. Dude, this lotion, is guys. Lotion. Is this your bus? Oh uh, yeah, man. It's my bus. Get it off the fucking curb, or I swear to God, I'll get it towed. Yeah. All right. Yeah, I can do that. Where do you want me to put it? I don't know where you should be parking that bus, but you shouldn't be parking it there or blocking this. You better find a place would, to p park that bus. Would you Would you mind if yeah, we park it, it over man. there yeah. in that alley? I don't yeah, give I a fuck. As long as it ain't uh, as long as it ain't obstructing the street, I don't give a fuck where it's parked. All right, defend All right. Right. hey, if you change your mind about the lotion, we'll hey, hey, make sure you, hey, hey, quit the quit the tomfoolery. All right. Quit it. That's what I've been trying to say, but these keep, me, these stupid cops keep wasting their time writing tickets for jaywalking. Hey, well, jaywalking anything a, else. Jaywalking's a crime, son. It's for you your stupid? own protection. Jaywalking's a crime. Yeah, if you're an idiot. Oh, oh my officer. god. Jesus Christ. Hey, what the fuck's the Sir! What the uh, fuck's the matter with you? <gasps> it's twice, you fucking ass. Oh, hey, how you doing there, sir? Are you oh, okay? This guy twice, man. You just, you Are see you that? Right? I'm really sorry, man. Force he hit me right, man. Oh, I don't here, know, hold man. Hold on, hold on a second. Let me, come might here, be let me see your hand real quick. What do you mean, bro? You hit, that's there not go, gonna dude. do shit, man. You hit me. No, no, it's fine. Just have a little. Just eat a little. What did you do that for, man? You know, watching where you're going? Oh, the lotion? It's good. Tex, we got a situation you hit me, over here. You you know, watching where you're going, bro? We got a fucking situation here, Tex. What is it? Believe that guy just uh, hit that man with his bus and then squirted lotion on him. Yeah, yeah. That is a situation. That's a situation and a half right there. Have you spoken to the guy with the lotion? Uh, I'm about to. I'm about to arrest him. Whatever, man. You're, well, you're gonna need a fucking translator as soon as you get him in cuffs. Only say that because he speaks you Cajun. Me, bro. What do you mean? You hit me speaks with Cajun. Oh, no he speaks Cajun, yeah. Jesus Christ. We got anyone that can translate? I'll do my best, you know. I can I can I can make out about half of what he's saying. All right, he also now I'm gonna... speaks a little bit of French. Hmm, that's not good. Yeah. Hey, you wanna press a charge on this guy? 
Nah, man, he, he didn't mean it. I believe. Move you, the fucking bus. But watch where you're going, man. You, well, I did this is your last your bus warning. License All right, revoked, move the fucking bus. Sir, get the bus the in the alleyway. Anymore. Sir, oh, sir. Right. Let's just get it. Let's just get in the good. bus here moving, man. Yeah, get the fucking no bus moving. Bus driver, bro. Guy's no not a way. bus driver. Goddamn drug addict. That's what he is. Yeah, yeah. I saw him eating the lotion earlier. Saw what? You saw him eating the yeah. lotion? Yeah, yeah, he squirted it in his hand and put it in his mouth. Aren't you a little too old yeah. to be a deputy? An officer, yeah. whatever you are. Your pants are too tight for you to keep living. I suggest you shut the that fuck up. That mustache is too tight on your lips. Hey, uh, Cap hey don't, don't worry, officer. Yeah, I'll what's going on, White? Man. Hey, bro, come on. Have you got a skate? Time to leave, bro. No, no, I don't, I don't, Would I don't, like I it? don't roller, no, no, I don't, I don't, I don't, okay. I don't roller skate. Alright, so uh, making Come sure on, in bro. case one of these idiots have skates in I got some, Hey, let's I get got these some, guys some jaywalking you, tickets money, issued, alright? Bro. Alright guys, I'm gonna need you to wait by the... Yeah. You coming, man? I told you I got money. Do you want me to come with you? Yeah, you won't come. I don't Whoa, 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 don't stick me, bro, don't stick me. I might have to. Oh, come on now. Can't make any promises. Might It might happen. <laughs> hmm. Yeah, I think you're right. I think it's kind of strange how many, uh... Compared to other people's streams, I I don't see as many, like, self-promoters. It's, it's kind of fucking strange. I feel like it's only something that happens in my channel. It's like, uh, it's almost like they just come here. They just, they just, for some reason, they just can't stay out of here. Turn music on. Summit gets it a lot. Mm -mm 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 -mm. So how's the, uh, let me ask you guys something. How's the RP category been lately? I see that there's uh, more drama taking place. I'm gonna be honest, sometimes I can't stay away from that shit. I don't really see too many of these uh, south side guys around here. Mm -mm. Oh, you only watch me and Dundee? Hey, those are some pretty good choices. I think, um... I think GTA really needs, uh... I think GTA really needs a little bit of help. No Pixel PD is still imploding. Uh, if I was in charge, it would be different. I really wanted to be in charge of the No Pixel Police Department. Like, all of it. I thought that shit would have been cool to do. I was very bored of GTRP until Ignite happened. Yeah, I like, uh, I like Ignite. I like it a lot. I like the pacing and everything. I just wish there was uh, more players on the server around this time. It doesn't. It seems like things like like most things. It's not. It doesn't pick up until like NA time. Me, I kind of, I kind of do want to play Big T today. Usually, a hundred people around, just slow today. Uh, I don't really think it's slow today. Swan, Swan's in prison. Just need X to play on Ignite. What do you mean? Me and Penta already got like 4,000 plus applications pushed through to the server. Yeah, I think that would be interesting to prioritize like uh, apps by location. A big wave getting approved this week. Yeah, that'll be good. The server needs it, in my opinion. 
type of music's that? <laughs> yeah, listen, what, listen, dude. When X isn't molding, he's actually fun to RP with and do stuff with. Yeah, NA is uh, NA is really good. I really enjoy the NA time slot. Yeah, the real Kyle. Thanks for the seven dollars and seventy-seven cents. Hmm. Hey, can't disagree with that. Can't disagree with that logic when you're 100% right. That guy jaywalked again. We gotta, we gotta find these motherfuckers into oblivion. What the hell? No. Well, what type of biker jacket's that? Turn the music down, guy! That motherfucker. Hey, Tex! That guy's playing his fucking music too loud! Motherfucker! Hey, guy, how you doing? Gonna have to ask that you turn that music down or I'm gonna be forced to take it yet. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, of course. Is that good? Let's turn it down, guy. Like that? I said turn it down, guy! Turn it the fuck down! Turn it! That's as low as it goes! Turn it That's down! As as it goes. Turn it what down! What fuck, man? Perfect. Thanks, guy. Appreciate your compliance. You should fuck get those you, dents asshole. buffed you out. You're gonna fucking get fucked, man, by your own baton. Bring it on, guy! Bring it on! Fuck you, man. Fuck you! Get that son of a bitch! Get that son of a bitch! What a dirt bag cop. Dude, Get out of the damn car! Get out of the fucking car! Get out of the fucking car, guys! Get him out of the car! Get him! Get that son of a bitch! Get that motherfucker! No, I got this! Are you okay? I saw that man chasing you. Ma'am, are you okay? Oh, I'm I'm fine. He's uh he's a friend. He's uh Okay, yeah, all right. Fine. He's fine. Oh, come on. What, what's this all right. Stick, man? Listen, See, listen. I just saw I just I saw you know. running and this man behind you and I thought he was trying to attack See, I you. I told you, Nolan. The cops are really nice. What's he up? tried to look at him. He's got a stick in Fuck his hand. You, he's Nolan. Hit me. He That's cuz I was ready to beat oh, ass. Just... Oh, That's cuz I was ready to beat your ass, Nolan. What's your name? I want to say what's your badge number? That's 
Captain Lionel Riggs. Captain. Yeah. Captain Lionel Riggs. All right, listen, why don't you and your fucking half-cut shirt go to a goddamn aerobics class or some shit hosted by Gene fucking Simmons, all right? Hey, Fuck don't you. get mad just because I keep it tight, okay? You don't keep nothing tight. You're loose. <sighs> hey, Morg. I'm not used to not seeing the pictures of Electra and uh, Mary Mushkin and Geo on the on the on the vanilla unicorn. Two ten. What's the status of that black and color two door? I believe they're on channel three, sir. Hey, firm. Hey, you guys still got uh? Ninety five. You guys got guy in custody. Hey, firm. Just, just. I'm coming to pick him up. Hey, firm. We're on Diddy and Drive. I'll take care of processing this piece of shit. Yo, Trias, thanks for the 11 months. I appreciate it. Well, 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 I look who we got here. Person, Don't worry, I'll take care of processing Mr. Guy. Me and him are neighbors, after all. I was saying. What? Uh, you have a gun. Uh, he has a gun and everything, Cap, if you want to take that to process uh, Let me him. take a look. Uh, just go ahead and put that stuff in my Can trunk. Uh, all right, fair enough. Here, Captain, if I, if oh, he's got a little care. 22 pistol. He's got a lot of money on him, though. That's kind of... Oh, you got so much money on you, guy. You know. You never know when you're going to need some cash. Uh, what do you mean, you never know when you're going to need some cash? I mean, you got like 500 bucks on you here, guy. Nice. Well, I just bought some shit for like 18000 You never know. It's best to just keep cash on you. Oh, what'd you buy there, Mr. Guy? Three apartments. I mean, you're unemployed. You know, you're buying all this right. stuff up. You know, how you Properties, getting your money? Properties, cars, unemployment. I don't think so. Uh, all right, perfect. All right, well, you do have the right to remain silent. Anything you do or say can will be used against you in the court of law. You have the right of an attorney present during question. You can afford one. One will be provided for you by the state. You understand your rights, guy. I understand the rights of rock to Sabbath. Sabbath sucks. You well, suck, man. Seven Fuck that that's guy. That's what he does. Pop it out nine, so is, it, is that like a department requirement? Seven, six plus oh, what makes you want to be a cop? Eight. Also, do you hate Sabbath? Uh, two or three dispatch. No, I, I just, I just hate people that just blast fucking music and, you know, they just are relentless it, with their it was fucking at volume. 20, it was at 20%. Every time a cop tells me to turn it down, I turn it up, man. That's, and that's why fault. you're going to jail. That's why you're going to jail. 210, I'm gonna be 76, Davis Police Department, 195. You buckled in, guy. 203 to dispatch, can I get a plate check? Oh man, unbuckle it. You know, guys, sometimes cars are driving and you just, get, you just get t boned for no reason. And then the passengers, they just happen to die. That usually happens when I get you're a plate check like dispatch. You go for dispatch. Alright, it's to you Next lot. time I catch you blasting music, sir, I'm gonna shoot my gun next to your head and blow out your fucking eardrums. Three, seven, three, oh, I can't wait. I can't wait. I'm gonna go Time grab a shotgun out Wednesday of the fucking night. armory and just blow your goddamn eardrums open with it. 
You're not gonna be able to sleep tomorrow. There's a concert directly oh, above your motel room. Guess what? I sleep. I sleep like a fucking baby, and I'll come up there and just arrest everybody. You can't arrest everybody. Your department's not big enough. That's where you're wrong, guy. That's where you're wrong. You know, at the next show we have, we already have 73 pre-sales. Oh, really? That's something. That's nice. Of all people that hate the police. Oh hey, my get God. out of the fucking way, asshole! Dispatch to PD. That plate comes back to a Manny. Man Your lights weren't even on, you asshole. My name. lights are always but on. Same with my sirens. Bolo or flags. Head boy, thank you. No, look at that. You guys need a reminder to lock your gates. Uh, let me park next to my baby. There she is. You know, I care about that car more than I do my own child. That's reasonable. All right, let's get you on out of here, guy. All right, let's go, guy. <laughs> Ever spit on my fucking car again? You'll be spitting your own fucking teeth, cocksucker. Get the fuck up. Get the fuck up. Okay. God damn it, I can't do that. God damn it, I can't fucking do that. I'm gonna get in trouble. Three dispatch, latest 38 on Vespucci and Elgin is going to be code 4. I'm going to be back 10 8. Hey, Allison, how you there. doing? Handsy. I'm all right. Did you have somebody at the post office got a little handsy? Uh, no, not that I can recall. No. Right. Wait, are you the Allison he fucked in the dumpster? No. Excuse me? This is, she, first off, let me tell you something about Allison. She's a good what Christian your woman problem? with great Christian morals. <laughs> he was just talking about how he wants to fucking Allison in the dumpster where she belongs. That's, that's, I don't know. I, he first, just wanted to shut the fuck up about it. Actually, Allison, I would never say that. I do find you attractive, but I am 42 years old and, and way too old for you. I'm 19, sir. Yep, way too old. Come on. You're a fucking creep, Riggs. Let's get you in the cell. I right, go ahead and just sit tight. Hey, thanks for the five bomb scapegoat. Hey, taxi. Hey, oh, Looking sorry. Uh, Becker, I need your help real quick. I, want uh, I need yeah, you not uh, to do something corrupt in front of me for five minutes. Okay, yeah, I could do that, but I need I need to ask you one thing. All right, what's that, Becker? Hey, I just caught some guy named Nolan next to a woman named Rowan, and uh. Uh, she didn't know who our president was, but I asked him, I said, hey, who's our president? Uh, he knew the right answer. I said, and I asked him, I said, hey, wh what is, what does Reagan hate? And his first answer, it, it threw me for, for a loop, but he said black people. Is that, was that something I'm not aware of? Is, is that a thing? Does Reagan hate me? Reagan does not hate you, Becker. He said he said Reagan hates black people because the war on drugs was systematically created to uh, systematically break down the black community. I can't Is, afford a lawyer. Do I know that am, I, that can a lawyer? am I on the wrong side of things? I, no, I don't. No, no, no. I really don't know what to do with my career. Becker, you're you're doing you're on he the you're doing that. great things. Okay, I, I guess I'll just be a believer for now, but I, I, I do have some questions now. But yeah, okay, what, what are we doing? Okay, I'd very much want an apology from you. <laughs> I'm scared, <laughs> Cap. An apology. If you give me an apology, I won't take him to court. Go tell him now. Everything's going to be I'm fine, scared. Becker. Becker, everything's going to be fine. All right? Okay. Yeah, I promise yeah, you, you that there'll be no racism in this workplace, even under Ray Ronald Reagan. Okay, okay, I believe you. You have, you you have my word. Hey, Thank Cap. You. Do you want to yell at a guy? Not right now. I got to deal with a 95. Okay. Uh, he just says that you hit him with a car. I'll tell him to fuck off. I mean, he my lights and sirens were on, and he pulled out. And yeah, that's me. yeah, that's what I figured. Okay, I'll tell him to fuck off. Don't worry, Becker. Everything's I mean, going to be fine. Yeah. I hope so. 
He told you that. I swear, I was right Jesus down at the Christ. strawberry clothing store, and I asked him, what does Reagan hate? He said, I only know of two things, and that's commas and black people. So I, I was just confused. He was wearing like a like a half a half tank top or something. So I don't really know what to do anymore. How about you just forget about what that man said and come help me with my arrest? Oh, okay, sir. Yeah. You want me to go kill him, Becker? Well, yeah, you know, we don't. I, cat. I don't think we should. I think we might be proving someone right. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know yeah. him just yet, but we might. Hey, White, how you doing? Hey, Cap. I'm going to need some guidance here. Yeah, uh, The two on? fellas you asked me to uh, get them for jaywalk, I issued a ticket to one of them. The other was not coming up on the file system I had in my vehicle, so I brought them down to uh, PD to check their fingerprint. They do come back as Billy West, but they are not on our file system as Billy West. And they've requested a lawyer. They're All in right. the interrogation room at the moment. All right, good, good work, White. I'll help you in a second. Becker, All let's right. go. Hel uh, come help me out, Becker. Okay. All right. Yes, Polly. Yes, sir. Uh, I, I seized that guy's vehicle. So it's currently in our lot. <laughs> oh, where'd he go? Oh, is huh. there a man in here? There's supposed to be a man in here. I don't see. Oh, there oh, he is. There he is. He oh. was hiding. Can you just go ahead and grab his uh, pistol, and then when he gets out of prison, you can return it to him? He didn't do anything violent. All right. Yeah, I can do that. It is a little 22, though. I, uh, but uh, I do want okay. to ask you why you have so much money what on the... you, guy. Hey, what the hell's wrong with you? Oh, wait, there's another one. All right. Fuck you, just... man. Okay, I'm just going to grab that from you, okay? Goddamn. Fucking spit near me. Oh, you got some uh, some slugs in here too. What you gonna do with that? Riding some seen, names on him. I have seen Mr. Oh, guy oh. with a shotgun. Okay, he said he's riding names on these, so uh, uh everything oh, decorations. Mr. Mr. Guy's a pussy. Uh, as long as you got his stuff removed, just go ahead and get him out of cuffs. I'm gonna get this shit written up. You know yeah, what? Can do. Good Cap. work, Becker. Uh, uh, th thank you, sir. I just, I, I think I need to take a quick fifteen to think about my life and where it's going. You get a gold star. That's un. <laughs> All right. Okay. All right, Mr. Guy. I'll see it. Come see me when you're out of the system. I guess. You're gonna be. F Don't worry, Becker. I'm there for you. Yeah, yeah. I. I'm starting to understand why everyone here hates me. I think everyone's just. I, I get it now. No, yeah. Bad, fuck bad. you, man. You piece of shit. So what happened? You drove down that well, fucking why, alleyway. Why does everyone hate him? I don't worry about it, right? It's not your concern. <laughs> you I mean, give him his car he back? seems like he a decent right man. I don't know why you guys fucking hate someone like that. He he seems okay. You just told him to go fuck himself. Well, that's just you know my life. Fucking yourself? Tex, I don't remember oh. your legal name because we all just call you Tex. Oh, it's a uh, Jackson Devereaux. Why doesn't Polly come up in our goddamn MDT? It's Poppy, sir. I have to get that changed. It's definitely a misspelling. Poppy? It's, I thought it's Polly Florian. Uh, po Poppy. Poppy, All right. sir. Anyone got the plate from his vehicle? Yes. K F D. Space. It's Kilo Foxtrot Delta, I thought. F eight six. Yeah, for using the military phonetic short. Kangaroo Fox Dog. What? Sure. Oh man. There's no A. Where the fuck did I say an A? Did you not say angry fox dog? Kangaroo. kangaroo. Oh, look, uh, oh. Fuck kangaroos. Fuck Australia. What? Fuck, fuck the cops. kitten. Kitten fox dog. Fuck Polly, you. I'm going to need you to get your report in for this, all right? 
it's gonna be in, it's gonna be incident. Uh, you got this, Polly. You got this. Go ahead and get your report in here. Actually, I'll I'll write it up. I'll write it up. Somebody, go ahead and. Uh, so, guy, you're gonna be looking at 22 months in prison. You're gonna have three days to pay off a $400 fine. Your charges are gonna be reckless driving, resisting arrest, and uh, disturbing the peace. Uh, do you wish to contest these charges in a court of law, or do you wish to admit guilt? Admit guilt. All right, perfect. Guilty. The captain pissed him off, and then he told him this. The captain told him. You'll be getting yours soon, Riggs. Oh, will I? I mean, I love my apartment at the Pink Cage. Really? I love it there. It's a nice neighborhood, place. huh? It's a real nice neighborhood. People love you there. I know they do. Someone go ahead and get him sent off for just make it 20 months. 20 months, sir? Uh, what's the report number? Uh, report number is going to be... Uh, let me just go ahead and I can always edit this. Uh, let's take a look. It'll be the latest report. It's gonna be uh, five two nine. Playing music too loud, reckless evading. Twenty months. I have a no, question. Yeah, what's if it going was on? any other band, would I get the ticket still? Uh, like you Journey. have a good you have a good one, guy. Hey, hey, if hey! It was Journey, would you have told me to turn it down? I love Journey. So would you have told me to turn it down? You have a fantastic day there, Mr. Quill. You see that? You see take care, you sir. Uh, DOC is here. See that uh, bullshit? Ready to take you away. He's uh, in interrogation room too. Sir, when does he get his car sure. back? Uh -oh. You're uh, facing Billy West here. Yeah. We'll have to discuss that. What the hell's going on with this guy? Sir. So uh, these, this is one of the individuals I was meant to issue a jaywalking ticket to, but uh, he's not on the system. But his fingerprint is uh, on the system as Billy West. Oh. And he requested a lawyer. I'm in a box of emotions right now. I think he's, um, he's not okay in the head. You see what I mean, Cap? Oh. He is not okay. I gave him a burger and water and uh, I'm I promise right. there was oh. nothing else inside. Unless you got any charges to press on him, just go ahead and cut him loose. <laughs> Unfortunately, uh, just... we don't believe in uh, mental health care in this day and age. So we're going to have to let oh, this crazy bastard roam the streets. So we can refer him to box. Dr. Lipschitz. Yeah. Yeah, we can refer yeah, him, but we can't order him to do it. Yeah. This crazy yeah. bastard's gonna have to be thrown out onto the streets and left to fend for himself. Oh god, I'm gonna break the news to him. Perfect, good I'm work, White. Don't mention ducks. What's not ducks? Hey, duck, I'm in. Uh, hey, Billy West. Oh god, you know too. Listen, all right. Good work, everybody. Oh, Solid policing. Yep. Yeah. No, we're doing, uh, we're doing the god's work. Yeah, that's what they told me we were doing in Vietnam. But God wasn't there. God, yeah, I thought God, yeah, God wasn't lying. there. Oh, they lied to us. I guess God I was not there at all, you know. Well, maybe you know, tax Becker, can help you out. Let me tell you something. Yes, what is it? Yeah. Hey, You're my tax friend. up. You're my colleague. Um, You're my Becker co has a problem. I, I'm, your, I'm your employee. Yeah, everybody here's problem? my employee. No, that's not the problem. What's her problem again, Becker? Do you want to explain it to Tex? I don't. I. You know, I just. Uh, I guess I've just come to a startling realization. Is all. What is that? I just. Uh, oh, look at that! The psychologist is here. Oh. Maybe you can talk to her. I guess. I might need to, because I don't really know where to go. Hey, Tex, if you send a letter to the White House, does the president read it? Well, if it's from me, he probably does. But Tex could send you that letter, then. Oh. Well, yeah, I mean, we could do that if you'd like. Becca. I guess I could get in contact with him. I don't really think he... 
All right, so I'll get a note a notebook right now in my hand, and I will write the letter down, and I'll just give it to text. What do you want to say to Ronald Reagan? I mean, I just want to, I just want to know if he, if he wants me. Uh, so, dear Mister, do I put dear or do I just say, or are we going for like Mister President? Is it a deer? Uh, what what makes me seem the least aggressive? Oh, dear Mr. President, probably. There we go. Dear Mr. President, I start Reagan, every letter off and with what dear is the... fuck you. Oh, I and... don't, no, no. I don't think I should do that. And what's the uh what's the uh, what's the uh Yeah, you don't want to, you don't want him to make him think that he's like Santa to you. So maybe to whom it may concern or not because he is that person. Maybe dear Mr. President Reagan. Dear Mr. President Reagan. What do you, and what else? What do you what do you want to say, Becker? Are you okay with me being a cop? Please. Are you okay with me being Here, a I'll, cop? I'll, I'll tell you what, we don't need you don't need to ask him. I'll send him a letter and tell him if he's got a problem, he could fucking take it up with me. All right? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Can you do that for me, Mr. Tex? Oh, Tex like put a gun in my mouth yesterday, and it was yeah, pretty awesome. Yeah, the government, the government turned its back face. on Tex. Um, yeah. He's busy oh. right now. But so did God. And my wife. And his wife. And his wife. And his wife. Jesus Christ. All right, so I guess I... Oh, yeah, basic is hilarious. With, uh, Ronald Reagan. Have Chad, I still can't get over how big these statues are that I ordered. It's actually obnoxious. These things are big and weigh like a lot. I think this one weighs like 60 pounds. It looks pretty cool though. Oh! Back in Nam. Turn some music on. Yeah, Polly. Uh, Poppy, sir, I just have a question about the, the charges. Uh, okay, you gotcha. gave to guy, um, so you gave him a uh, reckless driving, yeah, and I think resisting a arrest. But wouldn't it be fleeing and eluding? Oh, that's yeah, it would be fleeing and eluding. Whoops. Okay, I was just checking because he yeah, has I to do community was, service now too. That charge. Yeah, because I I just saw the reckless driving charge and I knew we don't have that charge. Because it's a fleeing and eluding charge. It's, yeah. Yeah, I so. forgot about he the played, uh, fleeing he played, and eluding he charge. He pled guilty. Yeah, yeah. He pled guilty no matter what, so it's really his bad. So, but yeah. Yeah, when yeah, they I drive for, away yeah, like I just, that. I keep yeah. forgetting about that charge out of all honesty. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's dumb. I just figured I'd let you know. That's it. Good work, Captain. Perfect. Hey, keep up the good work. Hold on. I gotta fix this shit. I hate when the stuff gets bugged in my hands. I can't stand it. Damn, this song's a fucking banger, too. I'm just gonna be honest, dude. I fucking love 80s music, I think. And my 5M didn't launch. All right, it's launching now. I'm hungry like the wolf. 80s music is peak. I think, dude, I honestly, 80s and early 90s, amazing stuff. Is CFX down? Or is it just me? Mm -mm -mm. All right, there we go. Def Leopard.
Damn, what, uh, dude, I went through, a, all right, listen, I went through a phase where all I listened to was, like, old music. I feel like everybody goes through that fucking phase. Like, I just couldn't stop listening to Ze uh, Led Zeppelin. Okay. Thank oh, you. hey, Captain. Hey, how you doing? I'm good. I'm, are you busy right now? Uh, give me a second. Yeah, sure. Is the hot cat. dog have a quaalude in it? No. Okay, then I want the the panini. All right. Play some Sabbath. Play with my balls. I, well, to answer your question, I like to poop, unlike Muffy. God, I wish I the- I am smarter than a Labrador, so I like to have my hot dogs with Quaaludes so I can eat the hot dog and still be flavored. But, um, uh, Muffy just, yeah, Muffy is not, though. She just All right, what's like, going on, ma'am? with it. Yeah, uh, you want to speak oh, somewhere okay. more private? Uh, oh. yeah, sure. Come with me. You don't got any weapons on you, do you? No. Uh, That's I have dead. a switchblade. Oh, uh, it's fine. Puma. If I die, I die. With me? Oh. That's the attitude, Captain. Well, I mean, we shouldn't be swallowing quaaludes on the job. Would you rather me? All right, what's going on, ma'am? Yeah, we spoke a couple of days ago, and then about your how do I call it? The public's opinion of you, and I've realized, um, yeah, it 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 doesn't really matter. I I extended an offer to you for sensitivity training. It turns out that a lot of people don't really like that. In this town, and I don't know why they don't like sensitivity training. Yeah, because I don't need it. You don't need it. Hmm. No, I. So, I'm perfectly fine the way I am. I'm a shy shit. You're perfectly also. fine the way you are. Well, I'm. I'm trying to extend to an, a plea here. Hey, if you can't beat them, you may as well try and join them. Gonna be giving them the anger therapy. Oh no! As in, hey, I am seeking to be one of you guys. <laughs> on, I want to see if y'all were hiring by each other. I don't know if we're hiring right now, Tex. How are things looking? Uh, Captain, I think you have forgotten that I am not actually a member of command. What do you mean? You're a lieutenant. Well, they put a placard up on the wall, but they it, nobody's given me the proper responsibilities yet. Uh, I just got them in the filing cabinet today, sir. It's it's all formalities, right, all okay. formalities Tex. As we're gonna all right, well, uh, presently, I think there's been a uh, slight pause on hiring, but uh, I mean, there are a, a couple of people that we're scooping up here and there because, uh, you know, so some people are real uh, dedicated to uh, you know their work, and some are also liabilities to be keeping out on the street, so they need a badge. I can assure you that I am not a liability. You hire me, I'll be one of the best officers in this police department. Well, well and, and what exactly? I need you to convince me of that. Why would that be? Why would that be? Yeah. I am very... Just, uh, I'll, I'll tell you about me. I used to be a detective back in the UK. I was part of the Met, and then things kind of happened. I got unfairly dismissed from my job, some would say. Um, <laughs> didn't get a reason why. And yeah, I realized, hey, there's not that much back. In, there's not much, that much left for me in the UK. 
that decided to pack everything up and I were not back home, I was. Most of the rest on the streets. I was there 24 hours and I I I put I, I did so much work out there. I'll be I'll be I'll be, I'll put the most hours, I'll get the most arrest. I am the person that you need. I see. All right. Now, in terms of, uh, you know, we, we do need good soldiers who are, uh, let's say you were to get uh, uh, scooped up and brought into court to testify against another officer. What do you feel uh, you would do on the stand? We got to ask her the real questions there, Tex. What happens? What's the first thing you do when you fall into a spider hole? A spider hole? Yep. What, what? There aren't. They are either armed combatants or not, and you have to decide. Sometimes your flashlight fucking goes out and it's dark. When they start screaming, what do you do? When they start screaming, what do you do? Yep. You're already dead. What? Oh, would anyone know if I just kill him? Yeah, good answer. Oh, oh, thanks. Yeah. Yeah. If you hear screaming, you just start shooting at it. And, uh, oh, yeah, absolutely. That, that, that's, 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 that's me. Well, you kill a lot of innocent people that way. Are they really innocent, though? Some were unarmed. And women and children. Wait, but I do listen to George Michael. Okay. Okay. Hey, anyway. who's done? Who's? It's the thing, Tex. Who's gonna know? Me for the rest of my fucking life. Anyway, I should probably stop a asking questions at this point, Kevin. I just don't know if we're hiring for this shift in particular. I don't know if we're really hiring at the moment. It seems like we have. Let me take a look. Well, when when is, when normally do you work your shift? Did he say Charlie have, said that? I'm the type of person who doesn't really no, have no, a no, shift. No, no, no. Oh God! Oh, no, he's no, got a gun. No. You kill, you kill his pet spider. What the? Fuck? What's going on? Oh. No. I, I heard somebody say Charlie. Oh. I mean, don't think anybody say it. All right, everything's good. Everything's fine, Tex. Don't worry about it. Yeah, I'm the type of person who doesn't really have a shift. Um, yeah. Please, do I mean, if, if we hire her, will you take the time to get her caught up to speed text, or will you get someone to do it? Yeah, I'll get Pop Poppy to do it. All right, perfect. Yeah, I'll, I'll do it. All right, what's all your... Right. Uh, all right, I'll, I'll bring you on, but you're only on as a non-solo cadet. Uh, okay. Yeah, we get somebody that need more people with fucking experience around here. Right, Jesus Christ, this place is a fucking clown show. All right, welcome to the team. I'm going 42 for a bit. <laughs> it's on you, Polly. Polly, this is on you. I want to play Big T. It's time to play Big T. Time to play some Big T. Higher than dip. Swan, Swan's in prison still. That does not look safe. Big T is very pog. The real Big T. I do want to play more crim than cop, and I have not been doing that. I have not been doing that at all. Why? I feel like I, I here's the thing, right? I want to get the PD going, but now we're at a standstill where we got to get the DOJ up and going. Doesn't matter how good the PD is until the DOJ is really up and running. Know what I mean? If you don't have if you don't have DOJ. It's literally the most important aspect of, of a server. Perfect. 
It's a waiting game. Uh, it's not a good sign when it's a waiting game. It's motherfucker. I don't want it to be a waiting game. That's the thing. Let me go ahead and just uh, change the title and stuff. Uh, ah! Uh, uh, ha! All right, perfect. Perfect, big T. Academy. Academy only helps so much. I'm kind of a firm believer that if you have serious consequences, you can have more of a lax PD because they kind of get fucked up by the court system. Like, if you want to be a dipshit, be a dipshit, but cost you your fucking job lawyers and judges do you need some lawyers and judges lawyers i do want to do lawyer rp so bad man i see uh i see a big opportunity there like a huge opportunity like i really want to make a lawyer really want to make a fucking attorney Alright, Macha's down. Down the fucking hatch. Brother lawyers. Brother lawyers. Hey, how you doing over there? Hey, you making dogs? Oh, yes, sir. Just slinging a little wiener in the alley. Hey, oh, hey, you making some wieners over there, huh? Yeah, Peppy's back alley wieners. I got Lucy's. I got wieners. I got hey, I'm coming back over there to get me a dog. All right, let me go. I got to check, make sure my apartment's clean. All right. Yeah, all right. I'll put one on for you. Oh, my own. Oh. Where? Where's my apartment? Where's my apartment? I got a message, Bobby. This is what I was afraid of. I know, but it's supposed to be 39. I already paid my rent. I got my guns in there. I got my shotgun in there. Keeping the pink cage safe. Let me see something real quick. The rent balance. Stop renting room. I still have my room. My rent is due in three days. Change log says room 39 is fixed. Maybe it's at a different door? Let me check. All right, hold on. Hold on. Is it, wait, wait, 39? No. Alright, hold on. Yo, Wild Pig, thanks for the nine months, and Apostate, thanks for the 13. Where's my room? I didn't see that one when I passed it. Six, 27, 28, 29. Where's room 39? Numbers are off by one on the other side. Uh, 
Oh, my own. Son of a bitch. I need my shotgun. It says 38 for 39. Yeah, I know. Hey, this is a robbery! Oh, <laughs> Just kidding Christ. with you. You scared the fucking shit hey, out of this me. Hey, this is Italian humor. How you doing? Hey, how you I'm doing? Right, uh, settle down. Pepe. Settle down. Just a little Italian humor. Got me kind of nervous, man. What hey, the, come what on. What kind of joke is that? Hey, come on. You, uh, you, you want a weed, or? Hey, Just, how much? Uh, you making jokes. How much, how, much is it, how much is a dog? Hey, take a look at the board. Here's a board. Got, uh, got three dollars a wiener. Uh, Lucy's is two for one, and uh, forties is four dollars. All right, let the, me uh, get uh, let me get let me get a dog and let me get a forty. You got it coming right up. Seven dollars, uh, huh? Oh, seven dingo. Hey, that's all I happen to have. Seven dollars. Uh, hey, hey, when it rains, it fucking it's pours. Meant to be. It was. Hey, it's oh. meant to be. All right, let me put a dog on real quick for you. All right, dog me down. <laughs> them dogs barking. I like them dogs Whoa. barking. What's your name, pal? I'm, uh, I'm Pepe. Hey, they call me Big T around here. How you doing? Big T, huh? Yeah, hey, they call me Big right. T. <laughs> Big T, okay. Uh, why they call you Big T? You got uh, high testosterone. Hey, because I'm 6'4", 240. Jesus, a big boy myself. I'm uh, I'm 5'11, but I'm pushing 260. And you fat bastard, you beef, eating pig, getting high off your own supply over here, aren't you? Hey, would you trust a skinny chef? Hey, no, I ain't gonna trust no skinny bastard cooking my dogs. I can tell you that much. Boom! All right, here we go. It's uh, it's gonna be seven big ones. Hey, hey I got the big you. Man. Hey, here you go. Seven dollars. Boom! Right there for you. Hey, got and my boom. four. There hey, you go. hey, make sure you got your money, all right? Hey, whoa. Money's on the ground over there. You dropped oh, it. we put the money on the dollar. Yeah, I got slippy hands. Gre greasy from the hot dog. Hey, hey, hey. You, you goddamn grease ball, you. All right, hey, hey. How you doing? Need to go grab my car. Take it easy. Yo, Simon, thanks for the five months. I appreciate that. Chat, make sure if you're new, you hit that follow button and get your subs in. Make sure you're getting them in. Get them while they're hot. Get them while they're hot. I'm not gonna lie, I kinda wanna try playing Darkest Dungeon too. Chris, thanks for the five bomb. And Jokahama, thanks for the 26 months. Where's the warriors at? Sadly, they're in prison. Not as fun as the first. I mean, I was having a great time playing the first. I'm doing it again, focus. Well, because I'm just trying to decide if I feel like role-playing today or not. I had a long stream yesterday. I'm a little gassed. I can't access my, uh... I can't access my fucking apartment. I'm gonna do some fucking... gonna do some fucking shit <laughs> you know dude all right, i'm gonna be honest that game we were playing yesterday was not it didn't it was not that good i'm just gonna be honest i feel like that uh that playing with those people was a lot of fun but that fucking game was not that good i don't think it's as good as uh i don't think it's as good as um other as uh phasmophobia for example A 
second. Perfect, though. Phasmophobia has new stuff. Game is pretty boring, but I wish I could turn on my face cam. I really need to get a fucking haircut. I look like shit right now. Need that same group? That's a fun group. I, I mean, not being able to get into my apartment is going to be a fucking issue, chat. If I can't get into my apartment, it's an issue. Grow it out? I don't want to grow it out. Hey, this guy hassling you. You hassling the dog man. Yeah, whoa, 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 bro. He's just, you know, trying to slang some wieners or something, man. Yeah, yeah, hey, he sells good dogs. Hey. He does good work. Okay, he said wiener. It got me a little, you know. Hey, hey, I think they're playing a, pr a prank on me, bro. What's your prank? They gave me the room number, like, uh, numero 38, man. Yeah, and my number's 39. Like... Yeah. And I these C37 here, man. Hey, you're the problem. Man. My own, yeah. you stupid bastard. Oh, chill, bro. I like. This is my you, goddamn whoa. room. What? Oh, oh, sh. Oh, my. 39's oh, my shit. domain. You better not have touched my damn shotgun, you son of a bitch. My bad, bro. Whoa, you I'm got a shotgun? Take a walk over here. Now I'm gonna go I take a bad. nap in my room. <laughs> Time to feel in some variety today. I'm kind of feeling I'm kind of feeling some variety today, chat. I'm gonna be real with you. I'm feeling it today. 120 stars. That's an option. That's definitely a fucking option. That's definitely a fucking option. You know how I get whenever I do long streams? It fucks with my head a little bit. Get this set up. There we go. Analytics allowed? What is that? By allowing us to collect gameplay data, you will help us further refine and enrich the Darkest du Darkest Dungeon 2 experience! It will be used for balancing and improvement purposes! Fuck no! You're not analyzing shit I do! There we go. All right, volume should be good. How's volume sounding, guys? Why is it only in... It doesn't have 4K. What the fuck? All right, there we go. Put it in 4K. Max FPS 120. I guess you can only max FPS at 120, huh? Go play QA testers? What the fuck is that? Let's begin our new journey. I do love the graphics of the game. Those The, the books looked a little strange there for a second, though. One twenty is more than enough for this game. I guess it is. Ruin has found you at last. Is that a zombie? My protege, my friend, 
Our calculations were correct. The ephemeral equation is unbalanced. The Earth spins on a strange and terrifying new axis. And everywhere. Everyone can turn it into a fucking zombie. The world is a wasteland of failures past. And yet. Baldur's Gate 3 is fun to play, but boring as shit to watch. Unafraid. Take this. It is hope. The very last of it. It is yours now. You were bold once. Be bold once more. Free yourself from this suffocating stillness. Oh, uh, dude, I would love to play uh, Divinity with McConnell. That shit would be funny. Face the fearsome truth this guy does kind of sound like Optimus. Of the darkest dungeon. He does kind of sound like Optimus Prime. What game is this? Uh, this is Darkest Dungeon 2. You must face your failures. Begin be your confession. By them. All right. Stagecoach. Wait, you actually... I know failure well. I glimpsed it looking at the ragged edges of your mind. I watched its venom spread through the veins of the world. And I trembled at its terrible reverberations. All right. The crossroads where lost souls hope Jesus to find their Jesus Christ. Way. Um, all right. All right, the party. Four heroes will join together on this expedition. Your salvation rides on them. Party creation, drag, double click. Hero portraits, assemble your party of four heroes. And rightmost stagecoach view. I right, press Z to bring up the stagecoach view. This shows items currently installed on stagecoach. Armor and wheels. Stagecoach items can be changed at the Wainwright. It's present at the inn. Okay, the stagecoach. The stagecoach is your carriage, coffin, and confessional. Tap W. Uh, wants to order the stagecoach forward. Tap S to halt it. Stagecoach will either steer. Okay, perfect. All right, so we got our team. Indiscriminate science. Wait, hold on. Stains the surgeon's hands. Uh, so let's see. Okay. Tried. More devastating than the horrors of a hundred campaigns. All right, we got our team. Uh, seems like it's pretty good. Yet remains of the world. Now, what are you doing? The bulwark of your denial is giving way. I mean, how do I get through this? Do I just do I just go through it? I mean, do you just go through it? The art is great. Yeah, it is. Zombies! Oh, dude, they actually. You know what the graphics remind me of? Walking Dead. Uh, let's see what we got. Pick to the face, thrown dagger, flashing daggers, poison dart. Uh, there we go. Pick to the face, pistol shot, wicked slice, duelist advance, tracking shot, take aim. Uh, wicked slice. Critical. And then noxious blast. Uh, resist the... Okay. Crush. Ran trying to learn the abilities. It does remind me of Telltale Graphics, too. Literally, the zombies look like they're right out of a Telltale game. Bold hit. Bold hit. Alright, let's, uh... 
kick to the face, this motherfucker. And then just uh, kill this bitch. Death blow. One less Dude, the, I, in so far, I like the way the game looks. Take all. Are you shaken? There is so much worse in store. Okay. The desperate few. The game seems a little... What the fuck? Alright, inventory. Inventory stacking. Treasure... Jesus Christ, expecting me to read all this shit. Assistance encounters. Bring the heroes face to face with downtrodden local populace. These forlorn creatures are in need of help. Often valuable supplies to offer to the heroes in return. Uh, helping the locals. Best way to restore the flame. Combat is turn-based. Turn order. Actions. Skills. Launch. Uh, Alright, so skills can only be used if a hero is in the correct launch rank. Okay, so positioning is key. You're not supposed to get all the tutorials at once? You think that's a bug? Why the fuck is it given to me all at once? Alright, um... Click and hold a hero to make it from Highwayman. Plus 100 flame. Alright, cool. Let me take a look. Uh, there's no way to, for me to check trinkets now. Inventory. Okay. Uh, right. Z. We don't have anything for our stagecoach. You can feel it. A change in the air. Okay. You see, even your valley is not immune to the spreading stain. Huh. So undead can get blight. Where's the noxious? Uh, hold on. Uh, blinding gas. All right. Uh, take him. Shoot that bitch in the fucking chest. Incremental, but deadly all the same. Uh, bolster. Uh. Um, hold on. Defender, self. Press. Hold on. I'm trying to just understand what this stuff does. Rampart. This guy's got a lot of fucking health. Protect the child! I love turn-based, I'm not gonna lie. Crits. Yep. Dots. Items. Combo tokens. Special compared to other tokens. It's bad recipient. Okay. It brings up resistances to... Alright. Does Blight stack? Who knows 
what lurks in the beyond. Holy shit. I feel like we have more health than the than the last one we played. Crush that bitch. Um Will the blight kill him? Everyone's Agony. bullying my blight goddamn road. Death's door. Dagger ain't as good as the fucking pistol. I like the gun. I like Another the fucking epidemic. gun, boys. Cleared with impunity. Why would you ever leave the fucking items? Push on to the inn. Rest and resupply await you. Okay, so now we made it to the fucking inn. Summers of years gone to write, think, Reach the torch and, and rest. Prologue, uh, prologue. You have found your fortitude at last. Collect what hope you can and end your expedition here. All right. So we just end the expedition and then that's just it. Combat items. Okay. Monster death blows. For this first venture through the valley, nothing new. End expedition at the lower left of the screen. I'm actually trying to learn the fucking game chat, alright? Candles of hope. Sure. Alright, we'll just. I guess you just Sometimes end the expedition. It is wiser to try anew, fortified by trials past. Try and try again. You will break through this gloaming murk. What do you mean, oh no? What do you mean, it begins? No one gives a fuck about your fucking kick account, bitch. You must remember the world as it was, if you hope to save it. I am hunched over in fucking gamer posture right now. That's what all gamers do. All right, ending early. At any point, you can end expedition, collect your candles, hope during the normal at making it to the next inn. Okay. Were we not supposed to end early? You must spend all your candles of hope before leaving the altar. To recall a thing is to make it real once more. Stagecoach items, in items. All right. Combat items. Trinkets. We have to spend all five of our candles at this altar. Like, do we want to be balanced, or is there something particular that we should focus on in the beginning? On your first run, you don't have the choice. Hey, what's going on, Paula? How you doing? Um... Let's see. Cadence, the pauses make the game so much more. It's pretty deep, brother. Stagecoach in combat. A welcome advancement to the science of survival. Okay. A drop of sanity. Food gear. Before each In location, chance madness. to produce whiskey items. Increase stacking whiskey by four stack per. 
then should we just do more combat items as opposed to trinkets? Or do we want food? I guess we could do combat items and in items. And then it's called at that point. New instruments right. will help us diagnose the world's affliction and overcome it. The Book of Creative Insults? We don't need that. Roasting is the one thing that we're good What's at in this chat. The maelstrom. So be fair that I'm good at. Most of you are dog shit. Most of you couldn't last five minutes at a lunch table with me in high school. What's this place? The seat of your denial. Perched precarious. Working fields? Okay, we already did that. In the murky gloaming. And now we have to do now we have to just do confessions everywhere we go. Crumbling denial. Peaked Long in high enough. school. Nah, peaked uh, 23, I think. So fucking dark. I remember our first meeting on the steps of the university. A collegial handshake. That would doom us both. Your insightful questions during my lectures gave me pause. And I recognized in you something of a kindred spirit. Despite our differences in age and position, we shared a keen fascination in archaeology, folklore, and, okay. of course, sense. occultism. The crossroads. A place between places. Pride. More devastating than the horrors of a hundred campaigns. Shrines of Reflection. Skills. Okay. What's like the verdict on this game so far? Because it seems like it was like pretty mixed in chat. When you are ready, this rutted roadway will finally take you home. You can feel it. A oh change God. in the air. Am I supposed to go through the leaves or avoid you them? See, even your valley is not immune. It's undead everywhere thing. we fucking go. Not good. I mean, I'm having fun. 11, 13, 13. Crush this fucking ghoul's head in. Poison that fucker. Give him the blight. Hey, get off me. Boop. Damn it, why does that keep happening? Fucking bitch. Uh, um, cut these bodies out of the way. Oh shit! Crit! Boop! In this weighty gloom, a spark. Upgrade hero skills, okay, nice. Take all that shit. Slay the Spire? Shaking? I never played there Slay the Spire. So much worse Everybody talks still. about it, though. Okay, what the fuck? Did, why did this just pop up? Uh. Is this the inn already? 
How many fucking ends are around here? Paula, thanks for the 44 months in uh, Iridan, thanks for the year. To write, think, and rest. All right, contribute companions. All right, select mastery trainer. Experience, however painful, is the greatest teacher of all. Uh. Who should we be buffing first? Where do you think we sh what do you guys think we should be doing first exactly? We don't really have a we don't have a healer right now. I don't I don't have a healer in the group. I mean actually blight skills. All right. I mean, we are a big fan of our highway guy. Three to six, six to nine, four to eight. Can we go pistol shot. Hmm. I'm always unsure what to do in these type of games when it comes to advancing people. Like, do I just pick people I like and advance the abilities that I like to use? I feel like pistol, you can't go wrong with pistol shot. Mm. Seems like our biggest hitter right here is gonna be Audrey. Just don't be a pussy. I'm not trying to be a fucking pussy. You fucking asshole. Bender, bolster. Hey Jenny, how you doing? I miss dark and darker too. You don't have to try. You do have to try. The Wayne, right? Your coach must be maintained if it is to carry you where you must go. Okay. And then you can select your route. Rain, fire, and rot. Is there no sanctuary from this madness? Alter. Where should we go? The tangle or the fucking sprawl? What does it mean by one plus 100% oasis location plus 200% oasis? Minus 300% lo location scouting minus 300% route scouting. I feel like we should just stick with the fucking tangle. You're saying to go to the haze because you probably want me to fucking die, fucker. <laughs> Fuck it. Another nameless city. All right. Another inferno of mutilation and madness. Rest for the night and then journey onward. Hold on. Let's do it. I'm not afraid of the sprawl. I'm not gonna die. All right, map details. Okay. They did it a little bit differently, huh? Scouting. Different stagecoach items. Road objects. Uh, even road uh, d can sometimes yield useful supplies. Crash through debris to find loot. Fear not, the stagecoach is built for Behold. This. The great. Right, route types. Safe barricade combat hazard. Okay. Oblivion tear. All right. Cities of man. Ruined. 
and a flame. We're going left. Thought it was meant to, to, to take this shit. I'm missing all the debris. I'm desperate and wanting. Will you rip off their earnest, please? In this world, wealth is worthless without purpose. Can't loot goblin? I want a loot goblin, though. The coach's plating is spent. We are exposed. What the fuck does it mean the plating is spent? One, freedom. A prison riot, a fleeting chance to escape incarceration. Beating my ass. Punch him in the fucking jaw. Beating their asses, but they're but they're beating mine. Thank God. He's making me stressed. An asshole. He would be a fugitive, a hunted man, but a free one nonetheless. All right, he's pretty cool. of a dying world and point blank shot is so good and humanity all right hit the lowest possible one i could i want to cut this bitch down Fucking zombie piece of shit. Yo, Blight is so good. Ow! Alright, he's got armor. Boop!
Dude, that noxious gas is... No time Holy shit! My highwayman's getting bodied. Even the greatest of threats. Do I still have do I have food rations? Greater threats await those who dare. Do I have items that I can heal my uh, guy with? Alright, hold on. Goals and conditions. Alright. Map. Okay. D. Uh, armor. How do I? I can't buy armor. All right. Inventory. Uh. Do I just not have anything that I can heal my people with? So it's like I can only do it through uh, heal just by traveling. All right, I'll take your fucking word for it. I'm trying to fucking loot goblin here. Fanatics. Thirteen, sixteen, twelve, sixteen. Jesus. I'm gonna get fucking killed. A slow dissection. An unavoidable end. Get that blade out. The slow suffering begins. He burned me. So if you don't have the items equipped, why is everyone bullying the highway man? Burning me. Measure out your violence. They're just burning me the fuck down. Was that like a counter? No! I guess it doesn't matter. Burning my whole team. Okay, well, shoot you in the face. And then Blight should kill him, right? Nope, it's not going. To. Oh 
my god. How many turns does burn last? Death blow before. In this weighty gloom, a spark. Dude, I need to heal my people. We had it twice. I need to heal my people. I need to heal them. I can't. They're just going to die. I mean, we're healing, but not much. I mean, another encounter like that's gonna fuck me in the ass. And imbue them with purpose. The Wainwright awaits, eager to ply his trade. So how do I equip stuff to these people so I can use it in combat? I don't want to discard the item. How do I equip it? Right click the hero portrait. Okay. Those are trinkets. Oh, I see. Equip combat item. I got you. So, what do we have? Burn salve. Flammable. Okay. Wait, so wait, distant trinket? Probably should be for the back. Clear all uh, combat item clears all corpses. Medical gear plus 20% while traveling. Wait, can I equip that to my stagecoach? I can't equip this to my stagecoach. That goes on the stagecoach, but I can't put it on because I have the fucking pot and still. Okay. Combat item. I need to read so much. But the thing is, though, I read it and I still don't know exactly what to do. Moves blind.
But how do I equip point blank shot? Chat, how do I equip point blank shot? All right, there we go. I just don't know what item to give this guy. Do I just give him anything? Fuck it. Lair, boss fight, trophy. Is that what I want to do? I want to go fight a boss? Cat, what do we decide here? We venture blindly forth. At the mercy of the road and its myriad dangers. Brother! The loathing whispers. I'm being a fucking loot goblin though. I don't give a fuck. Grupples at the first casualty of war. Am I going to rob them? <laughs> the loathing festers. Unknown. Un I mean, at least we get a candle if we take this route. I missed it. Get, get it. Get the loot. Why are you laughing at me? Oh, God. Can I give that blight? Yeah, I didn't think I could give a cannon blight. Uh, point blank shot. I'm out of position. I have to be in the front. Wait, the highway man has to be at the front in order to point blank shot? Shit. Oh, God. Talk a lot of shit in chat. Thank God for a misfire. Collaboration confers advantage. Crush it! Oh. They're mad I'm not min-maxing? Fuck them. Goddamn nerds that play this fucking game all the time. Look at that. You guys were saying I was going to die. Suck my balls. 
Talking all this fucking shit. I fucking, you know what? I'm glad I'm an RP streamer. I couldn't stand being a variety guy. You guys just talk so much shit if I don't 100% know what I'm doing 100% of the fucking time. I never played these fucking games before. Always talking shit. Plus 30 flame. Hey, look, we're almost done. I'm not, it, it is kind of a fun game though. No, no, no. What the hell's this? I'm not even tilted, bitch! Oh, shit. Okay, good thing I have that thing to make me not blind. Uh, 28 health, 28 health, 20 health. Oh God, start poisoning them. We got to get the blight out. Mm. Oh, never mind, never mind. And then I can point blank shot him too. Noxious. No! I needed that blight! Fuck, I'm bleeding. So that thing's gonna resist my blight. Uh, 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 uh. I need to keep. I need to keep the highwayman defended. Or if I defend him once, does it stay? Does it stay defending him? If I stay, if I stay, since I already did it, am I still defending him? And I don't have to do it again, or do I have to do it every turn? Because I feel like. That, that defend that depends on the buff bar defend tokens or shield it defends for two attacks all right perfect that means I can attack These guys are actually tough. Fuck, this fucking... Dude, this fucking shit is bad. This bleed is bad. Come on!
Why is it? It's because of the blind. I need to kill this fucker. Excellent work. Death's door. I'm still bleeding. Oh, I should have fucking healed him. Wait, did the blight wear off? I don't know what I should be trying to kill here in this instance. Uh, waste. I gotta clear out these corpses. There we go. One less obstacle in our path. Mm. What does this do? Target plus 15 resistance. All it is is resistance. Does blight stack? Probably should have asked that question sooner, Blight Stack. Okay, so we want to stack that shit. And then this Blight should kill. Nice. Yeah, I forgot. My bad. I'm asking a lot of fucking questions here. You know, give me a fucking break, man. The Loathing Whispers. These warm candlelit windows promise refuge. You know what this you know what the, the city reminds me of? Bloodborne. Lower your guard. Soften your gaze. It is safe here. Okay. Come dungeon. Each improvement, a new variable in the equation of your fate. The plating is patched. The coach stands ready once more. Unlock at the Altar of Hope. We're not at an Altar of Hope. Reconfigure. Meet each challenge on its own terms. So, all right. Probably better to get the plus 20% traveling heal than making whiskey, considering I don't know what whiskey exactly does. Right, chap? 
think we should be going with the medical equipment. This will serve well. Trophies are acquired. We don't have any trophies. Mastery One trainer. learns quickly when survival demands it. Hmm. This point blank shot buff, though. Poison dart. Plus 50% crit when target is blight. Target four stacks instead of two. Maybe I shouldn't have done that. Maybe I should have done the fucking battlefield medicine. I think maybe I should have done battlefield medicine. I think I fucked up. But I guess we'll see. Uh, select route. I mean, they're stressed as shit. He's irritable. Everywhere in ruin. Everywhere in need. Trenches and tents. The front lines of a war. I'm hitting tab. Nothing's fought. happening. Trinkets. Uh, let's see. Plus 10% crit. Plus 50% resistance to bleed. Plus, if stained item is equipped. What does it mean if stained item is equipped? But I get plus 50% damage? Provision tab? I'll go to the provision tab. I'm, I'm looking at this shit real quick, man. Relax. Minus 33% max health. You need both of them like a set? Okay. So we probably shouldn't equip that onto our highway, man. It's just not worth it. I mean, he already has low health as is. It needs another trinket called Stained. So we go Dark Impulse, and then we go Wounding Words on him. I mean, what do you guys think? Like, honestly, I'm asking you. Is it worth, though, or is it just not worth? I'm gonna die. High risk, high reward. Well, I feel like you have to risk it a bit. If you're not risking it, then what's the point of fucking even playing? Oh, fuck no. Hold on, never mind. Fuck that. Hell no. Dude, did you see his health? 23. 23 health. Alright, I'm just gonna sit on that. Why not just plus 10% crit? That's good enough, right? That doesn't change anything too much. Plus 50% damage, though, would be huge. That mean we'd be point blanking for a bare minimum of 15. Dandy, thanks for the 40 months. I don't know. Conventional fare, but fairly priced. All right, so uh, in your guys' uh, opinion, which provisions should we be uh, going with here? And should we just end this run, or what should we do? Probably not push our luck and just end the run, right? Check out our route. Blood Moon. 
mean, how do I check the root exactly? Giving up is for cowards. You just want to watch me. You just want to watch me die. So I need stuff to help with bleeds and poisons, is what you're saying. All right. Huh. But how do I know that? Like, how do you guys know I need stuff to help with bleeds and poisons? Is it because of the environment? Like, you just know that. that poison? No, that's burn. Burn salve. Laudanum. Where's anything that'll remove poison? Stitching kit? an in item though Bly s uh, buy slime mold I don't see slime mold slime mold I already have toxic, uh, I mean, my inventory is pretty much full. Three inventory slots. Luxury gear increases stacking of relics and baubles. Try using an in item to see how it works. I mean, this, we're not, I mean, we're at an in currently. What was the in item? Lime mold. How do I use it? Oh shit, it buffs them. Oh, uh, okay. Uh, hold on, provisioner. Playing cards. I want to see what that does. Blocked by curmudgeon. I mean, I need to get them. I need to distress them. something that's going to remove stress whiskey I mean, where is whiskey though whiskey flask why can't I give it to him like two recipients didn't really lower his stress though. It's not lowering their stress. Second row, fourth item. What do you mean? Oh, second row, fourth item on the shop. Calming incense.
All right. Hey, right, you know, I like when you guys are helping. Rest the night and then journey onward. Are we good to go, or do you guys think we still need more stuff? Should I get that thing? Should I just get the thing to have more inventory slots? Buy another incense. But then I can't, if I buy another incense, then we can't upgrade the uh, storage trunk. You don't want that trunk? All right. Do we, are we using the incense right now? Should I use the incense on Barristan and Dismas? Get them down a little bit lower? Or are we just buying this item just to hold on to it? All right. So we should be good now then, right? Or should we uh, de-stress uh, Paracelsus and Audrey as well and get another incense? Now nah, we're good. All right, let's fucking go. Resentment, the slowest and deadliest poison of them all. Respectful. Each covets what the other has. Oh and God! Wants to take it. Oh God! Can't afford to have beef within the team, man. War rewards only resignation. Jesus. All right. Going to the right. Wait, no, that was a shr- uh, no, oh. The lost souls of a dying world. Empty of hope. And humanity. Wait. Why the hell is my order all fucked up? Chat, why the fuck is the order all fucked up? Okay, surprised. Ambushed. Why is the condition blocked for battlefield medicine? Yeah, why is the condition blocked? I don't understand. Is it because... I thought that would kill him. Shoot that fucker. Bash this fucking ghoul's head in. Battlement and vexation. Wash 
Ocean turmoil. I'd finish this fucker. Persistence will overcome. Don't even you the oof me? Threats. Yeah, my doc. Yeah, they got extremely stressed all of a sudden. Barely see where the fuck I'm going. Sharpen your blades that we may properly excise our portion. I don't need luck, chat. Twenty, seventeen, fourteen. Dodge, fifty percent chance to dodge next attack. Seventy five percent dodge. Fucking. Well, point blank this bitch. Ah, oh, shit, he's got the blight. Damn, they're just fucking ganging up on my goddamn guy. They're getting blight on the whole fucking squad. Ate his boy. I point blank this bitch. so fucking strong I need to kill that fucker like now it's the whole the whole crew poisoned out the fucking ass easily dispatched I need to... The 
enemy weakens and wanes. Oh no! This is it, isn't it? This is it, isn't it, dude? Exhaustion takes hold. Dude. Malaise. Measured and steady. They're eating my paladin! Oh, God! I can't even heal him! Blind him! God, I don't know what to do. Collaboration confers advantage. I just gotta kill it quick. Hold fast. For who knows what lurks in the beyond.
Holy fuck, dude. The loathing abates. Never doubted for a second I did. Do I have any items that I can heal my people with? I know I have increased healing while traveling, but I'm worried, man. Boss fight? Bro. Nah, I'll take my chances on this fucking road. No, come on. Motherfucker hate they hate each other, huh? Uh rough patch. Plus one loathing. Unknown route. I mean what the fuck are we supposed to do? Both of these options fucking suck dick. I feel like we just gotta stay to the right. Take our fucking chances. We venture blindly forth at the mercy of the road and its myriad dangers. face poison them all that fucker Ugh. steady yourself for all the world to see. I mean, wait. I gotta treat it, right? 
but we gotta treat his disease. I mean, we, we want to cure it, right? We don't want him to stay sick. We can suffer no sickness on this pilgrimage. Okay. Uh, we're, we should be good then, right? Wellness. Pharmacy. Removing bleed. Chat, what's the recommendations here? What the fuck should we pick up? What the fuck should we pick up? Fuck me. Buy more laudanum and equip it. I guess I haven't equipped it yet, have I? <laughs> hmm. I don't think you can heal stress here. If I equip the laudanum. Yeah, do we need to buy anything or are we good? Hold on, I think... No, we need the bandages. We should be good to go, right? Get all healed up on the carriage ride, hopefully. I did put on the laudanum and I equipped the bandages too, so we should be good. Inventory's full. Fuck. Hold on, what do we do about a full inventory? Whatever. Medicinal herbs? Dude, I'm just like loaded up on a bunch of shit. I did put on the lot of- Should we throw away some of the fucking herbs or what? Throw away the herbs? I don't know what to throw away! I don't know what's good! I just don't know what to, uh, this is what I hate about these type of games. Like, I just don't know what the fuck to do. Did I just get ambushed? Hit it! Motherfucker. When the cult came, no orders were shouted. No swords were drawn. There was only stupefying horror. And the catatonic lethargy that follows it. Unknown 
fight. All right, so fight reward candle barricade combat oblivion's ingress that doesn't sound too fucking pleasant if i'm being honest with you you know what taking the fight Nah, these guys are pussies. But he resisted it. Oh my god! Ah, my dick! That would have killed him. This wound at least has been tended to. ass so we can clear the corpses. Yeah, you blind bitch. Fuck you. Ugh! Heal. We got a blind guy to shoot in his fucking gun. Alright, there we go. In crisis, no gain is insignificant. There's a lot to learn! Slow, vacant, and resigned. The Lost Battalion shambles Did I play on. Darkest One? Yeah, for like two hours on stream. The Lost Battalion. I need to get somebody to like the highway, man. Damn, these guys hit kind of hard, man. Measure out 
your Oh hand my god! And apply it judiciously. Relief comes rarely in these times. Savor it. The drummer boy's gotta die! This is no time to falter. What the fuck is going on? My whole team's gonna die. My whole team's gonna die. This is it. This is literally it. Once again, teetering on that terrible precipice. Go back to the field hospital. Not good. No! I can't heal him either. Malaise. Who has the law? Measured and steady. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just trying to ease his death. Appliance of harm. A slow dissection. An unavoidable end. Mm. 
the loathing of base. Uh. I'm dead. I'm I'm fucking dead. these nightmares and blaze the trail to your redemption. Whole party's getting wiped. Whole, whole party's just getting wiped. myself. God, my whole team is just melting down. Sacrifice bestows an uncertain absolution. Incremental, but deadly all the same. I can't afford to miss any attacks right now. There remains a 
a foothold out of this mire. Now climb. One less obstacle in our path. Ah, uh, can you stop having a meltdown? She understood death, but could not defy it. Not all who seek redemption will find it. An interminable conflict. We will see them again. I am sure of it. Can I leave? <laughs> Can I abandon my journey? How do I? God. Abandon the expedition? I mean, we have to abandon it. Each milestone makes the next road just a little easier. We travel through the incalculable dimensions of human weakness. Hope is all we have left. Hope is all we need. I mean, where should we go now? I don't 
don't know what to do now. Stop telling me what any of this shit is. of your deliverance. It cannot fight, but perhaps it can calm. I need to unlock under characters. Ugh. The more they have to hold on to, the harder they will fight. I just burned all my candles for nothing. Study the winding roads and routes of our kingdom. Find any advantage. All I read was somebody said they were good and I thought I could unlock them. Like a fucking idiot. Indistinct and ill minded. No comfort awaits you here. Yeah, yeah, my whole team's dead. Interminable faculty socials became something of a delight. Knowing we'd abscond to a quiet table and lose ourselves in riveting discussion and passionate debate. Crossroads, a place between places. Wait, I still have them. I thought they were dead. Pride. More devastating than the horrors of a hundred campaigns. They die in return? The flame. Alright, let's get back to RP. I've had enough of this game. Let's get back to RP. Jesus. Game's gonna give me a fucking heart attack, dude. Holy shit. Holy fucking shit, dude. Fun game, but it's a fucking stressful one. There's just so much to learn so quick. It'd be so much easier for me to learn games if I wasn't streaming them. I'm the type of guy that I have to sit there and, like, actually fucking, like, fully read everything. A couple times in order to get it at my own fucking admittance. So... Oh, fucking shit. Elden Ring. Now we're going to make an event out of that one. I want to make sure my... F Why is there no servers? Why isn't my 5M loading?
There we go, shit. Back to Darkness Dungeon. No, not today. Are there 5M issues going on right now or something? What the hell's going on? I cleared my cash, my cash shouldn't be the issue. What's the matter with my 5M? I'll just give it a second. We can just chill for a second. Diablo 4?
All right, let's see if it works now. Where did I go? I'm sitting here for a second. All right, see if we can connect. All right, now, now we're good. Yo, Brad, thanks for the three months. We're back. Hey, we're back. Bum, 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 bum. Just give me a second, chat. I'm going to go take a pee, too. Dominic Toretti, unemployed. Dominic Toretti, in prison. Let me go take a piss. I'm gonna take a piss real quick, alright? Give me a second. Cinnamon chat. Kinda digging the cinnamon gum. That fucking icebreaker's ice cubes gum is actually good as shit. Like it's actually good gum. Juggernaut, thanks for the 34 months. Fix a coup, thanks for the 20 months. Danielle, thanks for the raid. Brad, thanks for the three months. Chill a minute.
Dispatch drama. Who doesn't love dispatch drama? Who doesn't love drama? Gum should be banned worldwide. Why the fuck would you? Why the fuck do you think gum should be banned? True, I don't like drama. Not a big drama guy. Nom 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 nom. My bad, I'm chilling. Penser just talking, chilling. Might go grab some dinner or something tonight. Haven't decided. Swallow gum or bust, bro. What are you, some type of fucking caveman? Yo, forgotten soldiers. Thanks for the eight months of prime. I really do appreciate that. Don't fuck with our gums. Oh, isn't that cute? Yeah, yes, yes. What the fuck was that? What the fuck does that shit even say? Who the hell wants a chatbot? Who the hell wants a fucking chatbot? Bro, what the absolute fuck was that? Just a fucking ridiculous spam. Just an absolutely ridiculous spam, dude. Ooh, woo. Oh, man. That, I'm telling you. Ugh. Must be like a holiday or something. Get my stretch on. Well, hey, guys, don't forget Mother's Day is in five days. Still don't know what the fuck I'm getting my mom. I was thinking about flying my mom out here for a weekend, but I don't know if that's what she wants to do. I was thinking about going home, like going home and taking her somewhere nice, like some point. I don't know. 
Yeah, dude. Mudda's day. Thanks for the reminder. Bro, you always got to remember your parents' birthdays and a Mother's Day and Father's Day. Now, I'm not going on a spa weekend with my mom. That does not sound like a relax. That spa is for me, and I don't give a fuck how that sounds, dude. That spa is for me, dude. Get some Italian sausage. Yeah, yeah, let's get some fucking Italian sausage. So I found out that room 39 was removed, and I'm just going to be comped. But I don't know how the fuck I'm going to get... I got to get a room on uh, my character, though. I have no money. Hey, how are you doing? Hi. Oh, uh, you live here, too? I don't. I wasn't sure you... Uh... All right, quit trespassing and get the fuck off my property. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm just kidding. I'm just, I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. That's a. I'm sorry. Uh, how you doing? I'm, uh, I'm Captain Lionel Riggs of the Los Santos Police Department. I run the uh, PD around oh. here. How you doing? Oh, you, you want to be a nice person? Uh, yeah. I've been told I'm a very nice man. Uh, everybody okay. really likes and respects me and tolerates me and, they're, you know, they say I'm doing good work with this police department. You know, I'm really shaping it oh. up. Well, in school, I met two of the officers today. They were really nice with me. Oh, were they? Yeah, they were. It was, uh, Dean. Don't know who um, that is. Dean. Yeah, I remember no this idea. one. No idea who that is. Yeah, I don't got any clue. I have a question for you. Okay, what is it? Would you know by any chance? What, what do I... Do? Where I could find the... You could... You the could get book. a job, cash. Yeah, if really? you want to make if you want to make money, you could get a job. Yeah. Oh, no, no, no. I'm trying to find the book Dungeons and Dragons. What's that? It's a book to play Dungeons and Dragons. Cause I want to be a paladin. I want to heal people. And I want to like smite all of these demons. Don't, I don't know what any of that is, ma'am. I don't know. I don't know what type of, what type of stuff. I don't know what a paladin is. Cool. What sounds is like, king and sounds and like some nerd shit. Can be yeah. How old but are you? I got a, I'm nineteen. Okay. All right. All right. I was about to fucking go over to the office there and say someone's kids running around spouting fucking nonsense. What? I'm not a teacher. I'm not right, yeah, sure. Yeah, you're you're yeah. an adult. Should, yeah, yeah, you're an adult. You know, you're allowed I'm to run someone's... around and spout as much nonsense as you want. That's part of being an adult. Yeah, true. But I'm not speaking nonsense. I've seen stuff that are cool. What have you seen? <laughs> I'm seeing stuff that are cool. That's why I'm singing. You're singing? No, singing. Singing, yeah, singing. What are you singing? You know, singing. I, I was speaking words. Oh, saying. Oh, all right, saying. Yeah. I'm sorry, I have a hard time talking with these braces. You got a car, kid? I don't. You should think about getting a car. Yeah. And I said, for, you check out about a job, because of course I would be looking for a job, but what is the type of job you want for me? I wasn't asking you for... Well, hold on. Time out. I wasn't asking you about any type of job. Oh. That's what I thought you were doing. So I was drinking? No, I'm, I'm painfully sober no. at the moment. That's what I thought you were doing. Do you have a hard time listening to me? I'm listening to you, yeah. I just trying to see that I'm looking for a job. Oh, all right. You, have you me? good with your hands? Yeah, I am. All right, that's good. That's a good start. How do you feel about manual labor? What is labor? Man, like, like you know, like working with your hands. 
Yeah, I'm good with money. You know money what? I might either, actually yeah. got a job for you. Really? Yeah, you know what? I got an idea. Here, let me grab my car. I keep okay. it in my parking spot over here with all the other cars. Wow, it's a good parking spot. Whoa, so cool. Yeah, yeah, I drive a uh, Firebird Pontiac Trans Am. They pay me the big bucks around here. Yeah, how old oh do I God. look to you? Like, if you were to guess mm. how old I was. 32. You know what? I like you, kid. You're gonna go far in this world. Thank you. I was wondering, can you say some place I can remove these braces? They're really, they're hurting my, my teeth a lot. Do I look like I'm a fucking dentist? I don't know. Am I a fucking dentist? I don't know how to. I'm not gonna remove your braces. What do you want me to do? Just physically just knock them out of your fucking mouth? Uh, don't push me, please. Some, some perverts think braces are cute. I guess I don't know. Oh, yeah, you're you're not that right. One time, I got a blowjob from a woman with braces, and I had to get stitches on my dick. Terrible experience. What? Never do that again. What, what is it? What is a blowjob? Don't worry about it. Okay. Uh, would you like to play chess with me? Uh, keep your shirt on, ma'am. No, chess! Oh, uh, chess? I don't, I, yeah. I don't really, I don't really play chess. I mean, I know how to play it, but I, I just don't, I don't really know how to, like, I bet I be would good. beat you. Yeah, I bet you will, too. You sound like you spend a lot of time playing chess and... Talking to paladins and shit. Yeah. Hey, 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 what? this is my lane! Did, did Jesus! You? Yeah, that guy just cut me off. Oh my god, let me roll the dice to see how much damage he did to your soul. Oh my god, he did five damage to your soul! I feel fine. Oh, okay. You know, yeah, I can help that you get a job. I got the perfect place you can work. You know, all the misfits in this city, they like to gather at one place. Really? Yeah. Where? Oh, don't worry, I'll show you. Okay. What's your name, kid? Elizabeth Kerr. Elizabeth Kerr. Yeah. Alright. Alright, I'm just gonna call you Liz. Lizzie. Yeah, yeah, it works. Actually, everybody call me Lizzie. That's good. All right, that's the strip club over there. Really? What is a strip? If things don't work out working where I'm taking you, you can always get a job there. Well, you think? Yeah, probably. I'm sure there's some. You know, there's always some type of pervert that's interested in you. Oh. Uh. Come on, the light's I green! Like I think there's nobody in your car. Why do people are leaving cars in the the streets? Yeah, someone should do something about that. <laughs> ring of fire, why is that? A uh, chili house. Chili? Yeah, yeah. That sounds good. Yeah, yeah, chili's great. I like chili. Isn't it something that makes you like shit like fire? Uh, yeah. Yeah, that's, that's why it's called Ring of Fire. Ring? Why is it ring? Isn't it like a, something you put in your finger? Yeah, that's your asshole. Referencing, oh. yeah, it's referencing your asshole. Oh, sure, yeah. What is this where misfits get? Yeah, yeah, this is the Davis Police Department. Oh, why is this where you work? Yeah, I'm the captain, I run this place. I know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, oh. hey, get out of Yo, my way, captain. nerd. Get your nerd ass yeah, what, out who of my you call way. A nerd? I'm calling you a nerd. You, you goon. Hey, hey, shut what? up, you goofball. Yeah, you stooge. Your hey, government. Hey. Yeah. 
Yeah, yeah, I'm a yeah. stooge. You're a fucking stooge. How's that? You're a stooge. You're, you're a stooge. How about them apples? Come on in. Yeah, yeah, yeah come on okay. in. Polish that apple and eat Hey, Allison. Oh All right, well, uh, you know, no. I'm gonna take uh. Hey, I found a uh, young woman who has no skills whatsoever. I thought, hey, I got a job for you. You could work in dispatch. Oh, excuse me? Captain? What? I found a we woman already with have a... like seven dispatchers. But you don't want to talk to her. I mean, listen to her. Much. She's only 19. I'm 19. She's only 19, too. Hold on, but... what's that, William? Yeah, maybe I can, like, uh, wash uh, the computer. Oh, my gosh. Got your hands full with this one. She likes computers and dragons and dungeons and yeah. paladins. Oh, I know how to throw dice. Here you go. Ha. I got oh six. My. Oh, my God. I'm sure. Copy the 204. Oh, all right. Well, if she um, doesn't work here, I told her she could always get a job at the strip club, and there's a real nice corner off uh, Adam's Apple. No, and, uh, no, I don't want her to Belgium. do that. Uh, it's... Uh, okay. What shift are you going to be working, ma'am? It's just they, they hired a new dispatchers on. earlier. Hey, hey, what, you, what you up to, buddy? What's up, Steel? Uh, uh, here, check this out. This because I keep hiring a bunch of dispatchers, and we're getting real confused. Oh, uh, she... Uh. Be hey, hold on to this crystal meth that I was supposed I'm to put dying. in evidence. I'm going to chase. Uh, okay. No, no. No, 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 no. You just told me Read that you note. I didn't want to leave, oh, so I'm saying goodbye. Right. He wants a question about a... About a yeah. About a, about Jesus. Okay, um... I do well, you're going to have to get... Uh, you're going to have to get uniform on. Cold. Did you already get your keys? Why is my inventory so keys? fucking cool? Where's your keys? Where... Are you interning? Internet? Are you interning? Yeah. Oh, all right. We'll go put some orange uh, on, I guess. Okay. Hi, <laughs> Rabbi. All right, let me take a look at this. Uh, hey, why is there a dead chicken in the lobby? Uh, that's uh, that's Miss Muffy's doing, I believe. All right, well, someone cover it in newspaper at least. Jesus Christ. This place is turning right, into a goddamn it. zoo. Hey, can you keep your fucking crying over there to a minimum, sir? Oh. That's one of our one of our officers. <laughs> Steal captain's office. Yeah. I'll be up there soon. I'm just gonna get my uniform on. Yeah. Good luck, Steel. Yeah, officer, sir. Thank you. Fuck is this? Oh, he's, ha he's having a he's day. Yeah, let me change. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Yeah, take your time. Take your time. <laughs> Betsy has been defiled. She's been oh, defiled. Nice. Disrespected. I'm, sure Betsy. I'm gonna come after every single person who goes yeah, after right? Betsy. Motherfucker. Is this your vehicle again? Jesus Christ. Hey, hey, you do not disrespect her, all right? No, I'm not disrespecting Shane. your vehicle, White. Uh-huh. Uh, no one likes me. Everyone hates. Me. That was the word of Captain Riggs. Everyone hates Ooh, me. Why is he yelling? <laughs> hey, what's going on, guys? How you doing, Chief Justice? What's, what's happening? Um, so I've been working on this uh, this well, bail thing. Right. I've got a pretty good been, system, been, I think. Uh, I want to run by you guys. Um, I've, oh, I was God. told that uh, Miss Harper's taking a day or two. So. Yeah, Harper's gonna be not around today. Uh, Bishop ain't gonna be around today. So you got me. Sure. Okay. I can absolutely run it by you. I think. Um, like, I, yeah. like I said. Do you mind giving me a minute? I gotta talk to one of my officers real quick in the cabin. Yeah, of course. Office, and I'll of come course. right back down. Yeah, sure. Oh, thank God it's not me for once. It's yeah because you've been doing good work. Yeah, absolutely, sir. Oh, hell yeah. Proud. Yep, you make me proud every day. What's this uh, shit about light duties for two days? What the fuck's going on, Steel? Yeah, I was uh, responding to a uh, 31 up in Polito, and uh, I was ejected from my car going 120. I uh, went to the hospital. Um, 
Uh, tons of bleeding, and uh, luckily it wasn't anything internal, but doctor said I'm on desk duty for two days. <sighs> sorry to hear that. I mean, I'm sure we could find Sucks. some stuff for you to do around the office. How would you feel about being my personal assistant? Uh, yeah, yeah, I don't mind. There's always tons of shit around here that I'm supposed to do that I never do, and I need somebody to keep track of all of it for me. I all got right. these SOPs I'm supposed to read, but I lost them. I was hoping maybe you could read them for me and tell me what you think. I absolutely could. Perfect, perfect. Uh, as duty for two as long days, as I can sit in a corner. Been pretty severe. Yeah, they were pretty bad, and I just, I just walked over to the damn pharmacy to get some of uh, my prescription Advil. What about your quaaludes? If I was you, I'd be... Listen, here's the thing. As long as you're not out on patrol, I don't care how looted up you are. Drink as much alcohol as you'd like. All right. All right. That could help. Yep. We got to alleviate the pain and the stress. All right. Yes, sir. That was a serious injury. And then, yeah, I'm sorry to hear that. Is every cop that gets ejected out of their car going to have to go on two days of death duty? I don't know. But mine was pretty bad, apparently. Fuck. Hurts, man. I'm sorry to hear that. You know, I hope you feel better, Steel. All right. I uh, appreciate that, sir. Yeah, I'll, t I'll take a look at those SOPs when you find them. I'm not going to find them. They flew out of my car when I was going 120 up the highway in my T-top. And my goddamn Firebird. <laughs> well, fuck. All right. Um, do you need help riding them? <laughs> oh, man. You're a funny guy, Steel. Yeah, Steel, you know, I, I love guy. to make these jokes. You know, I'm a jokester. Yeah, yeah. That's what they call me. Uh, Jokester Steel, you know? Uh, you're a funny guy, uh, 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 yeah. Yeah, you're uh, a funny guy. Yeah. Oh, yeah, watch my head. Okay, yeah. Oh, I don't uh, want to reopen your stitches. Yeah, we don't need any of that. Well, All right, buddy. Yeah, well, I'm um, going to go take some more of this. Uh, I got that uh, in when you dropped, you dropped some of that uh, paint remover. I'm going to go remove some more paint. Well, if anything, just let them know that you're. if anyone asks what you're doing, you're the assistant to Captain Riggs. All right. I like right. that. Yeah, yeah, and you can... Uh, you know what? If you want to work dispatch, well, probably not a good idea considering they keep a tight grip around that fucking desk. Maybe keep clear of it. Yeah, that's probably a good idea. Now, um... Now I'm sorry Morgan to hear about your injury. On it. Oh, I appreciate that, sir. Just gonna try to keep, uh, keep my head down for the next day two or days. two. And, uh, two days? Yeah, what the hell's that, huh? Jesus. Sitting around the fucking office, man. Alright, um... I sent, uh, I sent a nerd girl up to the dispatch desk to get a job there. I feel like that's where all the nerds should work, right? <laughs> yep, all yep. Right. More nerds, the better for dispatch. Then, Don't uh, put them on a patrol, please, for the love of God. Hey, 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 I ain't doing that. Um, I gotta talk to the Chief Justice. You're welcome to sit in, alright? Alright. Now take your wounded ass down there and tell the Chief Justice that he can come up here when he's ready. All right, sounds good. <laughs> fucking EMS really want to fucking uh Them EMS really want to fucking uh make people fucking be injured for a couple days, huh? Bad shit. That ain't gonna go well when shit starts popping off and shit gets fucking crazy. Be sure it's in game days. I don't know. I'd guess he chose it for himself, too. The guy seems like a role player, so people can do whatever they want. I don't care. Dab my wax, thanks for the 50 months. All right, he's on his way. All right, cool. Cool, Logan. Why don't you just go ahead and take a seat, relax, All maybe right. take some notes. Okay. You know, get some notes taken. That'd be that'd be real helpful to do. God forbid I, I take any notes. 
No, I got a disease myself. No, I'm if your I, assistant. I got your notes. When I you take worry. notes, I break out in arthritis. Hey, how you doing? What's going on, guys? I'm nice in the same way. I can't. I can't hold a like a pen to save my life. It's ridiculous. Yeah, it's. That's why I you got a piece of like little helper monkeys to take care of it for you. You know. I got my assistant here. He's on desk duty oh, yeah. for a couple days. This is assistant to the cap. That's uh, Mr. Logan Steele. Mr. Steele. All right, nice yeah, you were saying you he had guys. a hand injury or something? Yeah, ejected from my car going 120. Yeah, see, Yo, Aaron, wives. thanks for the that's 11 months. They always tell you, right? That's what they tell me, I guess. Yep, always wear your seatbelt. Like to graffiti that on the wall so people don't yeah, miss yeah. it. But you know something? One person that tells me to always wear my seatbelt is Captain Ricks. Yeah, there's yeah. not a, well, hey, there's I mean, not a law against start, it. But you're American, right? Listening. If you don't want to wear your seatbelt, that's fine too. Well, I mean, it's, you know, the old adage of you play stupid games, you win stupid prizes, right? So, so uh, what's, um, uh, tell me what you're cooking there, Chief Justice. Yeah. So, as you know, I think bail is absolutely paramount to making a functional system. And I know um, there is some sort of concern over it opening the floodgates to everybody wanting to have the day in court, um, which is not something we want either, believe me, um, because if everybody's just going to court for like, stupid dumb shit we might as well just be watching that new show uh fucking night court or whatever you know what i mean um so the system that uh that i've sort of spitballed with a few others is uh basically infractions and misdemeanors cannot be uh fought in court that that could be the the current system as it is they can appeal it later if there is a success a successful appeal which is uh, let's be honest pretty rare um, you know, they can not only get their fines back, they can get like double their fines back because they're misdemeanors. They're not going to be a lot of money, right? Um, if they have at least one felony in the group of charges, uh, that could be court eligible. They can get bail. Um, if they have a felony that is a violent crime, they're just held with, until trial. Simple as that. Um, I'm trying to get a docketing system so we can get this show on the road. Uh, but getting a hold of you know government is, has been a little bit of a struggle um but once we have that pretty much you know we're good to go on our side um it's just a matter of like i said hammering out this bail thing uh and then basically going from there all right i mean um yeah once uh, you guys start ironing the stuff out sure Oh, hey, every, also the case every for bench trials. That's, that's what I forgot. So, like, if someone yeah, every owns... violent crime, yeah, hold, let hold them until trial. Simple as that. Because you know, you guys don't want dangerous people on the street. I don't want dangerous people on the street. Um, you know, and if they want to be a menace to society, they can they can think about what they've done for a little bit. No problem. Um, as as it pertains to bench trials, I think uh, a good solution is if. If the defense lawyer wants to push it right then and there, if the prosecution is ready to go right then and there, obviously if a judge is available right then and there, then I have no problem with the bench trial. Um, you know, if everyone thinks that they can do it, like, you know, on the spot, then absolutely fine. Um, however, that's obviously not going to be the norm um, because, again, a lot, of, a lot of cases, like a lot of big sort of charges like, you know, attempted murder, uh, you know, all that kind of stuff. Again, all the big violent crimes or whatever, uh, they deserve like a full court trial rather than just like, you know, small little petty things. But what if it's like groups? Like let's say uh, two gangs go at it, right? Let's say there's like four members of this X gang, four members of Y gang. They go at it. Do they stand trial simultaneously? Do they stand trial as groups or do they stand trial separately? Would that be this like eight trials by default right there? Bam, we throw them in and then there's eight separate trials or would it be like by group? Um, I mean, it would be a little, it'll be a little bit more tricky to do that because, you know, everybody should have their own sort of isolated defense, but I mean, it's really going to depend. Uh, I don't think that we should have obviously like eight, let's say eight individual trials. Um, that would be a bit much. I think it's just really going to depend on what all the charges are. And, and like, if they're all being sort of charged with the same thing for the same, uh, same crimes it's going to be up to the lawyers to prove or or disprove that you know a particular person wasn't involved with that particular charge do you know what i mean like if let's say there's four guys in and three of them are shooting cops 
you know, one of them is going to have to be, you know, you're going to have to make a pretty strong case for the for the odd man out to uh, to not get hit with those charges. It's going to be rather difficult because evidence collection is hard. Do you guys have like like um, like is it sort of like scarce in terms of of what you can collect? Can't collect anything. <laughs> oh, okay. Well, that'll be fun. Um, I guess that's a that's a commando rocket issue, right? I mean, it, again, yeah. it's one of those things where I feel like it's going to be have to be a, a bridge that we cross when we get to it. I mean, I'm just gonna um, I'm just gonna say something to you because I think like so here like. So imagine this, right? So imagine that situation that I just said. Let's say four gang, eight gang yeah, members in total, well, four on yeah. each side. They go at it in the street over some turf or some drugs. Some shit escalates, right? Sure. Um, let's say uh, all those, uh, all those individuals are gonna go in. Let's say uh, they don't even get separate trials. Let's say realistically, like we try them, you know, by group. I mean, it's a uh, it's it's gonna be a, a lot of work trying to organize something like that so like what you'll probably end up having to do is try them all separately and then it'll be the same spiel in court for you know those four people and then the other four people i mean it'll essentially be probably the same thing from the officer's perspective uh with the lack of us being i mean that's obviously like a big part of that is going to come down to what what you know what you guys have in terms of reports and police work and all that you know yeah. what I mean? And that's something when we when when we get to that point and a, and a prosecutor is assigned to that case, you know, they can absolutely walk you through in terms of, you know, what you should have and, and you know, how we can proceed with that. Uh, like, yeah, it, it's, it's not like you guys are going to be like left to to fend for yourselves. You know what I mean? Like the prosecutors are there to help you um, as much as you're there to help the them. Even if we speed up that process and the trials are only like an hour long, I mean, most cases when it comes to dealing with that type of shit, usually are hours long. So you're looking at from one incident like that where it's like rival gangs clashing in the streets. I mean, you're probably looking at 12 to 15 hours of trial time for all the individuals. I very much on. doubt that. Not in my experience. You don't normally get the 12 to 15 hours. No, I, I don't. I mean, in total, like from all eight sure, individuals. Sure. Again, that's I, if you're doing if you're doing all individuals. Sure. I, um, yeah. But again, it's going to it's going to depend on, on what you guys have for reports and police work. And then, you know, you could probably consolidate certain things uh, at if, a time. If I may as well, there's sure. a very, very good chance that most of those situations are going to be able to plead out anyway. So we won't even get to court. That's true. I'm just saying sometimes you come across people who don't want to plea out. Like, um, let's say the Vanilla Unicorn, there's 20 people there for a party night and multiple people start getting stabbed. We're getting conflicting testimony from all the individuals involved. Do we just throw them all in? You know, I mean, that, well, I mean those type of situations happen. They happen frequently. Sometimes it's just... I mean... Uh, but I mean, through police work, you wouldn't be arresting all 20 people. You'd be arresting the people who are doing the stabbing. I mean, well, that's where things kind of go up in the air because I've had situations where, you know, multiple people have been stabbed and, you know, we're getting uh, conflicting testimonies. Everybody's covered in blood and it's just no matter what evidence you gather, it's just it's very hard to pin it on somebody in an ample amount of time. I mean, so it'd be like in that in that situation, would you be investigative holding individuals or would you like, you know, what what would be the what would be like the court's expectation for the police in the in a type of, you know, in that type of situation? Because those type of situations happen. They happen really frequently, especially at group gatherings. And well. some people will elect to talk to the police. Some people will elect to lie to the police. Some will tell the truth. And it's just. You know, trying to sort through all that is, it's going to be something. If I can make a recommendation. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, in that situation, I think it's going to, my recommendations for bail are, are that unless someone is a serious, serious threat, uh, everyone can be granted bail. And if they uh, don't show up to their scheduled court dates or if they break the terms of their bail, then. 
I just have a plea of no contest centered against him, but hey, that's just me. Uh, in terms of those big cases, I think it'll honestly just come down to whoever is assigned the prosecution of the case, reviewing the evidence with the officers and deciding who to prosecute and who to plea out and, and all that kind of stuff. It'll be it'll be a you know learning curve, but I think once we have situations rhythm, like that ain't just an hour of investigation. Situations like that spiral into days of investigation. But you have the manpower to do that, right? Isn't that why you guys uh, hire the police? I form? believe we have the manpower, but I do not believe all these cops would be ready to deal with that type of situation. I mean, not many people are like sure. steel with good heads on their shoulders. Most of these motherfuckers, I wouldn't trust them to fucking do much right now, if I'm being honest. Sure. Hey, well, um, that's where but I mean, again, I, yeah, I was going to say that's 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 where the partnership with with, uh, you know, prosecution sort of uh, comes into play because they could absolutely you know, help shape up whatever case uh, is going to be set forth. Obviously, they can't tell you what to say, but they can absolutely tell you what to what to uh, what to aim for and what to put together. You know what I mean? Rather than just be like just adding a whole <laughs> bunch of fluff and, and bullshit that just wouldn't wouldn't get anywhere. Because um, at the end of the day, they're going to be looking for, uh, you know, getting getting as much of a conviction as you guys want. Um, and, and that's, yeah, I mean, that's pretty much their expertise in that kind of stuff. Right. Um, yeah, the, the prosecutors that we have are very talented just, just from all the conversation, they are very, you, they're very you, small. You are aware I, that, I think that this type of system though, will put a fucking target on your guys backs. That is fucking gigantic. 100%. I mean, that's, that's the, you know, it's the same thing with, you know, be, being the captain of a police force and, and introducing a lot of changes, you know, it's the same thing with with prosecutors and, and judges and all that, you know, eventually people are just going to be unhappy and they're going to think, oh, well, you know, we have to get all revenge. But I mean, you know, it's, it's, it's not even doing it out of like fear for us. It's literally, this is what a, a functioning society needs. Um, Let me, um, you know, whether they I'm like gonna, it or not, that's on them. Do you mind waiting here for a second? I'm going to try and uh, I'm going to go downstairs. And I'm going to try and call up uh I'm going to try and call up uh, Ace and see if maybe he can come yeah, down yeah, here. Sure. I think the more people that can hear this, the better. 100%. 100%. I'll be right back, it's gentlemen. It's been a struggle trying to get a hold of all you guys. You know what I mean? Yeah, I'll, I'll try and get Ace because this stuff's important. How you doing, Officer Steele? Hey, how you doing, uh, uh, Lizzie? I'm doing pretty good. I said oh, hi to someone. Right I gotta make a phone what? call real quick, guys. Oh. I'll be out of your way, sir. I have um somebody from the Department of Justice that would like to enter. His name is something Diamond, Joe Diamond. Joe Diamond, hey, go Joe get him. I mean, what does he want to do? He wants to enter. <laughs> our, what? All right, hold on, Miss Kerr. Yeah. What That's does he want to do? I think he he said. I think he was supposed doing? said he was gonna. Glad you got the job. Like, I asked him if somebody really was well. expecting him. He said no, and I said that you were with the I'm chief justice, and he said he could you. come in. Yeah, he's doing a great job. You keep it. I up. think he's prosecutor. I don't know if they have cows here, but I guess Dispatch, I'm good with cows. You like cows? All right, hold on. Let me deal with something. Yeah. I'm dealing with a lot of the situations. Is on the phone. And, and I'm going to be, yeah, I'm calling the captain. I'm calling also Captain Ace right yeah, now. Yeah, no, it's no problem at all. I was just wondering if there was someone from the DOJ here. Uh, yeah, there is. But, but they're in a meeting with the captain. If he answers. Okay. Um, well, when, uh, when Captain Riggs is off the phone. Hello. Find, uh, hey, hey, Ace. Room. It's uh, it's Lionel. I'm down here at the PD. We got the Perfect. Chief Justice here, and I think you should uh, come down here and overhear some of the stuff he's talking about. All right? I'm at Antonio's across the street. I'm on the way. All right, all right. See you soon. What's that? It's nothing. It's just... How'd you know to call this number? Somebody said they saw you there, or... Oh, okay. All right. Yeah, I'm on the way. Sorry, All right. Sorry, bye. Sorry, sorry. Hmm? What did you say? All right. I got some you stuff I got to deal you with. Get some other officers to. Oh, this guy can come oh, in. Yeah, this guy right. works with the DOJ. All right. Mm -hmm. I didn't grow up on a farm. Oh, okay. Second, sir. Let me talk to you. Yep. How you doing, Becker and Molly Ringwald? Oh. Uh, Stevie, sir. It's That's my nickname to, um, for you. I call you Molly Ringwald because you have red hair. Oh, oh thank, thank you, what, sir. Doesn't That's every nice woman want to be Molly you. Ringwald? She's a goddamn gem. Yeah, she's gem. very pretty. 
Uh, no, this, yeah, candles. I'll take it as a compliment, sir. Well, I, 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 I don't have that many candles at all. In fact, I don't have any. I don't have that I have many chicken, candles. Though. I'm not talking about cancel movie, dumbass. Oh, I haven't seen many movies. I was focused sorry, on Kat, reading. Where the fuck did you she's find? She's not her? the brightest. I, okay. What I, do you mean? Where did you on find? On the streets. What? I'm sorry, sir. What the fuck? Mr. Rig. Yeah, what's going on, Lizzie? What is your deal, G? G. Yeah, I don't. Department of Justice. How did he find this woman? What is Department of Justice? He's upstairs. The it's the Department of Justice is like the. You know what a judge is? A judge? No. Or a lawyer? No. Do you know what a, <laughs> a death knight is? Yeah. That's a big problem, all right? You should probably know what a judge is more than you should know what a death knight is. I only know because I saw some goddamn nerd book that you left on the counter with dice on it. Oh, I'm sorry. All right, so... You know, yeah, hey, me let me talk. Hey, Allie, Allie, over here real yes. quick. Yes. All right. Listen, uh, you're a young, attractive woman, but uh, I need you to coach this woman in not being such a useless nerd. Oh, all right. Yeah, I can do that. Uh, I feel bad for her. I thought she was somebody's what? lost kid at the pink exactly. cage just running around. Oh, I All right. Well, do you heart. know where a... do you know where Morgan is? Because uh, um, no, she, I have not. Remember, seen Morgan. we had that conversation about training too many dispatchers. Well, it looks like. All right, look. I'm gonna be honest with you. I don't give yes, a fuck sir? if there's too many of you. The only thing I care about is if there's not enough of you. So you guys right. sort your shit out. I don't. Whatever goes on, I I don't care. You guys can do whatever you want. If you if you don't want to work with her, then fire her ass. I don't care. No, it's not that. Hello, I sir, just want to make sure everybody's going to be trained right. That's all. Uh, shit, Ace is here. All right, I got some stuff I got to take uh, care of. You. All right, um, you have uh, you have a good day. All right, you look great today, by the way. Thank you. Hey, hey Ace, you. how you doing? New uniforms are in. Hey, that looks sharp. Yeah, you want to go upstairs? Sharp. I got the Chief Justice uh, and a couple uh, state attorneys up here as well. Like, well, oh man, what'd you do? Whatever, you know, hey, I didn't do nothing. Hey, hey, shut up! Shut up, Becker! Uh, Becker, did you do? How's uh, how's Joel? Where is he? We get we get along really well now. No, where is don't. he? He's lying to you. Uh, I don't, I don't know. Figure out where he is. Captain Riggs, get two seconds. Nah, I'm I'm real busy right now, pal. Uh, or Hello. Any sort of restitution okay. for and then hey, this is the chief you're justice. Gonna you're gonna hold them till Ace. trial. Aye. You look different last time I, from the last time I saw you. Maybe because you're not wearing a uniform. I'm not in know. uniform. Yeah, I'm. Uh, yeah. This is my casual attire. Okay. You guys That's ever been I... over to Antonio's across the street? I don't think I have. I got I good could. wine. Oh yeah. Twenty dollars a bottle. Can you believe that? Jeez. Who knew grapes could be so uh, so pricey? Uh, the wine. The wine is 20. The wine is. Yeah, yeah. Well, I'm saying you need the grapes to turn into wine, right? What? I don't think Car I don't think Bishop's aware of how uh, wine is made there, Chief Justice. What are you talking oh, okay. about? You need, okay. It's just, you know, it's ingredients. How do you, how do you make wine? Where does wine come from, do you think? Uh, well, I guess I never really thought about it. Okay. That's fair. That's from grapes? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's the damnedest thing. Yeah, right? I had no wow. idea. <laughs> it's nuts. I mean, it's not nuts. Nuts. They got nuts yeah. in there, too. No, huh? I, I mean, they might have, like, for, like, a flavor <laughs> profile. Or whatever the fuck those kids call it. Grapes and nuts. You don't yeah. want to know how they take, they turn the grapes into wine, either. How do they? They step on them. Really? Bare feet. Bare feet. Really? Yep. Yep. It's crazy, huh? Those That's Italians, what, what will they think of next? Never know. You can get some toe jam on your uh, next wine trip. That's, it gives it that why, why, why would you say that to me? Yeah. Why, um, why, so why yeah, would, we would, no, no, no. Why, why would you say, why would you say the toe jam? Why would you say that to me? Well, I mean, it's just the honest truth, right? Do you think, do you, do you think I like being divorced?
Let me ask you that. Uh, no, sir. I go over to Antonio's, and I the only joy I find in life, God has cursed me with running this department for whatever reason. I don't know why. Maybe it's because of my past in Colorado. Maybe it's because I'm a loose cannon. I don't know. I've been cursed around this. The only joy I find in life is drinking wine. And you tell, and you put that, you put that image in, in my head. Uh, Do you want me to have nothing? Do you want me to find happiness in nothing? Should I just lay down and die? Is that what you would prefer? No, sir. I guess I'm a whiskey guy now. Hey, Can't welcome to the team. Whiskey. That's for sure. Thank you. Thank you, Cadet. Now I hate wine. Whiskey's awesome, though. As long as you don't have any stories about it, then, you know. Are you going to uh, stick your toe in that, too? Uh, no, sir. Uh, toes are not going in whiskey. Maybe they do well, now that we've sorted out, out the whole wine whiskey. whiskey debacle here and <laughs> learned how w wine is made and uh, toe jam and whatnot, let's uh, sure. so uh, let's get Carter. Uh, sorry, let's get Bishop up to speed on uh, on some of the stuff that uh, you got cooking over there in the DOJ's office. Yeah, yeah sure. Um, so I know we had like a very very brief conversation about this whole this whole bail thing, a system that. Oh uh, my god. Oh I'm sorry. Can we go to Antonio's? Can we talk about this across the street? I, I, this this cadet is just. I I'm 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 enraged. I, mean, I can just could, make Steel leave that. the room. Did you? His name is Steel. Yeah, yeah. His name. Yes, is Steel. sir. Logan Steel. Go 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 across the street and get a bottle of wine for everyone, please. Yes, sir. I thought you didn't want to. I thought you didn't like wine anymore. Up. How many bottles? How many people uh, in the office? Five bottles, got it. Well, get an extra one for me. All right. I'm willing to give wine a second chance. Maybe it's not that I dislike wine. Maybe it's that I do like feet. I mean, this is very possible. But yeah. it's 1985. I'm a progressive man. I'm willing to. Maybe I like feet. Sure. Who knows where that'll lead you down the road? You know, that uh. Was weird. It the first really part of every world. great journey is uh, taking a one foot forward, taking a step forward. Hey, sure. speaking of journey, how great Energy. is that band? Am I right? I fucking hate journey. That's a great marketing journey. idea, though. Journey every great. bottle comes with a picture of the feet that we're using. Yeah, maybe not. Maybe I don't know. Like I'm not a I'm not a foot guy myself, but I you know if it's a if it's a good looking foot, maybe I'll be like eh, I'll give it a shot. You know. I don't I don't like uh, you got to suck like a toe. I'm, I'm gonna be honest here. I'm Ace. an Eagles you, man myself. You need to suck a toe. The Eagles are great. So what's going on? Why have you brought me here today on the day well, of Tuesday, the day I do not like to? I don't like to be here. I don't like to be here. I thought you needed. I, to be I don't here. like being awake during the day. God I, damn it! I, I'm with you. Um, Why have you brought me to this prison? Hey, well, you're needed, man. Okay. So, Why have you summoned me? We. uh... We, I've, I've spitballed with a, with a few of uh, a few of my members to come up with a, a bit of a plan to, to fix this whole, uh, you know, lack of bail situation. Uh, it's pretty simple. Um, the, the thought is uh, fines and misdemeanors, like infractions, I should say. Um, is that a fucking cat that I heard? What the fuck? It's like a zoo in here. Yeah. I almost feel like, you know, we're like half a bottle of wine from turning this petting zoo into a heavy petting zoo. You know what I mean? Thank like you, Steel. You're crazy okay. Here. You're welcome, sir. Here's the other one. You're not too bad. I'm sorry that I snapped on you. I apologize for a story. Steel has it bad enough. He's on desk duty for two days. He was ejected from his car. The doctor oh, yeah. said he was really fucked up. Yeah, it's when, summer. when a machine will reject you, right? Right. Yeah. Hey, uh, the so, only thing I ask of you guys is never make a law against drinking these things and driving. There you go, sir. I mean, you Just, guys as long as you don't are, do that, then we're okay. Listen, it may be in the penal code, but you guys are the ones who are who are you know. There you go. You guys are the ones who are, who are enforcing that. You know what I mean? Um, yep. It's all that officer's discretion kind of thing. There you go. Whatever. Um, I don't know what that means. That means you guys are running the show. 
Hey. In, in effect. Hey, you're right about that. So there you go, Cap. So the Thanks. the the thought with bail is that anything that's an infraction or misdemeanor, uh, they cannot contest in in court. Uh, you can like still do it the way it's apparently being done now, where where they just, you know, pay that fine to whatever time is is attached to that misdemeanor. Um, they can appeal it later, um, and if yep. if they are successful in that appeal, which let's be honest, there, there's there's a very strong chance that they won't be. They won't be. They, they Only good get, arrests around here. Sure. So they can they can get that fine back double. Um, again, I don't foresee that being commonly done because, you know, like people know that they fuck up and they're just like, fuck it, I'll deal with it. Um, as it pertains to felonies, if it is uh, a nonviolent felony, they are eligible for bail with strict bail conditions. Um, if they... Uh, the strict bail conditions, I should say, mm -hmm. or uh, obviously no crime. They're in crime. They enter a plea of no contest, and they get sentenced and, and everything. It's, it's essentially you might as well just say you're guilty. Um, no weapons on them, and they can be searched at any time by you guys up until their trial date. It's simple as that. What? Tr um, what tr uh, so are you saying that if anyone with a felony would always get would always have to go to court? Um, well, that's the thing. So they have Bone! the ability to go to court. However... However, my guys, like on both sides of the fence, know that I would much rather them mediate it and plea it out rather than like mm. have to go to court. You know what I mean? Court should be a last resort. Sure. Absolutely. So for not for sorry, for violent felonies, however, they can be held without trial or held until trial. Um, in terms of bench trials, uh, I, I've sort of softened my stance a little bit after after giving some thought to it. If Defense counsel, prosecution, and there is a lawyer or there is a judge available, I should say. If everybody's willing to do it right then and there, um, again, for, for say nonviolent uh, felonies or, or whatever, then we can do a bench trial. No problem. Um, I, but however, like I said, it, it shouldn't be used as, a, as an immediate, you know, let's do it all the time kind of thing. Because I feel like in my experience, bench trials are the ones that get abused the most. And, and, you know, nobody wants to be going to court over like what the hell's Becker doing with that dog when when we don't have to. Um, you know, let me uh, let me run this by you real quick, okay? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Let's get my notepad out here. Yeah. Sure. Uh, Davis PD, we're taking the U out of police brutality. But then you have police brutality. Well, it just means that you won't be brutalized. So we're taking you out of police brutality. Okay. Okay. But who's getting the brutality then? If I'm not in it. No say. one. That's what. No one's getting. No yeah, one's the, getting brutalized. He's, he's saying that, that the brutality's gone. That would be. That would we're be taking you out thing. of police brutality. No, there's. I he's mean, taking the victims. I'm of not police a marketing brutality guy. Out like of it's, it. it's got a good ring to it, but you know. You should get a marketing department, Ace. I think uh, maybe you should start that up tomorrow. I've Some been, sort of uh, that's what thing. I've been working on for the last four days. What do you yeah. guys think? It's, it's that's all you got? A good start. What do you mean all? What do you got? I don't got nothing. I'm just saying I didn't, I haven't been thinking about. I thought we were coming up with, uh, with, 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 I lost what's, with, with, what's going on the side of the car? Wait, oh, um, I, I don't. Is there something already on the side of the car? I thought we'd just go with no, that. No, that's the problem. We gotta no. come up with a mo with the mod with the so moto. On the side of the car, it's gonna be taking the U out of police brutality. That's a, that's a lot for a side of the car. I'm gonna be honest. What if? Okay, I mean, we could just write brutality, but then X out the U. And then we could say, "Hey, we're taking the U out of police brutality." Yep. All right. right that, now sure that gonna, is people now are that ask questions, right? And that is the explain. idea. That's it. You know something, Ace? You're an idea man. And that's a good idea. Thank you. I'm, uh, I don't know if, uh, I, I don't know. I, I'm trying to wrap my head around this whole thing. Uh, why don't we just have it to where people get charged with, you know, felonies and, and all that shit. And if they want to take it to court, they just can. No one, you know, they don't have to. Well, that's that's right. the thing. So that's that's the 
the goal of the lawyers is to mediate that so we don't have to go to court. Again, if you just throw them in jail without any sort of due process, you guys are just opening up yourself to a whole lot of civil liability uh, where just, they can sue. And then, you know, then, then yeah. you guys become a money pinata. Yeah, great. Let's do it. <laughs> yeah, let's do that one. I don't think that's a good idea. Penta Honestly, just uh, when agree someone's on everything. For a felony, they always have a choice, right? They can plead guilty. <laughs> Literally jail, saying the same shit I said the other not day. Guilty and have the case reviewed. And well, we got thirty-three thousand dollars. What's the problem? Yeah, the we court, get sued once here and there. I'm gonna be honest with you. The court experience is one of the best experiences you get in the PD. You know, that's that's where that's where boys become men in the courtroom. It's not it's not in the trenches. Like in Nam, don't tell Tex I said that. He'll probably kill me. But the, the courts, courts important. Courts, courts great. But Love to clarify, court. not everyone who's charged with a felony will go to court. Only people whose cases are worth going to court and can't be plead out ahead of time. Yeah, but if uh, you know, if someone wants to appeal some charges, I don't think they should have to sit in court or in jail for however long. Yeah, they'll just no, plead I, out just to get out of jail. And waiting for a court date. I, I agree. Uh, I would uh, amend the Chief Justice's uh, suggestion on bail and just anyone who has any felonies can get out on bail, but if they're caught in the meantime, they effectively end up pleading guilty and go serve whatever time that they were. You know what court turnaround would have to be and in a system like that? It'd have to be. You now, me Wait. and I think me and Ace, me and Ace have been, uh, you'd say we've been around the block. I'm right, from Ace? Colorado. Yeah, he's from Colorado. I'm from Vice City. You know, I'm I'm not sure how they do things in the CO, the big CO, Sacra Sacramento. Well, you have to know uh, Spanish if you want to work there due to us being so close to the border and everything. Close to Canada. No, the the Mexico border. Wait, where's Colorado on the map? Right by the border over there. I don't, look, we don't need to talk about this. All I'm saying is that, uh, you know, if someone is in jail, if we charge them with something, I'm going to be honest with you guys. We got th this whole fucking police force is full of dipshits. They're idiots. Yep. yep. So, cool. yep. They're, they're so, they're so fucking stupid that if we got, if we get people getting charged with felonies and they're wanting to appeal it, they're having to sit in jail. There's not going to be anyone on the streets. And they'll just so, not challenge it in court because they can just plead out and even if they didn't do it instead of having to wait. Sometimes people wait weeks for trial. Sometimes people wait months. Sometimes yeah, that's not, wait that's not going to be a thing. That's I'm still awaiting thing. some trials back in Colorado. I don't know when those are going to... I don't know when... You know, my lawyer said not to worry about it. Yeah, It's, it's a lot a of alimony different, stuff. Different you guys ever owe alimony? I personally yeah. do not. No, I owe it. I owe alimony. I have to pay uh, half my money every every month. Yep. Well, they get like remarried, right? Like they can just get, you know. Yeah, but they don't. Somebody. My oh, fucking ex wife is a lesbian, oh. and uh, and so she's got, and she's like, I'm like, well, why don't you marry her? And she's like, it's it's 1985. It's not legal for us to get married. You just have to keep paying alimony. So now, you know what it's like to have a lesbian wife. Who wants to get married, but she can't because it's illegal. So I still got to keep paying alimony. It's terrible. I mean, it doesn't sound ideal. I'll, I'll give you that. Got a tough life. It's Ace. awful. Got a tough life, buddy. I'm sorry to hear that. Yeah. I mean, now I now I understand the wine thing. Do you want like I can give you my wine if, if that'll help you? Thank you. I'm not giving yeah. you my yes, wine. It would. He got him too. Steel got him too, though. I'm already. Yeah, I mean, done what's one more? I got right? another you one. If you want uh, another one, I'm just gonna tell you. I'm just gonna point out the elephant in the room when it comes to your plan. Right? Is that uh, it is hard to get more than ten officers that know what they're doing within the confines of the law. It will cool. be ten times as hard to find a judge. Yeah. Not. Uh, not well, really. How how are not you really. how are you guys shaping up? Let me ask uh, we're, that. We're, we just need like one more system uh, aside from this bail stuff to to get sorted, and that's that is a government thing that I'm, you know, trying to get a hold of. Uh, once that's in place, we're like pretty much good to go. Like, so you think misdemeanors, citations, misdemeanors, misdemeanors and citations, 
don't that like you just you guys can just send them on the way you know can they can phone. they appeal them after the fact they're after not the fact them, they're not going to appeal them right away yeah non-violent I mean, felonies they just get bail but they still it still has to go to court um yeah i mean it could go to court or like again they or could, they could they plead could, out or they can plead out any sort of violent felony uh you know will be a court case for sure. That's I'm going to be I'm going to be honest with you. That's a lot of that's going to be a lot of casework for us. That's going to be a lot. I mean, I'm, so what happens if six people decide to hold me down and shoot me in the head? Which why would six people hold you down? The, our, like, within our first five minutes of being hired, the lost MC jumped to that counter and stabbed three officers and there was seven of them. Yep. What happens if a child is uh, at the park and I'm sitting there with my ice cream and this kid comes from a bad home? He has a gun, right? And then he walks up to me and he shoots me and takes my ice cream. That's some bad parenting. Uh, Secondly, do I, are you saying that I have to go to trial against a child now? No, no, you don't have to. Why would you have to? Just get that child to bleed out. (laughs) I mean, do I do I coerce out, I, the child into pleading guilty? I don't think you'd have to coerce the child to do anything. I think children are not allowed to to make that decision on their own because they are children. Um, you know, you can definitely hold the parents culpable. But, um, so now I'm taking three people to court. Sure, but <laughs> at, at, in one court case as opposed to three court cases. Or, or two. I mean, I don't know if they have a broken home or whatever. I don't know the situation. I, I'm worried so that I the system will just deter people from going to court and just pleading the guilty, even though they may not be. I, I know you okay. can. You can. It'll. It's uh, because I'm. I'm telling you, you could have, even if you had ten judges, right, who all knew what they were doing, it would not be enough. <laughs> God, it would not. Okay, you, you're. You're. See, this is. This is where I'm a little confused. So you guys don't want to do the paperwork to get to court. We'll do the paperwork. But then oh, you don't want who them said to be that? deterred. Yeah, we'll we'll do it. Yeah, yeah. We'll. Oh yeah, we've been. We make sure. I love paperwork. Paper, yeah, we do paperwork. I'm a paperwork guy. Ask me. Yeah. Ask me about a book. Like I guarantee book? you, I've read it. Oh yeah, The Hobbit. That's right. You read The Hobbit? Yep. Really? Two pissed yeah. off little people fuck around all the whole book. And they're just angry and screaming at each other about which way to go the whole time. Isn't that the odd couple? I think that's the odd couple that you're describing. I, I don't even think that's the Hobbit. That's the Fellowship of the... That's, that's, a, that's the Lord of the Rings, I think. Uh, you know yeah, what? that's a different book. Until some normal-sized guy comes in and tells them what to do, and he's right. I mean, and you know what? I haven't read it. You, you could be right. You could be right. I haven't read it. I don't know. I mean, Ace, what do you think? I hate it. The Hobbit? <laughs> yeah, I fucking hated it. It was a terrible book. You you know, what the it, fuck? Right? Is, what the fuck is a Morador? More like Mora Snore. Still read it though. Yeah, I'm a I'm a book guy. I'm a book guy i'm a paperwork guy any kind of paper i love it yeah we take we do it's it's not that we don't want to do the paperwork it's i mean every we'll we'll we have people do the paperwork that's 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 a non-issue that's that's easy but i'm just worried what what is the issue here i'm 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 failing to understand just don't think that anytime uh someone shoots you know so say that someone's firing off a gun into a crowd of people and sure. then I have to hold on. And then I have to be like, oh, great. What do I do? I either I stop this. Right. But then I have to go to court or I leave and to. then people die. I don't have to. Do you see the right? kind of pressure that puts on to me an alcoholic? I, I, think I can't fucking I line. can't work under that kind of pressure. I think there's Hard. a misconception here, <laughs> which is you don't have to go to court. Those people you that mean, you arrest. I could. thought you were saying I don't have to show up to the shooting. No, no, no. You, you I mean, arrest them. I everything mean, is treated as normal, but by the time when they get to the cells, if they they can either plead guilty and just you know go right on through, they yeah, cyan. Thanks for the brand guilty. new prime. Burgess, but only if they thanks plead for the not guilty, and even then, 
in this case just potentially going to go to court it's, if it's, it's not played super out ambitious and it, and and it stops it. people so from going to court. A small percentage of those cases will ever make it to trial. I assure you. I don't know. I don't know. Only I, way, I, only way I, to I don't know, know is to see how it plays out. Yeah. Nothing's ever etched in stone. You know what I mean? Everything can be adjusted as, as we go. Um, so then how do they, how do they get bail? Well, they would so, need to, they would need a lawyer. Number one. Okay. Um, so if there's no would, lawyer, they just sit in jail. No, we would have, uh, we would have prosecutors on, on hand. Um, we have that back channel. I don't know if you guys know about it, uh, between, the uh, Department of Justice. Jesus Christ! What the yeah. fuck just it's, happened? Uh, oh my god! It, you can make it way, way it's simpler. Happening. Oh my god! What is happening? Head house has just got broken into at once. Make that 15, oh. Ace! We need some kind of burglary task force. Oh 15 god. houses! Oh my god! Get to that house! Get to those houses, those series of homes, now! Like a whole Where's Colleen McCulkin? Someone make sure Coley's okay! Steven! What's... Make sure Coley's okay! Yeah, I, uh, I mean, here's There's the thing. There's a boy we'll... I know that lives down there. Whatever, yeah. uh, whatever system that you guys decide, we'll, we'll do. Yeah, I mean... Again, nothing, nothing is set in stone, right? Like, if we find that the system's not working or it needs tweaking, we can absolutely tweak it as we go. Yeah. You know what I mean? And, and in regards to bail, someone comes in, they're charged with a felony, they plead not guilty. Yep. All you need to do is read them out a, a pre-written agreement. They can verbally agree to it. You mark it on their profile that they're out on bail. And if they are found committing crimes, then they just go and start serving the time that they were out on bail for. All right, so... Explain to me how this scenario would happen. Okay, I'm driving my car. I've drank a bit of wine, two bottles, maybe three. Okay, I've uh. Say two and a half. I try to, I try to pull into a parking lot. I oh, I undershoot it. I run into someone. Okay. Mm -hmm. So uh, and then I get nervous, right? Uh, I shoot them in the head. Okay. I take my gun and I put it in their hand as to make it look like a suicide. But. I, I'm drunk, so I. So you know, in a drunken confusion, I I run away with my car still over top of them. Oh, oh, if I okay. get caught for that, how would how would something like that go down? So you get arrested, you get brought in, and then because you're being charged with felonies at that point, the officers say, or if the you know they request a lawyer, blah blah blah, whoever's there, they get a plea from them. They plea guilty. You just process them as a normal they plead not guilty if there's no lawyers available you read them out the terms of a bail agreement you cut them loose and you let the doj process their case out. what are the terms the terms would probably be you know uh, they have to agree to show up to their court dates they can't carry firearms and they can't be caught committing other crimes while they're out on bail and if yeah, they, they do and if they, then do, they automatically plead guilty to whatever they're out on bail for Plus and, whatever and warrants else issued, is on top of, and with the warrants issued for arrest, and then they just go bang straight to the slammer when they're caught. Bang! You know what I like when things are described to me as a uh, comic book text format. If you so would have like said that the whole time, says, I would have been on board. He said, "Bang!" Straight to the slammer. What pow? As is a is a paperwork guy, I like that more. And that way, hopefully, you discourage people who take bail from not taking it seriously. So, uh, okay. So then let me ask you guys. Uh, so say I, so say that happens. How quickly do you estimate I'm, I'm in a courtroom? Uh, from, from time of arrest to, to court. Yep. No more, no more than a week. Probably, probably like three to know. five days, three yeah, to it, five days. Yeah. Of being on bail, like I said, yeah, that's not that oh, a week, a week man. at most. That's that's I mean, ambitious. Let's say, let's say, let's do. You, do you think that let's say hypothetically you wouldn't be able to commit crime for a week? Like, is that like in your bones that you'd have to commit that crime within? Well, he's got a taste for it now. <laughs> if 
Yeah, I mean, if I if I you know wasn't drinking, probably. Sure. My car's gone, so how am I gonna drink and drive? I'm assuming you know my car'd be impounded. It would probably be probably be impounded. Yeah. But I mean, again, if you can't, uh, you know, if you don't commit crime, you get to get to your court date. You know, then the chips fall where they may. But and that's you know, if you get to your court date. If you, you guys can get people, date. no one slipping through the cracks, no slipping through the cracks, none of it. If you guys, you, you guys can get people, okay, into a courtroom. Okay, within three to five days, I could see that working out, but only yeah. if that's it. The only thing we need from the department is just good communication to let us know when. Oh, well, Jesus fucking Christ. Is that is communication? I mean, Jesus, <laughs> well, Jesus fucking Christ. So that, okay, you see, it's always something. <laughs> it's always we fucking just, something you need from us, to, huh? We just need to know when there are cases in we'll <laughs> So what would the procedure be like uh docket postings immediately? Like, you know, basic docket postings would be like the state versus so and so charges pressed, baseline of report, officers involved, legal representation of the defendant, uh and then eventually gets would that go through the officers or would that go through like the district attorney's office that would or go something? through the, the the department the whole department so, so the more the, the more steps we add to that particular scene the, the less the less likely it's going to be done in, in what way uh like we, right, we so, would be handling all of that part well see well that's the also going to add more that's also going to add more time to something right so let's say uh, not, I'm getting not as up. much as you would expect. I, I I think more than you expect. I mean, if I'm putting together I've like I've been a, doing this for a number of years, I can tell I, you it does not take that amount of time. I, I, hey, I, I, he's I, from I'm, Vice City. I'm, I'm, Back I'm, off. I'm going to tell you. Sure. I, sure. I, I listen. Uh, so it takes probably if you're working a high profile case here. I mean, a fucking murder and stuff like that sir it's it's not something that you can just be done with in 15 minutes i mean you got to organize the report statements from witnesses you got to make sure that you sure. redact certain information from trial because there's probably going to be snitches involved as well yep. there's probably going to be people rolling over on each other uh by the time you get everything organized from getting all the testimony of everybody involved uh lining up the getting the cops on board with like the charges that are being pressed i mean you're not looking at I mean, twenty-four hour turnaround on something like that is is ambitious to no, say the least. Nobody's expecting a twenty-four hour turnaround. But it's going to add time to them because they're still going to be locked up. And if it's three to five days for a, for a trial, that that court case isn't even going to be filed for a couple of days, and then no, no, then the it's a three to five. Everyone with a felony. You guys are fail. and you guys are for, you guys think that most people won't contest the charge. They'll just take the plea. Well, I have a question for you. How many people are appealing charges right now? It doesn't uh, exist. It's not an option. option. And literally everyone I've arrest, arrested has wanted to. Good amount of yeah. mine has. Some woman the, called the me a pervert and told me to stop grabbing her and then demanded to uh, appeal the charges. How many Well, how many people have actually appealed the charges? These guys are really ambitious. Well, I don't well, think... they. I, I don't think that they've thought that they could. I'm not trying to be a dick, but okay. I don't I mean, think it's possible. What's the, what's the sentencing like? Because if they go to court, right because mm -hmm. they mm -hmm. even though they've blatantly done whatever they've been charged with mm -hmm. but for some reason they want to take its call right mm -hmm. um at that point <laughs> uh could they be given extended time in jail right so it's like hey if you want to go to jail uh, if you want to mm -hmm. go to court just to mess mm -hmm. around uh and you're found guilty hey you're gonna get you know potentially more more fines where do you uh, shop? Time in jail. Oh, yeah, Dick, give them I mean, a chance. They will back off. Where, where, where do you it shop? Work out, Casper. Uh, the process doesn't work. They're just, uh, really uh, ignoring the fact that the police I, have I to produce remember. shit, and they it's, can't it, do that right away. When you it got comes a good to eye fucking, for fashion. When it comes to cases, man. Thank you, sir. It's, uh, look, it's, I mean, it's it not, seems like you guys really want to make this system work, and I think that I'm willing to try it if Riggs is. Um... But I, I think that this is going to end up being a lot of casework. But I also understand what you guys are saying. You don't think a lot of people are 
going to appeal the charges. I get that. I, I do. I want to just circle back though. Um, so, uh, for the violent felonies that doesn't, does that always have to go or can they plea out of that as well? Everyone can always plea at any time. No matter what. No matter what. Look, I mean, it, I mean, uh, if, 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 if uh, we still, we need some more wine in here. Steel, go get right. more wine. Go get yeah. more wine, will you? You can have my bottle if you like. I'll I'll just take your bottle then. In the, is that am yeah. I the only one drinking in here? Uh, it seems I'm sure. about I've to start. An, I've got another one for you. Another one. Just in case. You guys have this crate. It's a European invention. It's called brunch. Brunch, like. What is, you what get is a brunch? you get shit canned for breakfast, and then you uh because you woke up late. Uh, so it's, it's like breakfast, but it's at noon, but it's only on Sundays because on Saturdays you're hung over. So you don't, you're not wake you're not getting to breakfast till noon and then you get shit canned during, uh, lunch, but they have bacon. Uh, Wait, and then so you they have a word for that now. I thought that yep. was just a thing that was already a thing. Like, I don't understand why they had to have a label. They got a label for everything now. Divorced lesbian. Is that like a, is that like a German word? Like. But if you're like a divorced lesbian, it's uh, I think it's jerk. Yeah, I think every it every might, sort of German, alcohol. Right? I would think. Yep, I think every sort of alcohol slang comes back to the Germans. So yes, sure. I'd imagine that's true. Look, uh, I don't know. I I mean, look, let's try it. Um, and we'll we'll just see what happens. And I guess we can adjust later. Okay. I mean, yeah, uh, absolutely. Like I said, it, nothing it, is set in stone. It's, yeah. it's, you know, once, once we know it works, we find, we find stuff that doesn't work. We can absolutely pivot and, and make changes. Do you, uh, for, for, are, are there, are you guys taking civil cases? Um, there will be civil cases. Absolutely. Um, if it's against you guys, then we have guys to take care of that for you. Oh no. I want to take my, uh, lesbian, uh, ex-wife, uh, oh. to court. Oh. Because if you guys can rule in this jurisdiction that I don't know where money, then I'm not paying her shit because I'm for damn sure not going back to Colorado. I mean, if you're is 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 that a like a federal court? System? No, it's not federal. If it's not federal and you're not in that state, then Well, you know, but I'm I'll trying see. to get to her here before she gets to me. Oh. Oh. And I want to sue her for being a lesbian. I don't think that's illegal. Uh I'm sorry, so. but cheating on someone is when you're married. Mm -hmm. Maybe uh, in the eyes of the Lord, maybe. Yeah, it, um, but in the eyes of the court, it's not. Actually what do you illegal. mean? Yes, it is. That's gra Yeah, what are you talking about? If you're married to someone and they cheat on you, you don't owe them alimony. No, but the I'm, the act I of mean, cheating that, that is all, not. That all I wish my wife court. cheated on me. That's what I'm saying. Condition. That's why I'm asking about civil court. I mean, that's left not me. the same as divorce court. <laughs> that's that's more like like a family court. You know, it's <laughs> civil court. Divorce court is a civil, it says civil trial. Unless you hit him. Unless you hit him. <laughs> I did not hit her. Save it for she court days. The <laughs> so anyway, so is there, is, are you guys doing civil? Uh, well, uh, me personally, I mean, we, like, again, we do have that, but like she would need obviously a lawyer some sort of representation for that you'd have to talk to a to a defense attorney or somebody who, who handles that kind okay of or say that someone hit my car could i could i take them to civil court you guys doing that well i mean if they hit your car that's that's sort of like a hit and run first of all if they've left the scene secondly i mean I i'm mean, not yeah, saying they've ran i'm they saying they've hit my car there. they're refusing to pay me money can i take <laughs> the them can is, i sue them the answer is yes but that's not criminal court that's civil court yeah that's yeah, that's, that's what i'm asking that's what yeah, I'm asking. we are doing civil court there are private attorneys who will do that for you yeah so also while I'm here, uh, I gotta go. I, I I gotta I gotta get out of here soon. But uh, th you guys need to make a racketeering charge because I've heard of so many gangs running so many operations, and it's yeah. about to get out of hand quickly. If I well, try, I mean, if, if there's to evidence one. to support racketeering, absolutely, you can. Do you want me to bring it to you guys? I mean, you know, when when you have evidence, that's way more optimistic. To, uh, than okay, we can do it like that then. Yeah, that's fine. And then. You know, once once we once we see that there is a, a necessity for Tent that, is charge, way more optimistic than I am. Okay, I'm also uh, Rico them into all fucking hell. I'll be uh, I'll bring you guys in on it, but I'm getting some scientists together. I'm gonna be taking every drug 
to uh, see which I one think, affects me in different. Before. Yeah, 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 I'm gonna see yeah. which one affects me in different ways so that you guys know how to schedule it. Sure. Sure. I mean, I again, not a doctor, so obviously I can't, I can't tell you that's a bad idea. That's you know, who, who am I to get in the? Way I mean, it, it, it's a pretty progress. bad idea, but he's gonna do it anyway. Uh, well, I think that we need to because you know these charges we have now were. I don't think that. Uh, for example, I mean, you look at marijuana and meth. Are they just as dangerous? I don't know. That's what the experiment's for. And if one is more dangerous than the other, then people should probably be getting more time for it. Right? Haven't uh, already been studies into these drugs? Not, not, not any I've done. I hear uh, quaaludes and alcohol are a popular combination these days. My favorite. Completely illegal, too. Careful what ails you. Yep. So I'll let you guys know when I'm doing uh, the... Uh, the aces drug experience experiment sure. all experiment. right whatever system oh, no, you guys roll out we'll, like we'll do concert, it you know like Jimi hendrix the Jimi hendrix experience mm -hmm. so this is kind of like the same thing right like if it's an ace aces drug experience you know yep. you could probably charge tickets maybe get, get a whole venue going yeah, maybe you should just do yep. drugs in front of a crowd of people so we can at least make some money off of it yeah Has anyone got a, a bottle of wine i could take uh i i do not i i gave you my wine looks like um there's no wine uh, left in here. No, no, I've got a, I've got a bowl. Hang on. All right. So it sounds like we're all on the same page. Yeah, I will. Uh, I'll get something written up for you guys, and then you can, you know, pass it down the chain to your guys. Um, I will make sure that uh, you know everybody in the department knows about it, and uh, like what the clear expectations are, so there's no confusion, and. Uh, Everybody will be sort of on the same page. That sort of eliminates all but one last thing for me to deal with on a government level, which is, you know, like a docketing system. Once that's done, we will basically be good to go. Rolling. We're going to be rolling. Yeah. All right. All right, perfect. Well, I, definitely, uh, I definitely appreciate your time. I'm going to hit some patrols. I'm going to, uh, I'm going to take a, I'm going to take a walk. Yeah, sure. Should be set. Hey, hey Captain. Yeah. Thanks, Captain. Hey, I got these notes if you want them. I don't want them. <laughs> okay. Hold on to them until I want them. Sounds good. I will hold on to them. All right, perfect. All I right, got I'm a, going uh, 42. I got to sleep real quick. Hey, hey, you're going 42. All right, pal. You go 42 then. I'm going to be passed out next to this real quick. Hold on, this is the better one. Maybe I shouldn't doom. Maybe I shouldn't doom, but I can't help it. I just have, I, I just don't think it'll work. Every system that can be exploited by people will always be exploited by people. I can be Content RP rot. Not at all. I didn't load in. Okay, I'm loading in. Do more. I'm not trying to because when you do, it just causes hey, issues. Hey, Lizzie, how you doing? I'm pretty great. How's your meeting? Uh, productive. Very productive. Oh, hello, sir. Welcome. How can I help you? How can she help you? What the fuck's you? wrong with your mouth? Hey, hey, what? hey, what the fuck? What? There's about to be something wrong with your mouth when What's I smack you with a nightstick, with your... cocksucker. What the fuck? You got a problem? Hey, 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 you get the fuck out of here. I I'm here to report a crime. This is my city. Hey, hey, hey we don't I... care. I hope that the crime was committed against you. Get the fuck out of here. What kind of fucking... 
Sir, you better get out of here before you get arrested. Oh, you're putting the taser on. I'm going to take you. Hey, take this guy's report before I drag him out of here. You'll be all right. Everything will be fine. Okay, Everything all right. Fine. I'll take all care right. of the front desk. All right, all right. All right. Yeah, you, go, yeah, you hold go, it down. Me. You hold it down right. out here. All right, all right. How can I help you? Allison's got a good head on her shoulders. This is our uniform. How may I help you, sir? That's my captain. Still got my nightstick? Yes, I do. That nightstick's great. Someone's following me. You want your crime? Hey, two ninety. What's your name? Oh, uh, it's Sarah. Hi. Nice Ignore the mask. Sarah. Yeah. What's uh -huh. going on, Polly? Nice to meet you too. Uh, I'll be Sarah. Uh. <clears throat> so that that it's doing okay. Why the fuck are you asking me that? I don't know. Just are just, you doing just, okay? Are you projecting? Yeah. No. It's like you're falling apart to me. Oh, I'm not falling apart. I like it. I'm just telling you from what I can observe. What are you observing? I don't fall. I'm, I'm not falling apart. I'm observing. I'm observing you. That's what I'm are observing. Are you falling apart? Are you observing I'm, me? Observing you? I'm held you? together. Held together by. Are you held together? Held together yep. by what? Gorilla glue. Chemical bonding I agents. Search, I, search, I gotta I search. ask you something, Captain. Um, that like lady at the front desk. Are am I supposed to be wiping the drool off her braces, like uh, from time to time? Uh, what am I? I don't hate to them. I just think they're ambitious. Exactly. Uh, I don't know. I saw her wandering around looking for work. Okay. Thought I'd help her out. I'm not sure if you guys want her or not. If you don't want her, just tell her to get the fuck out of here. <laughs> Okay. B yeah. But you, did you give her keys or did she just nope. like walk in and start working? No, I, oh, okay. No, no, I met oh, her at the okay. So we really, we can wait. We can really. In her? <laughs> yeah, what? Well, I'm curious. Like, what is yeah. I saw in her I mean, I, so I, I can saw, try to see I, the Listen, thing. I saw someone and she was wandering around and, oh, okay. you know, I you thought, I thought it was a lost okay. child at first. So I was going to help okay. her find her parents. But uh turns out she's an adult and, uh you know, she's just a nerd. <laughs> okay. So I'll try to get Allison to wipe the drool off her braces until we figure out what she's going to be. Yeah, I mean, you at. guys can do whatever. You, I mean, like I said, hey, if you no. don't want her, just go ahead, unlock the door for her, throw a, a I, fucking I mean, Dungeons and Dragons like, pamphlet into the street. She'll be fine. Li literally, I would feel so bad for doing that, granted the fact that. Uh, hey, you can do it. I, I wouldn't uh, feel bad. I, I I would feel like like I'm just like kicking a baby. Yeah, out. I feel like it's discouraging uh, I, I, the court. I do not like babies. I oh, yeah. Well, yes. I, I will don't, tell. I don't I like will, babies either. But I will tell her to go comb the grass until it's straight. Uh, does that mean you're firing her? Because that's what it sounds like. Huh? No, I mean I don't. I'm not f planning on firing her. It's your guy's decision. I thought maybe hey. No, I mean, she said she will tell her to comb the grass until it's straight. I don't give a fuck what type of hazing you do to her. All right, that's oh. your guy's decision to make. Okay. Oh, yeah. well, 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 can we well, haze you know our we'll days? observe her for a little bit and, and then we'll figure it out. Figure and we'll tell out. her to go count the bricks on the building, see how high she can count. Wow. Hey, you're a real cunt, yeah, Polly. Oh my god, Thank I'm gonna get a you, I'm sir. gonna get a fucking a fucking chessboard and I'm gonna see if she's like that's the the test for like front desk. I've been having people just play chess against each other. I'm just gonna see if she's like she's gonna eat the pieces or something. Oh good idea. Huh. All right. Um Wait, that's actually chocolate. a really good idea. Tell her it's chocolate versus right. vanilla. I'm, I'm gonna go I'm gonna go uh patrol. Okay. I'm gonna I'm gonna Wait. patrol. Uh fuck. God. Wait, Poppy, question. Captain, this someone? guy keeps uh, disrespecting us. He disrespect the police. He just got out. Cute. Hey, hey, you got a fucking problem, asshole? Problem, bro? The police department is shit. Your dispatchers look like motherfucking pumpkins. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You know something? Go fuck yourself. How's that? Yeah, how's that? How's that? I don't care if any crime happens to you. Hey! If anybody wants to commit any crime against anybody, you can commit it to this guy, because we're not looking. Fuck you. How's that? Straight from the top, Captain Lionel Riggs. 
I'm the boss. Captain who? Yeah, yeah, exactly. Captain who? Captain who? Fuck you! That's who! That's who! Captain, fuck you! Is that on me? Where was that from? Get this guy off of the property, cadet. Officer. I'm not on the property, dumb get this, fuck. I'm get on this the guy street. Out. Get this guy right, away sir, from the can property. You, uh, He's can you please leave. The peace. I am, you see, you see the sidewalk there? There's a very clear line between the street and the sidewalk. Yeah, this is uh, still the parkings for the PD, sir. Could you uh, please leave? Thank you. I uh, can't even do your own dirty work. Yeah, that's right. Get the fuck out of here. Let's go. Have a nice day. That's right. Get into your little piece of shit jalopy car. All right. Get the fuck out of here, asshole. Yeah, yeah. Right oh, back fuck at you. Off, man. Yeah, sit, Let's yeah, sit go. On it and Let's spin. go. Get going. Yeah, Jesus Christ, some people. Hey, what's going on here? Got a lot of litter. Oh, those are fireworks. Those are fireworks show up, yeah. Do they have a permit? <laughs> um, I don't know. God damn it. God damn heathens. You know how far away I can unlock my vehicle. Pretty far. What are you doing, Cap? you handle that situation? Oh, it's perfect. Perfect, perfect. They're gonna ask you to play you, chess. Captain. Try not to eat the pieces, all right? Okay. Yeah, I don't know, uh... I, I like court. I just want the DOJ to be up and running. I don't give a fuck. As long as it's up and running, that's all I care about. I just, uh, think that, like... Here's the thing, right? Whenever a system can be abused, it will. And people will want to speed run it. So that'll be like, people will have legitimate cases, but they'll have such bad ADHD that they won't want to challenge things in court. And then be like, why wait a week, week for court when I go to jail for three days, you know? Or something like that. We'll say fuck it. Because most people just play one character. And with the type of crowd that me and Penta attract, most of them are streamers. So, you know, that whole spiel. Then comes the mauled. I don't think there will be any mauled on this server. If people mauled on this server, they're going to be... They're probably going to be banned. Plymouth is hauling ass. Is he at a firing range? I should check. Algonquin Boulevard by Sandy Shores. We got some shots fired at the pier. What's the status? They said it was code for it. was just doing fireworks in the area at the pier. Alright, A firm. Uh, 204 will be 76. The shots fired at Algonquin Boulevard. A firm, two times. Everybody well. puts one. Yeah, another center one just popped up. It's going westbound of Algonquin Boulevard. Could be that it might be merging to Joshua Road. Still going westbound on Algonquin Boulevard. If we have individuals go up Sonora Freeway, I I'm coming east on Route 68. Alright, sounds good. I'm heading up Sonora Freeway now. Uh, two body plus one. Um, second that. Uh, so we have three units responding to the call. Would you guys like to channel or would you guys like to stay on main frequency? Uh, if this gets violent, I would prefer us to be on main frequency. Yeah. Damn. Yeah, yep, yep. Brrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrr
And then they get letters sent to their mailbox. Now that would be an amazing system. Energy, energy, vroom, vroom. And we're already at six hours. Doesn't feel like we've been streaming for six hours. I've been enjoying shit lately. I'm not gonna lie. I do kind of like just chilling and streaming. Petey from this fast list, there's seven of a drug cell just by the airport LSIA. Hey, make sure if you're heading into that shots fired call that you kill your sirens about half a mile out. We don't want them to know we're coming. Yes. Hey, Thumb. I'm uh, at the Ace Liquor Store in Algonquin. Uh, I have no visual of individuals currently. Hey, Firm, did you see any suspicious vehicles heading that direction towards Stab City? Uh, 10 9. That could. Did you see any suspicious vehicles fleeing the area? Negative there, sir. Nothing came uh, west. Uh, I got some people here, a delivery driver. Hey! Uh, hey, you, uh, you? You, you guys here see anything? Yeah, yeah, we, so uh, there was the a black two-door muscle car shooting at another, like, rust bucket. And uh, we we got hit by some strays, not us, but our vehicle. Um, yeah, and I they can see that. Yeah, he was back like, the complete opposite way. He was towards so the north down there. He was just shooting. So north, yeah. Got All right. Vehicles All right. What's your guys' names? Uh, Rip. Uh, they call me Rip, have, the the Ripster. No occupants. The Ripster. All right. What's your legal name, son? Uh, son. Atlas Ripperton. Son. What's your Ripperton? What's your what's your name? At Atlas Ripperton. Atlas Ripperton, what about you, sir? Oh, we call Javier Reyes. All right, Javier Reyes and Atlas Ripperton. All right. <laughs> I just met two individuals. They were delivering packages up here in Sandy Shores. Claimed that a black vehicle, two-door muscle car, was opening fire on some beat-up piece of shit. And they took off in that uh, westbound, southwestbound direction. So let's uh, try and just code four. six along that area, see if we can maybe find anything. Their vehicle did have shots in it as well. Uh, but I don't think we can GSR test, so who knows if they're lying. I was informed we could conduct the GSR test from the trunk of our vehicle there, sir. Oh, shit. We can? Our uh, fingerprinting will require us to go back to the, the, the files that are uh, precinct, but GSR, we can duct in the trunk all right good to know you guys see that uh vehicle over there go ahead and just get them gsr tests if any units are still in the area sandy shores hey from so and i'm heading into stab city i'll let you guys know if i see anything remember we're on the lookout for a uh, rust bucket kind of car and a two-door black uh two-door black muscle car two three three ten eight any actives or requests for that Stab City's code for. So I can conduct a GSR test at the back of my car. F6. All wound heal. Okay, not that. Toggle trunk. I don't think that's it either. Huh. Um. Okay. Stab City's gonna be clear when we're heading back into Sandy Shores. I did not know we could GSR test. Hey, you learn something new every day. They were asking for a discussion of the black vehicle. Was it more like box light or more like round cylinder light? 
Two door black sports car. That's the description I was given. Two door black muscle car, rather. So I'm going to assume it's more boxy in nature. Peter's dispatch. We're going to be having a meeting, so I'll be off radio for a bit. Copy that, dispatch. Uh, I found that individual. Anyone else still in Sandy Shores? Hey, from 204. Uh, come on. All right. Come over to my location. Well, will say 20 there, so. Going to be off of Algonquin Boulevard. 220 plus 176 to your location. We're right by. The 2107 view mics, uh, 322. Is that Ripperton? R Ripperton, is that you? No, no, man, it's Alejandro Guevara. Como estas? Gotcha, how long you been in the area of Sandy Shores for there, son? Uh, I've been here for uh, probably about, uh, I'd say about 30 minutes. Gotcha, you hear any gunfire? Actually, I did, yes. Uh, I was, uh, Probably, uh, that way. Well, I mean, any suspicious people up here? Did you see any vehicles? Did you see any gunfire yourself? No, I did not see any gunfire myself. I just heard it. Um, while I was delivering my packages, uh, I saw another go postal man riding around. Uh, and that was it. You see, uh, when's the last time you saw him? Uh, probably about... Uh, three, maybe four minutes ago. Gotcha. What direction were they heading? Uh, they were around the Burgersat area. Uh, they were delivering packages too, I believe. Uh, right. but you, you know, as soon as I heard the, uh, you know, the, the gunshots, you got a I gun? was like, oh, man. do I have a gun? Yeah, you got a gun. Oh, no, no, no. I don't have a gun, man. No. You fire oh, a gun no recently? Way. No, sir. No, sir. No, sir. You can send to a GSR test there, sir. Uh, of course, yeah. Of course right, I over here. Come over to the trunk. All right. All right. All right. Yeah, no All problem. Right, let me get, yeah. Let me get your fingers. Oh, okay. There you go. All right. All right, thanks, pal. All right, get back to yeah. delivering your packages. Hey, try and find that other delivery truck, all right? Hey, hey, oh, yes, I, so. If I uh, if I hear anything, you know, uh, I got to. I, I'll definitely give you guys a call. You know. Oh, all right. Hey, hey we were. Hey, we appreciate you, sir. Yes, yes, no problem. That guy's gonna be GSR positive. We're gonna try and locate that other delivery truck in the area, get them tested as well. I'm gonna be honest. I didn't know we could GSR test. So. Hey, you learn something new every day. Important. You're never too smart to learn something every day. It was GSR negative, not positive. I believe I said positive on the radio. Got up, chat. Shut up. I'm completely locked in. Grab some gas. Uh, Got to get on the other side, huh? There we go. My face feeling numb. Yeah, yeah, it is. Numb from you being a dipshit, you cocksucker. Music. 
And it's be advised to receive the 911 call. There is a stolen police cruiser last seen in Del Perro Pier. Hey, firm, do we know what type? That's types? Yes, there's Plymouth or all the base Dodge. Yeah, uh, I don't know. They they just said it was a lander patrol car. Indiscreet, thanks for the fucking five yeah, bomb, dude. Yeah, I appreciate it. Chat, make sure there. if you're new, hit that follow button and get your subs in. Decent amount of people on the server. That's good to see. I love this song. I'm not going to bullshit you. I need a hero. The song is amazing. It sure is. No, originally I wasn't planning on helping the PD on this server. <laughs> Thought it would have been cool just to play Crim for a while, but I can't stay away from it. 227 responding, latest 1013. Yes, okay, 204. Uh, be advised, the shots fired down on the pier. Uh, it's Man and Mama Wehu and uh, a bunch of others there, several others. They are firing their guns into the air for America. Uh, I think it, it, you're gonna need a lot of additionals to make any arrests. All right, hey firm, let's all head on down there. All right, I'll grab another car. four. Yeah, it's two or four plus one. I don't want to be Excuse chief. Me. Let uh, Kimo be chief. To the pier. Yo, Craftsman, thanks for the gift sub, dude. Ah, uh, those gift subs just feel so good. Do want to do a subathon soon? Can you imagine an Elden Ring subathon? Oh my god. Yo, Matt, thanks for the five bump. Yeah, we're going to need additionals down here at the pier. If we got a bunch of people firing guns off in the air, we're uh, going to have to make a lot of arrests here. Lots of citations. Okay, Get those budgets up. 243 plus 176. Uh, 204 is 23. Uh, we had three vehicles. I just saw Manny Mama Weibo's car leaving the scene. Uh, which vehicle was that? There was, there was three that left. The Primo, blue and uh, red. Alright, I'll, I'll try and track it down and chase it. Yo, Nash, thanks for the 26 months. Unable to locate any vehicles at this time. Dude, I thought of a cool feature that the DOJ would be able to do. Hijack people's car radios and make state announcements. That would be pretty cool, I think. I think that would be really cool, actually. I think that would be really cool. I believe I got one of the vehicles out over here that uh, fled the scene. Uh, disregard. These guys look like a bunch of pen pencil-pushing nerds. 
Yeah, they are all uh, clad in American gear. They all are wearing the uh, stars and straps. A firm. Nerds! Oh, look at the new car. Everybody loves the cops. Everybody loves the PD. Everybody loves the police department. I think I might do a subathon this Saturday, chat. Except me. No, I love the police department, too. I think it's great. I think it's a great role play. I think the role play has been pretty fucking good. Holy copium. Right now, I'm not doing it. Now, I'm not doing it. I did a 13-hour stream for you guys yesterday. You didn't even care. You don't even care, man. Nah, yesterday's honestly stream was so much fun. Hey, how you doing? God bless Pretty America, am I right? That's right, the Patriot, baby. The yeah, Patriot. I was late. I was late to the goddamn rally down there. I wanted to join you guys down at the pier and shooting guns off into the air. Yeah, we sang uh, God Bless America, too, that song. Oh, yeah, were you down there, too, shooting your gun off? No, no, we were. We started up here and did, like, a parade, and I, I left early. Oh, all right, I got you, all right. You What's have a your good name? one, sir. Lionel Riggs, Captain Lionel, Lionel? Riggs. Hey, it's good to meet you. I'm Cletus. Nice to meet you, Cletus. Seems like a nice guy. Like a very nice man, if I do say so myself. 243 is code 6, and around a bunch of closing stores. I haven't seen any of them yet. Just hoping maybe they try to get out of the gob. Uh, yeah, 204 is, uh, check Miss Bucci. I'm now up towards City Hall, and still no visual of any of these. Please, Cornwood. Yep, nothing near either. I do miss S Fand. Side effects. Thanks for the five months. I appreciate that. I needed to start an hour late today. Holy fuck! I could I could not sleep last night, and I could barely get the fuck out of bed. Sometimes it be like that, chat. Fucking tired. Tired or low T? What's the difference? S fans all rich and corporate now. What makes you say that? What makes you say that? That's a that's a mean thing to say about somebody. I think. Craftsman, thanks for the gift sub. Yeah, S-Fan took over on the NFL stuff that Tim the Tatman used to do.
Hey, you guys on a date or something? Oh man, not at all. I was just uh, swinging by here to maybe get a pair of skates, but they're too expensive. Can you believe it's $10? Like 15 minutes? Oh, poor guys. I'm sorry to hear that. Yeah. Sorry to hear that, gentlemen. Enjoy your date, all right? Oh my, oh my god, I just fucked up. It's alright, I can fix that. I'm fucked. I choked, chat. All right, my bad. All right, I just wanted to play, try out a little Tetris. It's huge throw. <laughs> Yo, Box, thanks for the two months. I appreciate that, boss. Tetris God, God, I wish I was a god at Tetris. I really wish I was. I, <laughs> I really wish I was, man. I think we should get back into the Red Dead campaign, though. I think we should get back into the Red Dead campaign. And I'm probably going to take tomorrow off, by the way, chat. 3P3 is uh, 23 at uh, 38. Try the bowling alley. I Look, I love the bowling alley. I love the bowling alley. I deserve a day off. Well, thank you. I've been streaming a lot. But I could probably stream tomorrow. Shit. Trying to get used to these fucking cars. Read the SOPs. 
but I lost them. I lost the SOPs, though. Is this the DOC from Cars? What do you mean? What does that mean? It's the doc from Cars. Never saw Cars. Goofy ass run. Maybe we'll do another long stream today, chat. Who the fuck knows? Kind of been in like a variety mood. Want to play more games with my friends. I think that would be fun. Red Dead. Hold on. All right, perfect. Smash 64? That would be kind of fun. That would be kind of fun. See, the thing that sucks for me is that a lot of the people that I like doing stuff with aren't awake until later in the day. It's almost like I have to change my schedule in order to have fun. Sucks, dude. Fucking sucks dick. Do it. Do this. Wake their asses up. Yeah, I should, right? Yo, Falcon. Thanks for the fucking three months. I appreciate that. I have complained about my schedule for years, but I don't know, man. I don't know if I would. I don't know if I want to change it. I don't know if I want to change it. Oh, shit, yeah. Monopoly with them would be good. Mm -mm 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 -mm. I should just take the day off. Why? Hey, wake up. I should start organizing shit more. I got to get better at that. Get better at that, boss. Let me turn my AC on, though. Organize paying my bills. Hey, hey, hey. No. <laughs> no, I'm not doing that. Come on. The fuck? Why, why would I do that? Oh, Pico Park. Fuck that. Everything's smooth. Everything's super smooth, huh? Let's see, uh, let's see what quests we got to do. All right, last time we played, we literally just got here. Hey, how you doing? We should go hey, fishing Arthur. again soon. That was fun. Yes, I needed that. To clear the feel like... Hmm. Feels kind of... I want to turn off some depth of field effects. Uh, Graphics? Depth of field? Uh... what it's called right motion blur ah, motion blur is not on something seems off not the way my game's set up right now jenny's a massive griefer i believe it the fuck all right let's see what quest we got to do Go do the one for Dutch. <laughs> yeah. Oh, shit. You'll be fine. You won't drown. 
three hundred dollars in bounties. They're gonna have to try and kill me. If they want the bounty, they're gonna have to kill me to take it. Is Penta finished uh, Fallout New Vegas? I've been kind of wanting to start that myself. I've never played. Whoa! Hey there, Parker. You interested in a little friendly competition? Hmm. You a shooting man? I've been yeah, looking I for am. a challenge and I ain't found one yet. What'd you say? Love that game. I've always wanted to play it. So you in uh, or not? Let's do it. Uh, why don't we find out? Good. Whoever shoots the most bottles wins, okay? All right. All right. Stand alongside me. As soon as you pull your weapon and aim, we let fly. Okay. Go. That's right. Maybe you were just outgunned. I ain't happy with that, not one bit. What do you say we raise the stakes a little? Trying to con me. He's trying to con me. Come on, can make yourself some money. Can I grab a, another gun? You're on. Well, that's what I like to hear. How about this? You shoot four birds out of the sky before me, we'll call it a day. All right, rules are simple. We're doing first to four. You can count to four, I hope. Stay close. As soon as you see them, start shooting. Wait for it. There they go now, shoot. But not good enough. Maybe next time. Don't move a gun. <laughs> hey! I took the W. Is that another quest line gone? Yeah. Is that another quest line gone? I gotta stop doing that shit. Ah! What do you think you're doing? Get hey, on. sorry about that. Ow! Not my day today. Not, not my day today. <laughs> well, there goes another quest line. <laughs> if you think this is bad, you should see the way I play Fallout. I steal everybody's shit and kill everybody that I can. No, it can't be fun. God. Get the hell away from me. Yeah, all right. I didn't do that. Someone else did. Oh, I should probably put my gun away. <laughs> it wasn't me. <laughs> I promise. <laughs> okay, boy. I wouldn't mind. I, I kind of. Dude, the thing is, man, I have such a bad habit of starting games. Dude. I want to find a game that really, like, this game really pulls me in. But I don't know, dude. I kind of been wanting to play Fallout New Vegas for a long fucking time. And I never have. You know, Fallout New Vegas was one of the first games I ever streamed. 
It was one of the. It was one of the first. <laughs> Trying to find that game. You know what? Let's try it out. Okay. I want to try it. I want to see if it sucks me. I've been wanting to play it for forever. Wanting to play that game for fucking ever. Have been. I'm going to have to download it real quick. Give me a second. Been wanting to play it for a long fucking time, man, and just haven't. Hey, we're becoming an indecisive variety Andy. Fifth game I switched to today? Eh, some days are like that. I mean, here's the thing. I like streaming. Sometimes I don't know what I feel like playing. And since I don't want to, like, delve into, you know, drama shit, eh, might as well. Mods are a must for Fallout New Vegas. All right. What should we get? What should we do? What type of mods should we do? And are they easy for me to install? Eight and skate today. I don't know. If I'm taking tomorrow off and I can actually get sucked into a game. Listen, as long as you guys watch, I don't care. I'll put it this way to you. When I'm playing something that isn't RP and I have like 3,000 plus viewers, I'm pretty fucking happy. I'll pretty much stream all fucking day. Is there like a uh, like a mod launcher for it that just will that I can download just install fucking New Vegas mods and it'll just like do it? Yes. Vortex? Vortex. Uh where do I go to get that? Type in Vortex. Vortex mods manager from Nexus. Is that it? Yo, Torin, thanks for the nine months and Regina, thanks for the five bomb. Texas mods got you. All right, download the latest version now. Cool. Uh, download. Uh. Okay. What is this? Mod requires one or more additional files in order to work properly. .NET 6.0 plus? Yo, Manger, thanks for the 38 months, dude. Hey, I'm embarking on a... Listen, I'm going to install mods. Okay. So... Close. All right. But why is it saying... All right, I downloaded the thing. Download. Uh, no, I don't want to go premium. I have to be log it, logged in? Oh, God. Okay, hold on. I got this, chat. This is all part of the stream. Nexus Premium. No. <laughs> Last thing I need is another service to give money to. Okay, hold on. Is 
the fuck? Creating my account. Creating my account. I don't want to be billed today. Clothes. Ew. No. <laughs> no, I'm not doing that. Slow download. Yo, Axeman, thanks for the two months. I appreciate that, boss. Jesus Christ, these downloads are, speeds are slow. Do I have to get premium? Do I need to go grab my wallet and get fucking premium? Stop being cheap. Grabbing my wallet. You guys literally are the worst. Hey, what's up, Jenny? Kefty, thanks for the gift sub. Damn, these download speeds sure are fucking slow. Yo, Majin Baranka, thanks for the 13 months. Do I have a P.O. box, dude? No, I'm afraid someone's going to send me a piece of shit or anthrax. Clutch, thanks for the five bomb. Is it launching? All right, Vortex is launching. What are, like, the go-to mods that we should get if we're going on a fucking New Vegas adventure? You guys got any recommendations or what? Vortex requires to perform... Click fix below. It's not able to install the thing that I need. It keeps on telling me that check has failed. What's a Microsoft.net? It says it, Vortex requires Microsoft.net to perform important tax, uh, tasks. Click fix below to install the required version. I, I am. I'm, cl I'm clicking fix. Please follow the instructions in the .NET installer. There is no .NET installer. That's why I hate this kind of shit. I, I, I don't know what I'm supposed to install. You already have... There may be a problem with your installation. Click below. And it shows fatal error was encountered. The library host policy required to execute the application was not found in the file. Well, I mean, fuck it, dude. I mean, I want to have a fun experience. We might as well mod this shit. All right, hold on. We'll get this thing sorted out. I guess you're right. I haven't l played the game yet. Yeah, you better stay with me if I'm doing all this. 
I expect you guys to fucking be here the entire time, the entire day and night. You have nothing better to do anyway. It's Tuesday. Who the fuck cares? Yeah, it's installing some stuff from launching the game. Maybe that could be it. All right, I, I clicked play the game. Let me try opening Vortex again and see if that fixed it. All right, fix it. Still doesn't work. Yeah, dude, it still, it still does not work, man. Why does it not work? Kill first quest giver. No, I'm not doing that. Vertex. Did it install .NET? It should have. Do I need to install it manually? All right, hold on. .NET. Where can I include, where can I download .NET at? Isn't that what it made me install on the Vortex, on the fucking Vortex website? On Nexus Mods. All right, it says I have it. Microsoft Windows Desktop Runtime 6.0.8 x64. Which is it, right? It's installed. Banzer, I might need you to fucking team viewer this shit. Still ain't working. Banzer! I might need you to team viewer this. Let me get you set up. <laughs> Chat, relax. I had sent your way, Spanzer. I got no idea what the fuck's going on. And Spanzer's a genius when it comes to all this shit. Yeah, listen, I told you guys I want at least 3,000 of you in here while I'm doing this shit. Better fix that. Mm 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 mm. Tell you a story. I'm not telling you shit. I mean, I could tell you an interesting story about how I failed to play, pay my bills on time. Yeah, as you can tell, I tried downloading it a couple times, Spanzer. Yo, Casey, thanks for the five bomb. If the download doesn't start after 30 seconds... 
the fuck? Why can't it just start right away? Mankin, thanks for the two months. What's Bacon saying? Oh, this nerd's talking about RP shit, huh? OOC hate? Why? Why can't everybody just get along? Fans are so smart. Oh, it's working now. Banzer fixed it. Now what mods should we do? Banzer's all done and he set me all up. Banzer took care of business. What are we what should we be getting? Oh, I should probably log in, huh? Well, let me log in. Why aren't you letting me log in on your website? Saying the site can't be reached. Okay. Open Nexus page. Okay. Hold on, I'm figuring this out. All right. All right, there we go. Got it going. Like, what the fuck are we supposed to download? There's not, like, going to be, like, any fucking nudity mods, is there? Played Chivalry 2 with peeps for the first time today. I kind of want to play that game, too. There will be. All right. Check collections. Where's collections at? Well, I want to make sure there's no nudity. Uh, most downloaded. All 
All right, this is scary. Let's see. Tale of Two Wastelands Essentials. NPC Overhaul. Hold on, I don't like the way that one looks. All right, no nudity. <laughs> All right. Gopher's Stable New Vegas. This collection provides the very basic starting blocks for Stable New Vegas game. So I take it that we want to get Stable New Vegas. There won't be any nudity mods if you have it disabled in the settings. Yeah. Surfing for Nexus mods. I'll take your word for it. What's in it? Let's take a look. Uh, mods 10. It has FNV 4 gigabyte patcher, FNV mod limit fix, JIP LN NVSE plugin, Johnny guitar. I see, listen, chat, this is where you guys got to help me out because I don't know what we should be getting. I got to start doing this stuff on my own. Hmm. Okay. Script extender. I don't see a script extender listed here. Doing something on my own? Well, this is why I got to start planning shit instead of being spontaneous, Andy, when it comes to It's funny, because in real life, I'm the least spontaneous person you'll ever meet. But when it comes to fucking streaming, I'm just, I'll do whatever. Whatever sounds cool, I'll do it. Right now, I'm just kind of looking at stuff. It's like there's so much shit. What is a tale of two wastelands? Tale of Two Wastelands. Mods 15. Has a lot of the same files as the other one had. Tale of Two Wastelands combines New Vegas and Fallout 3. What do you mean it combines them? What do, what do you mean it combines them, brother? I just want the game to run as good as fucking possible. I need to get a guy. All right, listen, I need to get a mod guy under my belt. That's what I need. A fucking mod man. That can literally just handle all my modding needs for games. And we can just start modding different games. I doubt Spanzer wants to be my mod guy. He's already my tech guy. Capable of learning how to do it myself, not. Nah, it helps to have someone that kind of understands shit that I don't. Makes the content so much fucking better. Harry Potter RP. Bro, they shut all that shit down. What the fuck do you mean? Hmm. You have close friends that are literally game developers. What more could I want? I guess you're right about something. Right now, I'm just trying to do a little bit of research into seeing like what makes like a good modding experience. Let me take a look at something. How is this greatest New Vegas mods? Paul Blau.
obligatory house mod. This house mod is fantastic if you're a filthy profligate and enjoying CR art of buildings over a good right, tent this, and this, fire. This YouTube video is literally fucking useless. AI voice? Yeah, I know. AI does everything, dude. I mean, what mods did uh, did Penta run? Some of you guys fucking know. Vanilla? I'm about to just do the stable New Vegas mod, and then we can just go from there. Very basic starting blocks for a stable New Vegas game. I'm adding it to my Vortex right now. How do I see mods that get added to my Vortex? It is fucking mad difficult for no reason. All right, cool. All right, I figured that out. I'm not a total fucking dummy. All right, collections. Uh, most downloaded and highest rated. Yo, Sick Noros, thanks for the 19 months, dude. Literally the same list. Uh, Gophers, Stable, New Vegas. Uh, let me read some of the comments on it real quick. Uh, uh, uh. Okay. You know what? This is good enough for me. Add to my Vortex. All right, perfect. Uh, install now. Uh, download. Bro, what the fuck is going on? Motherfucker, dude. You know, this is a lot harder than I thought. Dude, how come it's making me pull up Windows and click slow download? For everything. Do I just need to get the premium thing? Do I just need to get the premium thing? Is that like it? It just keeps popping up new windows for me to fucking download shit. All right, hold on. Bro. Because, dude, it just makes me manually install everything. It just, like, keeps popping up window after fucking window of shit to, like, manually install. It's fucking annoying. And if I go premium, it won't fucking do that shit. Like, will it just fucking... Premium makes it automatic. Thanks for answering that fucking question for me.
Jesus, dude. All right. I got the premium. Bro, am I going to have to fucking, like, virus scan my computer today? <laughs> or some shit? Probably. Yes. Motherfucker. Spanzer, you should have told me not to do this shit. It just keeps popping up shit. Why does it just keep doing it? I did relog in the app. Dude, this is... All right, look. I'm going to be honest with you. Not that I need more help, dude. It just keeps popping up. So it's like... It'll be like, hey, you need to download Johnny Guitar. Then click the download button. Then it pops up a window to click Johnny Guitar. How come things just aren't instantly downloading in the fuck? What's the point of downloading this launcher and getting premium if I got to click all these fucking buttons? I did restart Nexus, you bum. You fucking bum. I'm just not made for this life, dude. I really do need just like... Someone to live in my house that can set my shit up for me. And I can be like, hey, I want this to be set up like this. Can you do it? And then they just fucking do it. All right, I'm down in collections. You. Mods. And then it makes you download pending, download pending, download paused, download. Why can't it just instantly download everything? Or is it downloading everything and I'm just dumb? The last part, dude, you guys are so mean. I know, I'm in the collections thing right now. I've gone premium. Banzer, can you take a look at this shit? I got the premium. They got me for my euros. Are you familiar with this?
So you're going to click that, and then it pops up a window. I already bought that. I was logged in. So this is how you have to do it individually like this for everything. Is this literally how it has to be done? And what are all the, those things mean in the top right? This looks like a bunch of bullshit. This looks like a bunch of fucking trash to me, dude. I know you can't see. Banzer's cooking. Like, why does it make you just do this every fucking time? This is the dumbest shit I've ever seen in my fucking life. It just makes you do everything individually like this. It's fucking stupid. What's the point of the fucking launcher? The launcher doesn't think I have premium? Why? Why does everything in my life just think I'm poor? And then why is it saying mods can't be deployed? Saying they're all enabled. Sometimes I just wish I was smart instead of handsome. That way I could just like be self-sufficient and do all the shit myself. Maybe I should take a fucking computer class. Modify manually set location. Hey, it's working. Hey, Spanzer did it. One second. Bro, I 
swear to God, if there's tits in this mod, I'm gonna lose my fucking mind. Fucking. Alright. One second, chat. Unfortunately, we ain't out of the woods just yet. Does this game not have, like. doesn't have like any all right couldn't see chat when you were saying that Not letting me alt and enter. Alt and enter does literally nothing, Spanzer. Say alt, enter, and F11 at the same time? Didn't do nothing. Why is everything so much harder for me than it is for other people? No, 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 no. Spanzer's not going back in. I got this shit. I think I do. I don't. This thing's all fucked up, man. This thing's all kinds of fucked up. This is how it looks right now. <laughs> this, is how, this is how it looks at the moment. <laughs> F11 didn't work. I tried it. You know, Chad, I'm sorry I'm such a dumb fuck when it comes to shit. But now I've lost my drive to fucking uh, stream, let alone live at this fucking point.
Hey, I got some stuff I got to take care of yesterday, uh, today anyway. I think I might just call it because now I'm actually pissed off. <laughs> I'm going to do a raid. Why not just RP? I don't really feel like role playing right now. I think I might take uh, tomorrow off and I might take two days off. I'm not sure. There's a chance. There's a chance. Mm. But yeah, man, I will see you guys tomorrow. Uh, not tomorrow. I'm taking tomorrow off. I'm going to do a raid and I'm going to head the fuck out of here. You guys, be sure to hit that follow button and follow the Twitter and all that dumb shit. There's a chance I might be live tomorrow, but there's also a chance I might not be. Really depends on how I feel. All right, guys, I'll see you later. Bye!